Make sure you join us this coming Wednesday on Jewelry Maker. It's still our 14th birthday and we've got the most amazing show for you. We've got a gemstone tumbler. We've got Dave joining us with the launch of the most insane cashmere aquamarine. And we've also got a brand new book launch. All of that and competitions and games throughout the show. We'll see you then. Just Nikki Lopez. How are you, my love? I am marvellous. Oh my gosh, I love Honestly, that's so much energy. That's, so that's me done. <laughs> <laughs> and sleep. <laughs> done. Oh, great to have you with us today, darling. Oh, it's so lovely to be here. Oh. I am so happy to be here. Do you know something? We have got the most incredible show. We're carrying on our our 14th birthday celebrations. Can you believe we're still celebrating? It's it's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. We've got, are you going to have two weeks for your birthday, Neri? I think that's probably a no good plan. idea. New plan. I think at least two weeks for everybody's I birthday. I need two weeks to recover yeah. from my birthday yes. normally. Yes, absolutely, <laughs> definitely. Listen, um, <clears throat> we are carrying on with our 14th birthday celebrations. Today is no let up whatsoever because we have got something coming up in the nine o'clock hour, Nikki, which we have tried, been mm. trying for about five or six years to get yeah. on Jewelry Maker and it's finally here Today. It is the one thing <coughs> that I would say, the one tool that I cannot live without. Give us a clue. Rumble, kind of... rumble, rumble. Yes, <laughs> <you> absolutely. <laughs> it's coming up in the nine o'clock hour. We've got the most, the very, very first uh, um, uh, tumbler coming up uh, on uh, live on the show in the nine o'clock hour. Comes with instructions as well, which is fantastic. Yeah, I think good. it's going to be a brand new tool for so many people. It's just, it's a game changer. And I say this all the time, but if you work with metal at all, then this is going to save you so much time. It was the first tool that I bought when I started jewelry making, the sort of, you know, the first sort of investment purchase. Yeah. And I have never regretted it. Yeah, Ever. gorgeous, gorgeous. Use every time. Um, we've also got coming up today the launch of the most incredible gemstone. It is cashmere aquamarine coming up uh, with uh, Dave in the 10 o'clock hour. Um, this is one of the most incredible gemstones. You've had the chance to work with it, Nikki. I have, and I have never seen aquamarine like this. Isn't ever. it just incredible? It's beautiful. It's stunning. Honestly, it totally lives up to its name. Yeah. It really does. We've got the most incredible carvings. We've got beautiful strands. We've got gorgeous pe uh, pendants as well. It's all going to be coming out. Very, very, very excited about this beautiful gemstone launch. Um, coming up in the 11, we've got these beautiful brand and new necklaces with um, slider clasps on them with we've got um, uh, turquoise uh, variety we've also got tanzanite as well got them in gold plated silver and the sterling silver I just I love them I think they're absolutely beautiful aren't they I so love classic? that rope kind of yeah. uh, chain don't you they're gorgeous they're so classy aren't they they're so elegant classy just like us just absolutely <laughs> just, mm, just like us mm, classy mm. with the cake uh, so they're going to be coming up in the 11 as well now coming up as your early bird special this is something which we've been we've been so excited about playing this is the most gorgeous Olmec Jade jump ring and uh, rondelle uh, earring set I'm going to say they come to you connected together like this. Uh, you get two of the jump rings, you get two of the gorgeous little um, uh, slices. 
they come to you on a temporary strand like this the idea is, is that you take them apart and you make the most beautiful uh, uh hoop earrings uh you might want to um uh, put one in the middle of a bracelet or wear it as a pendant it's entirely up to you but you get to so you may as well make uh beautiful earrings that's going to be coming up as your early bird special so super 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 excited about that and then coming up in the 12 we've got a brand new book uh now i i this is this is an author who who you have yes. you've already invested in 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 her books it's it, it it's a book written by anastasia young called new jewelry techniques have you had a chance to flick through it no i haven't but i'm going to there are some so beautiful excited. beautiful yeah. projects in there you've got everything from uh, fold forming um to your um uh, precious metal work as well it's gorgeous and i know you've already um you've already uh, got one of her um, I ha uh, books haven't i you? have and do you know what and i'm not joking at all I very nearly bought this book last week. Oh, really? Yeah, because I was doing some metal work and I was working with brass and copper and I thought, oh, I could do a little book just on some fold forming techniques. And I very nearly bought this one until I got a little nod. There you go. So. And we've got Anastasia with us um, this afternoon in the 12 o'clock hour. So really excited uh, to have her joining us in the studio. So that's going to be absolutely brilliant. So brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. It's going to be fantastic. So it's going to be a jam-packed show. There's loads and loads and loads coming up. We've also got games, competitions. Uh, we've got the Draw of the Wall of Fame as well, which is going to be super exciting. Um, here's what's coming up. Have a little look. So Olmec Blue Jadeite Jump Ring Earring Set, Tumbling Machine Launch, Deal of the Day, uh, which is the Cashmere Aquamarine, Stunning Silver Rope Necklace, with gemstones masterclass um and book launch coming up in the 12 as well so loads and loads and loads to look forward to um like i said we've got the wall of fame coming up with the wall of fame draw um if you want to go to our website jewelrymaker.com and see what's uh, available um everything in the eight o'clock hour is uh, on the website available uh, for you to come in and get those are the old mcjadeite earrings oh who's that get off there we go uh so get all these items if there's anything in particular you'd like us to play uh then just um uh request whatever number it might be so number 10 number 11 number 12 whatever it might be uh loads and loads of incredible items in here we've got gorgeous precious metal we've got pearls oh my gosh Oof. dragon heads and fluorite and blue and a blue and purple fluorite amazing Gorgeous pearls, Ziploc bags, uh, clasps. Gee whiz, look at all of this. An obsidian cat. Wow. Gorgeous. Ooh. Yellow fluorite bangle, Branca onyx. Look at all of these things. Amazing, amazing. Oh, Neary, I must, Neary, I've left it on the shelf in there. Yeah, you got it. We've also got something else coming up today. Bruce, can you show the recording of it, please? We've got a hundred of these. Thanks, Neary. We've got a hundred of these coming up today. I don't think you've seen no, this, I Nikki. I'm excited. This is going to go crazy. We have got 100 natural opal rough cut boulders no oh look at that <sighs> what do you reckon to that want want me want. want i want that is coming up in the nine o'clock hour it's it's absolutely gorgeous i've got a piece of um i've got a sample of it here as well it is honestly absolutely incredible. Can't wait. Amazing, amazing, amazing. <gasps> absolutely beautiful. It's coming up in the nine. That's coming home with me. It's gorgeous, isn't it? <gasps> so very, very excited about that. Right, okay. Shall we go to the Wall of Fame? Let's see some of your incredible designs. And we've got to draw the Wall of Fame as well. We'll see you in a sec. <laughs> Here we go. So let's start off with 465. It's lovely Julie Dudley on the Isle of Wight who says, Good morning. My um, entry for the Wall of Fame this week is a simple make. I had so much ring memory wire. 
that I wasn't using. So I decided to make some hooped earrings and added three staggered drops and magatamas. Absolutely everything is from JM as always. Good luck to everyone in the draw. Best wishes, that's from Julie. They're lovely, very wearable, my darling. Gorgeous. Catherine Howe, morning to you, my lovely. You're number 466. Hello, everyone. Please find it out. It's my wall of fame. Entry. Earrings made from the mixed natural colour faceted pearls. White, pink, purple on 95 sterling silver hooks. In the green velvet box. All recently purchased from JM. Thank you for all the offers you give to us. Fingers crossed and good luck to all the entries. That is absolutely amazing. I love those jewellery boxes as well. They're stunning, Catherine. Well done to you, my lovely. Gorgeous. Uh, <coughs> Norma Cowie. Oh, lovely Norma. Lovely Norma. Ah, oh, there she is. Uh, keeping with the elephant theme, here's my entry to this week's Wall of Fame. Matching long line necklace and earrings. Good luck to all in the draw. And as always, a big thank you to all at JM. They're gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. suite of jewellery there, Norma. Stunning. Bless you. Who's your first entry from, Nikki? I've got 468, which is Barbara Hewitt. She says, hi, this is Pearls and Tanzanite used with a rose gold slider bracelet at the back of the necklace. How clever. All brought from JM. Thank you for everything. <laughs> Best to all. They're gorgeous, Barbara. Gorgeous. Thank <coughs> you, Barbara. And then we've got 469, Joe Green. Birthday celebrations have been fantastic so far and more to come. My WAF entry is a tribute to all I've achieved by being a JM family member over 14 years. It's a necklace showcasing two and two chain mail, resin, glass fusion, polymer clay, macrame, wire work and seed beads. Wow. With all products from JM and demonstrating what I've learned from you. Hope you like it. Thank you so much. Yay! Gorgeous, Joe. And finally, I've got 470 Jim Hall. Morning, Jim. Here's my entry for the Wall of Fame. It's a necklace made using rose gold plated chain with rosary link stations of rose quartz and preciosa glass beads. Central pendants made from the toggle part of the seed bead toggle clasp I made for another project. Mm. Glass beads and alabaster flowers have been added as further decoration. Best of luck to everyone in the draw. Take care. Thanks for that, Jim. That's gorgeous, That's lovely. isn't it? lovely. Gorgeous. Right, should we draw the Wall of Fame? Do you want Let's to do, do it? Do you want me to shuffle over? Pick? Come on. Come on, Nikki. You come and pick the winner. <laughs> the winner of the Wall of Fame this week winning £100 credited to their jewellery maker account. Go on, Nikki. Just the one. Let's get ready this to is... fumble. <laughs> Number 466. You're never going to be asked back again. 466. 466. Who's that? Catherine Howe. Catherine Howe. Oh, yes. Oh, we just read her entry out. Catherine Howe. Love it. Congratulations, my darling. Well done to you. £100 credited to your jewelry maker account. And this week's run out winning £50 credited to the jewelry maker account. Love that. Let's get ready to fumble. There we go. Here we go. It's number. <laughs> Four, eight, one. She's on it. Deb Briggs. Deb Briggs. Oh my gosh, didn't Deb Briggs win last week? Deb Briggs. I think she won the competition Amazing. last week. Brilliant. Deb, Deb well done Briggs. to you, sweetheart. Fifty pounds credited to your jewelry maker account. Awesome. Well done, ladies. Love that. Amazing. Right. Okay. Fantastic. Well done. Oh, thank you, lovely um, ever. Thank you, my darling. Start with number what? Forty who? 35. Keep your eyes open because it's deal will day. Oh. Now, yes, we do have the music to go with it. Yes, we do have um, uh, the actual, it, it is, it is, yeah, it is, it is gonna be as cheesy and as bad taste as you're kind of expecting oh, good. it good. Excellent. Excellent. Brilliant, hey? Why do anything, why do anything remotely refined on Jewelry Maker? Yeah, exactly. Right, here we go. Uh, so. Silver plated base metal uh, end caps. These are going to be great for your tassels, fantastic for your macrame, brilliant for your um, uh, kumihimo braids, maybe. Absolutely gorgeous. I love how decorative these are. And um, we are the UK's only dedicated jewelry making channel. We're live for 365 days a year. You get a 30 day money back guarantee with everything you get from Jewelry Maker. Plus, you're only paying $3.95 PP per order. And um, even if you add 20, 30, 40 things onto your order, you're still only paying 3.95 p and which is absolutely brilliant. And uh, we're celebrating our 14th birthday. Um, it's been a birthday to remember. In fact, I have looked at many an item in the last, in the last week oh, wow. or so and just thought to myself, how on earth are we going to it's step like, it up next year? It's next level, isn't it? Every it really single is. day you're like, wow. Yeah, it every is. single day. So they've, we've had everything from storage, to um oh gosh launch of new gemstones to brand new carvings to uh incredible guests it's been absolutely phenomenal uh teresa patricia tina allison maker and conway well unto you my lovelies we've been giving away so much 
um, uh, so much money as well, which has been absolutely fantastic. And you can take part in those competitions today. We've got the deal wheel. Gorgeous, well done. Right, moving on, baby. 20, 40, gee, we're sorry, Neary. I am listening. Oh, I can't, well, I can't have listening yet. Okay, here we go. Uh, beautiful half drawn pearls. Look at Ooh, this. Look at those. These are absolutely beautiful. Shiny, shiny. Yeah, they are, aren't they? They're absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful half drawn, genuine freshwater culture pearls. Maker of Cheshire, Jeanette, well done to you. Ellen, Gillian, well done to you. Loads and loads and loads of people already coming through today. Well done. We're at £19.99. Look at the price of those. It's that's, that that's that is ridiculous, isn't it? Yeah. That They're ripple pearls, aren't they? Say again. Are they ripple pearls? They they certainly look like it, don't they? Yeah. They've got that gorgeous kind of baroque shape to them for sure. Oh, they are ripple pearls, you see. Wow. That's incredible, isn't it? And do you know what? That on its own, you're not going to be... There's no way you're going to be selling that. We've got peg bales coming out, by the way, today. There's no way you're going to be gluing a peg bale in that and selling that for 19 99 for no one, chance. let alone for three. You know, absolutely gorgeous. All going to be completely unique as well. Aren't they stunning? Beautiful. Well done. Check out your baskets, everyone. Now, you can multi-buy. You can multi-buy. You can uh, buy two, three, four. The quantities there, you absolutely can do. Just speak to our call centre team who are based just up there or uh, just alter the quantity. Check out in your baskets on our website or on the, um, on the what's it? On the app. Purple bags. Purple bags, every... Oh! Oh, I like these. You could use the, uh, the label-making machine. Did you see that? I did. Oh! Honestly, that is the kind of thing you're literally going to go around your house and just label everything, had including the dog. Had to hold myself back on that one a little bit. Honestly, some of the stuff we've had this week has been amazing um, over the last week and a half. So you can use your label making machine on there. But the cool thing about this, look at this. You get that lovely kind of hessian outside there. And then here, oh, like a little window. I love that. Little window so you can see your gemstones, your business card, whatever it might be, Cynthia Maker. Or if you put lavender in there to make your, um, to make your small smell nice. Lovely. Why not? Every little helps. So let's move on now to... Oh, what is it, Neary? It's, it's something big. It's the big oh. something. Oh. Blam. Here we go. What was that? Minus what margin? <laughs> Excellent. Well done. Always glad to hear that we're losing money on something. Yeah. Here we go. So you've got your handle, which is extendable. Okay. So you can have it at that kind of length. So it's kind of handheld, or you can have it longer, she says. <coughs> it will work. There we go. It will work. There you go. So you can have it where it's a shoulder Look bag. Got a little handle there as well. Undo your zips on the bag. There we go. Up it comes. Oh, there you go. With five storage trays in there. That's How so useful. Is that? That's incredibly useful. Yeah. Imagine you do craft furs and things like that. That's so useful. For sure. Brilliant. And especially when you do lots of sterling, when you're making lots of sterling silver components, you're Definitely. tumbling lots of things together, maybe. Yeah putting them in things like this whether it's going to be bits of lovely wire writing or whether it's going to be uh pieces you've already you've already made up you know little components ready to go whether it's selections of gemstones or seed beads and you can color coordinate everything by the way you can take these little dividers out you can have as few uh, sorry as few as three or as many as all of these component wise so there you go you can have you put your tool you put your you put your tools in there, you put your pencils in there. Let's just get them all out, why not? There we go. All the way down, 29.99. Gee whiz, honestly. There we go. Come on, let's take it down half price. Derry, well done to you, my lovely and sorry. Then you pick them all up and put them back in. Love the colour too, it's gorgeous. Yeah, isn't it lovely? I like so that nice. teal. It's not overtly kind of for men or women. I think it's for no, absolutely no, it's everybody, lovely. isn't it? Yeah. And you can make it your own. You can, you know, make it your own. Put something over the jewelry maker label if you like. Sew a patch on it, whatever it might be. Um, yours today, <clears throat> fourteen pounds ninety nine pence. Congratulations, well done. Fab. You could as well take this top tray out or any of them, and then put your little toolkit in there if you Definitely. wanted to. Yeah, pliers or your and sandwiches. Stuff. Or your butties, yeah. Your butties. your butties. I'm an orthodox. Don't have sandwiches. One, your cobs. <laughs> absolutely fantastic. Well done, Vera. Annette, well done to you. Great to get these as gifts for people as well. You know, whether you're a, a crafter or a jewellery maker, you know, paper crafter, whether you're a knitter, whether you're w whether you love uh, uh, fishing, whether you're a nail artist, whether it's for makeup, whether it's for Lego, whether it's for hammer beads, you know, whatever it might be, whatever age you are, you know, things like this are just, people go absolutely nuts for them. Little bits of storage and and um 
Uh, little bits of storage and anything which kind of helps you feel a bit more organized nice thing about this as well is that you can undo this part here so you're not having to kind of rifle around in the bag and take things out and you know you can literally see it and have that on your stand have that on your uh, on your desk ready to work with ready to go at any given moment well done everybody jacks well done to you Vera's taken four of these well done to you my lovely fantastic deal for you today but as you say, Nikki, great for your craft fairs. Great, oh, brilliant. You, you know, you will feel more organised. Definitely, won't you? because there's nothing worse than just having stuff flying about all over the place. Absolutely, it just keeps it nice and organised. Sometimes really good. that kind of mindset is really powerful. It really does put you in a better yeah. frame of mind. I wish it? I had it. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Me too. Oh, never mind. Well done. Uh, gorgeous, Sylvia. Well done to you, my lovely. Go, go, go. Right, let's move on. We've got loads to get through. Um, Twenty-four. Here we go. <laughs> Oh. Ah, oh. Vera, who bought four of these, says your toolkit fits perfectly into the bag. Yes, it does, oh, my lovely. Angela in Hampshire, good morning, lovelies. Isn't the weather absolutely gorgeous? It's like the plants have all jumped into life. Looking forward to the show. I was saying this the other day, and I could see my husband's eyes glaze over when I said this, <laughs> and I was like, great, I'll tell someone who cares. So I told my mum, and my okay. mum was very interested. Because of all the rain, and then we had a couple of days of sunshine, the hedgerows have gone completely nuts. Have you seen the dandelions? Oh, oh okay. I mean, so we, we were oh, lucky enough to be in the Lake District at the weekend. Yes. Oh, my word. There are just fields and fields oh, of dandelions. Oh, how gorgeous. And beautiful. Yeah. Just fields of yellow everywhere. See, that's it's wonderful. Gorgeous. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Aren't we lucky? Here we go. Sterling silver earrings with white topaz and freshwater culture pearls. Not that I would tell you what to do, but these are ready made. You know, you don't yeah. need to do anything with these at all. By all means, if you want to utilize them alongside the gorgeous Olmec uh, jump rings, beautiful little buy symbols that we've got coming up as your early bird special, please do. But you know, you don't, you don't, you don't have to. They're literally good to go. Here we go. Uh, we're at 19 pounds and 99 pence. What's this? Hit it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I love this. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Hang on, 30% off. That's going to make these what? £14. Oh, look, look at that. Absolutely amazing. How can, I think there are certain places on the high street you would struggle to get a pair of sterling silver studs you would. for 15 quid. I mean, they're incredible. Let alone a pair of sterling silver hoops with white topaz and your pearls. You don't oh. have to put them together. They are done. They are good to go. Put them on your website, 50 quid, please. Thank you. Yes. Well, why not? It's precious metal. Yeah. You've got your pearls. You've got your white topaz. Yeah. Absolutely. Beautiful. Even 50 pounds, I'd say that's fair enough. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Even at £25, you're making a tenner on each yeah. pair. But the thing is, though, I, £25 doesn't go with these. I, I think you people, get people saying, well, they've got to be plated base it. metal. It's not real pearls. Exactly It's right. got to be Cabixiconia. Yeah, completely. That's Nobody it. would believe they were real. No. So, 50 quid, please. So how is it real, then? Because it is. It genuinely is real. I, I, and I do have friends say to me, yeah, it's not, it's not real, the stuff that you use. It genuinely is. Because we work in a very unique way, because we buy in a very unique way, um, and because we, when we commission a piece, we're not commissioning 10, we're commissioning more like 100 or two or 300 or whatever it might be, we pay a lower price point. We try and do everything in-house as well. So we've got our own silversmiths, we've got our own, our own uh, our gemstone setters, gemstone drillers. Um, so because of that, it means that we can drive that cost down of production and pass that direct saving onto you. And we genuinely, that's how we do it. Darren's got two pairs. Lynn's, uh, Linda, sorry, has got two pairs. Well done. Imagine if you're going to be getting married this summer. Oh. Gifting these to your bridesmaids, maybe. How lovely. They're not small either, are they? They're really, no. really decent size. Yes, yes, absolutely. They've got that really, especially, I mean, you know, whether you're hair up or hair down, they're going to be absolutely perfect, yeah. aren't they? Beautiful. And the, the nice thing about these earrings as well is they could have been made a week ago or, or a century ago. Yeah. They're definitely. so lovely, aren't they? They've got that timeless look to them. And I'm going to say, like a sneaky peek, is that I happen to know that there is probably next week a necklace coming up to match them. Really? Mm -hmm. So get them out. Giving all the giving everything away. Giving it all away. Love it. Okay, we've got loads of quick fire opportunities coming up now. I'm amazed these balloons have lasted as long as they have. Here we go. Now, oh, this is the stuff we. Oh, oh. this is the strand we had the other morning with 
guest designer as a Tazza. Look at those. Clear topaz, 9.99. So Incredible. Sparkly. We had in the eight o'clock hour, how many strands of this? 500 strands. How many have we got left, Neary? 20. Yeah, I can believe it. Seven pounds, 99 pence. This, by the way, comes with instructions. It's the only strand we have ever bought to you on Jewelry Maker that comes with instructions. Wow. We were so excited about the quality of this. We were so excited about having this here on Jewelry Maker. This really helped us launch our birthday celebrations. And because of that, we did, oh, Alison did instructions with this for the most beautiful um, uh, wire wrapped ring. Channel set, absolutely beautiful. Yours today for £7.99. Andrew, if you want to take it now, my darling, well done. Lynn, well done to you, Justine. Oh, thank you, Neary, that's gorgeous. Um, Tangled Topaz bracelet. Ooh. And the same applied to the ring. If you want to watch the show back, it was last Monday, I believe. Um, it was it was an absolutely fantastic. It was an absolutely fantastic show. It was absolutely brilliant. And it, and it was your early bird. There were so many things that kind of were just completely bonkers about that show. It was your early bird. It came with instructions. We had 500 available and of course, 7.99. Well done, everyone. Go, go, go. 11. Okay, here we go. Next, let's move on to... <gasps> Oh, Figaro oh. chain. Love it, love it, love it. Double trouble Figaro chain. Figaro chains are basically where you get long and short links together. Figaro, Figaro. It's beautiful. Um, very, very, very stylish chain. And you'll see as well, when I move my hand with it over the back of my hand, the luster that you get is absolutely incredible. I mean, absolutely oh. beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? Shiny, shiny. Stunning, stunning, stunning quality you're going to be getting here today. All sterling silver, 18 inches in length. You're going to be getting two of these chains today for £12.99. That's £6.50 per ridiculous. sterling silver Figaro chain. And they're standalone chains as well. You don't even need anything on them. Yeah, well, that's exactly it. I wouldn't even expect to get a trace chain for no. that, for, 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 for £6.50, let alone a highly decorative yeah. Figaro chain. Well done. Go, go, go. Fantastic. It's yours today. Right, let's move on. Oh, yeah. Ziplock, Ziplock bags. Do they come in different sizes? Oh gosh! Oh, okay. yes. I use so many of these. Yeah, they are very, very useful um, bags, aren't they? Oh, she got one of these. Just got a house well. full of them, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Things like this do f make you feel more organised, though, don't yeah. they? Yeah. Is it two sizes, Neri? I think it's two sizes. Oh, is it three? They're great for finding. Oh god! Sorry, beg your pardon. Your price point today? What is it? Oh gosh! Sorry, nine ninety nine. <laughs> Here you go. There we go. There we go. Nine ninety nine, and you get a pack of a uh, hundred of these. Fifty of the six and a half by eight. Twenty five of the eight by eight. And how many? Twenty five. Did you say? Twenty five of the seven and a half by ten and a half. There you go. Those are your three sizes. So you know whatever you're going to be putting in there, whether it's little components. I'd use these with my anti tarnished hats, yeah, obviously. Great. Uh, little silver pallions, all sorts of yep. kind of useful things you can put in here. They're not aren't flimsy they? either, are they? They're, they're good quality. Yeah, they've got a really lovely kind of um, uh, kind of substantial nature to them, which is absolutely perfect. They're brilliant, brilliant, brilliant bags. Uh, well done, everybody. Nine ninety nine for all of these today. Easy to label up if you want to as well. Yeah, they're not kind of the kind of the flimsy. Well, they're not like kind of these kind of that kind of quality yeah. of plastic bag it's got it's got it's got this kind of resistance it's, it's, it's got this kind of stability to it which is absolutely perfect they're great for giving to customers as well you know if they buy chains from you because chains yes. can tarnish quite a lot yes you know if you keep them out in the air but if you give them one of those with a little anti-tarnish tab to keep their chain in it's such a nice touch when yes. you sell a piece of jewelry it is. well what does it work out to per bag at neary 100 for uh, 9p yeah. 9p? Yeah, 9, yeah. 9.9p, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, 10p. yeah, per bag. So literally by giving that, by giving somebody a chain and just doing that, it's costing you almost nothing and and it's, and you will almost definitely get return uh, business, yeah. return custom from that. That's absolutely fair. I've never seen little bags that size before. That's really useful. Great for business cards. Fantastic. Okay, we're going to do a star buy. Um, let's go. Deal wheel.
So it is the deal wheel today. We'll be dropping in little deals all the way throughout the show today, which is just fantastic. That's fantastic. Um, we're doing a star by now, which I have to say is absolutely stunning. It's a pendant set into sterling silver with white topaz and a heart shaped jade. I mean, look wow. at that. Wow. Oh, it's with white zircon, I beg your pardon. Even better. Yeah, even older. Mm. <laughs> white zircon, jade heart, sterling silver. I know a lot of you out there won't be seeing a pendant, you're seeing earrings. Can I pop it up to the, uh, to the luggles? Would that be okay? Because I have to say that oh, as an earring, oh, I, I mean, I, I don't wear big earrings as you know, normally, but I absolutely love Can those. Can you imagine a pair of those? I mean, that's like heirloom jewellery, isn't it? Well, you imagine, um, Nikki, maybe on your wedding day, you're wearing something quite simple. Yeah. Very kind of, um, I, I don't want to say plain, because there's no such thing as elegant. a plain wedding dress, but something very elegant, very simple. Yeah. Yes, exactly. And you wear your jade earrings. I mean, this is, and then you have one as a pendant, maybe. That is just going to be, that's going to elevate that's the look of your outfit so beautifully. It is. We are at $79.99. Now, just to let you know, $79.99 is the lowest price this has ever sold out, okay? So we are taking, what do you mean we're taking a risk on this? <laughs> what do you mean we're taking a risk? Why? Why are we taking a risk? Why are we taking a risk? <gasps> Dear Will! We're going to use a deal wheel. Bruce, wow. hit it. Deal wheel. Mr. Incredible. Incredible. Oh, oh my gosh. 25% off. That's a chunk, isn't it? That is a chunk. That's not a little bit. That's like 20 quid off, isn't it? 59.99 wow. go for it nearly well done angela bought two she's now coming through to get another one rachel well done to you my darling in north yorkshire nancy in bristol that's absolutely fantastic well done to you angela you could be making earrings and a pendant please tell me you are angela yeah, that would make please. me so happy gorgeous well done everybody go 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 what a deal for you saving yourself 20 quid on a jade sterling silver white zircon pendant that was already at 80 pounds which is amazing gg well done to you my darling in california are you at work gg how are the babies let us know <laughs> she might not be at work don't know see isn't that incredible i the, we have to educate ourselves uh this morning before the show i was on mason k's website and i love mason k i love their jewelry it's like oh, real inspiration it's just full of the most amazing jewelry at quite honestly the most amazing prices there is nothing of this kind of caliber on Mason K that you would be able to get no. for 59.99. I mean, that is absolutely ludicrous. You're easily looking at kind of triple figure pieces here. Jennifer, well done to you, my lovely in Lincoln, in Lincolnshire. You've got two in your basket. Check out my lovelies. Well done, everybody. Go, go, go. Oh, what? Hang on, Bruce. Run clock, Bruce. Red clock. We're going again. No way. We hang on. So we've just done the deal, Will, and you're saving yourself twenty pounds, and we're about to go even lower. Absolutely amazing. Makes no sense whatsoever, but you know, Gorgeous. does anything. Go, go, go. Let's see you on the phone lines today. Let's see you on the phone lines. Oh my word! If, 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 if we can see enough of you on the phone lines, instead of doing a crash, we're going to do a deal wheel. Which could go to whatever. I mean, we've got no idea. Insane. No idea. By the way, if you're loving your hearts, coming up, we have got the most beautiful cashmere aquamarine hearts. Oh. Those together. Amazing, amazing. Jennifer, well done to you. Okay. Helen, the East Riding of Yorkshire, well done to you, my lovely. Check out your baskets. You're already saving £20 on the lowest price point this has ever been taken down to. And we're about to go even lower for you today. Oh, yeah. Here we go, everyone. <laughs> no. Forty-two 
pounds. What? This launched at 80 pounds. Do you know what? I think that would make the most beautiful 21st birthday present. Oh, it would be amazing. Yes. Can you imagine? But this is it though, Nikki. You know, quite often when we think of our 18th, 21st birthday presents, they're landmark um, uh, birthdays and you think, oh, yeah. right, so I'm going to be spending maybe, I don't know, £100 yeah, pounds exactly. on somebody like that. Yeah. £42. Pounds. And yeah, but nobody would ever know. No! You know, you, people think you'd spend hundreds on Absolutely. that. Absolutely! Angela's Gorgeous. got four, Maker in London's got two. Well done to you, Helen. Well done to you, Maker in Cheshire. Jennifer, Gigi, uh, Maker, Rachel, Nancy. Well done to you, my lovelies. Go, 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 go! Fantastic opportunity. And by the way, even though you're making these enormous savings today, you are still going to be getting a 30-day money-back guarantee. So get it home, have a look at it. If you decide for whatever reason that it isn't 100, that you're not 100% satisfied, send it back. We will give you your money back. Just to kind of give you a bit of a note as well. If you are going to be, you know, making your jewellery to sell, uh, making it to sell um, on your Etsy shop, whatever it might be. So maybe you never get to physically meet your customer. Getting one of these little bags here, putting your business card in there. And your little certificate of authenticity. Certificate of authenticity, Definitely. absolutely. And your anti-tarnish tab. That is something which is going to be treasured. It is. Put your business card in there, put your anti-tarnish tab in, put your authenticity certificate. That little pack there is just, it's going to be so well received. And all you've done is pop it in one of these. It's crazy, yeah. isn't it? Well done, morning ladies. Uh, we are all well, and the babies are doing well. Only two Aww. little ones in incubators today, says Gigi. Aww, Gigi. She works with babies. Yes. She works with little babies. Aww. There you go. Oh, Gigi, you're an absolute angel. Have a great day, my darling. Um, well done, everybody. That is absolutely tremendous, isn't it? They always say you should gift Jay, don't they? But that, I mean, I, I don't know whether I'll I'd be able to part it. with I'll that. I'll just keep it. One for me and another one yeah. for me. There we go. Right. Okay. Let's move on. What do you say, love? Number two. Number oh. two. Now, Neri's getting a bit of a reputation with this next gemstone. Okay. A little bit of a reputation. <clears throat> Neri really loves Brancaronyx. But I'll tell you what else happens whenever Neri plays Branca Onyx. He literally smashes the price point down. Okay. 100% natural all the way from um, uh, Brazil. Literally only found, only discovered a few years ago, launched at the Tucson Gem Show with such amazing reports. Um, I would definitely yes, think yes, about yes. popping it with something like my cashmere aquamarine. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Blam. That's that incredible. looks that's a, amazing. That's a summer sky right there. Isn't, isn't it? it just? Launch price of just £50. Let's crash that price point down. Oh my gosh. Yes, yes, yes. £29.99. And white gemstones are so difficult to find. You're absolutely right. Natural white gemstones yeah. are, yeah. Um, uh, I mean, one of my favourite white gemstones is probably Howlite. Howlite, yeah. Uh, but it's got inclusions going all the way through. If you want that kind of purity, yeah. it's actually a very difficult and to have shade any, yeah. to get. And to get any kind of sort of, like you said, translucency. And yes. Instead of, because, you know, Howlite's beautiful, but it's very yes. opaque. Yes, yes. But that glows. It, it really does. It really genuinely does. Rachel, Christine, Sandra, well done to you as well. Loads of people coming through. Oh, yeah. Neri absolutely annihilates the price point yeah. of uh, of uh, Branca Onyx. He literally goes crazy, crazy, crazy. We've got 30 seconds clock. Launched at £50. We are at £30 today. So already £20 lower than where we launched. Maker in London, well done to you as well. Lots and lots and lots of people coming through to get this. I can tell Neri's excited today. I can tell Neri's excited today. Where are you planning on going for this, love? Ooh, oh, yeah, no yeah, way. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well okay, done, just... everyone. Get involved, everyone. Send in your messages just to this hand side of the screen if you want to uh, 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 go to the box that says send message to studio. Send a message to us. £20 for you today. Congratulations. Well done, everyone. It's a go, go, go. Susan in Essex, well done to you as well. Maker, well done to you as well. Heather in Hearts, well done to you. Absolutely fantastic. This launched, this launched yeah. at 50 pounds, which is 30 pounds more than where we are now. I can just about work that out, yeah? Amazing, well done, Heather. Fantastic, well done to Essex and London as well. Phenomenal deal. Go, 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 go. What a treat for you today. All of these are last in stock though, just so you're aware as well. 
Um, you are going to be getting um, uh, the most amazing opportunities over our birthday celebrations to take part in competitions, to win money in your account, to celebrate with our guest designers and our guests, to meet, to find new mediums, to get incredible new tools like the incredible Tumblr we've got coming up today, uh, to meet new gemstones like your cashmere aquamarine. Honestly, it is the time to be with Jewelry Maker. It literally is incredible. Well done, everyone. There's a make it over two in the basket. Sandra, you've got too many baskets as well, my lovely. Well done to you. We're at 20 pounds for you today. Congratulations, everybody. Well done. Go, 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 go. Well done. We've got a star buy coming up. It's time for some gorgeous pearls. Let's see. Let's see how low we can go on these bad boys. Right. Oh. Okay. You get these three little pouches. Really cute. Suede up pouches to put your jewellery in. Put your little aquamarine in there if you want. I use those. I use those a lot. They're sweet, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, you can print on them as well. Yeah, well, that's kind of what I was, what I was kind of thinking when I saw these because it's anything porous you can print onto yeah. with that label making machine can which we're still going on about. You can also use a rubber stamp. Oh perfect. Yeah but with like um because nice. you can get like little ink pads with fabric dye on them. Yeah. Just print on with a rubber stamp. Oh that's so good. So you get three of these okay. You then get a card of silk natural silk which has been dyed this gorgeous purple colour. That's fantastic. Do you get anything else? Oh my word. Just. Wow. You wait you get some pearls they're not just some pearls you get <coughs> these absolutely incredible pearls oh my gosh color wise stature wise size wise these are absolutely ludicrous aren't they they are incredible exquisite aren't they beautiful oh, honestly these are exactly the kind of pearls that we get messages in from our customers saying oh i bought this round of pearls for i don't know 500 quid made a pendant or or, or or made a bracelet with a sterling silver clasp took it to be valued and i was absolutely blown away with the valuation you know whatever it might be or i made them all into separate pendants and they were valued at 150 quid per pendant you know it, these are the kind of pearls these are not the kind of pearls you will find everywhere they're not the kind of pearls you will find just at a random jeweler on the high street these are the kind of pearls that if you can find them you i mean they are an exhibition you are going to be paying top, top, top money for pearls like this elsewhere. Size, shape. I mean, the recording's absolutely incredible, isn't it? But in person, they're just as beautiful. And those purples are natural. Those buff colours, those, those silvery kind of mockery golds are mm. all natural. Nobody does pearls like JM. No, I, honestly, no one. I've, nobody does it. No one. And, and as soon as we say that, we get two or three people messaging and saying, I, I only buy my pearls from jewelry making. You know, I've tried to buy them from elsewhere for a lower price point and they're absolutely rubbish. Um, it doesn't come without it. It doesn't come without its kind of hazards. We bought pearls before and they haven't, they haven't, they haven't even made it to air. Um, not very often. It tends to be when we're using a new supplier. Because what tends to happen is, particularly with big pearl deals like this, is uh, this would have been organised well over a year ago. Uh, we'll go to the Hong Kong Gem Show and we'll say to our pearl vendors, um, our, our pearl um, um, suppliers, please can you bring with you 50 skews of pearls, 100 strands of each, and we'll whittle it down to 50 strands of each. Um, and, you know, so it's been, it's been hand-selected by them. It's then hand-selected by us. You know, so that's a two-stage process, two sets of expert eyes over them. I would be saying mixing it with the early bird special, with the most incredible Olmec earring bundle. Absolutely 100%. That's brand new today. We are at 499. And as you can see, we're nowhere near done. Nowhere near done. £299 for you today. Two nine nine. 
absolutely incredible you've got your silk you've got your you've got your um you've got your pouches absolutely incredible and guess what yeah we are not done how many um sorry um how many of these do we have neary yeah we've got 15 chances available i'm just going to count how many you're getting on this round Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight, thirty, thirty-two, thirty-four, thirty-six. Thirty-six pearls on the strand. You've got thirty-four seconds and we're taking the price point down. Yeah, about eight pounds each. You know, you take one of those, pop it onto the peg bail, um, uh, on, onto a peg bail. We've got a peg bail bundle coming up today. Absolutely 100%, you know, that could be a pearl pendant, which I would be more than happy to sell for at least 80, 90 pounds per pearl. You know, the whole strand, you know, we're looking at eight pounds per pearl as it sounds at the minute. That's a 10, um, uh, a 10, a tenfold kind of, um, uh, kind of increase, isn't it? Absolutely amazing. And even then, you know, I think you're probably looking a bit too conservative, a price point there. Here we are, all the way down, 299, not your price point today. Incredible quality. Well done. Let's take 100 pounds wow. off that price. 199, maker, if you want three of these, take them now, my lovely. Only literally got just over a dozen chances available in the building. Go, go, go. 0800, 644-655. Add them onto your order today. Well done, everybody. Uh, go, go, go. If you've got these pearls already, if you've got pearls already on Jewelry Maker, then you will know. You will know the kind of quality that we can offer you. Well done, Heather in Hearts. Well done to you, Virginia, as well in Hampshire. If you want to, my darling, check out. Heather, you've got multiples in your baskets as well. Check out. 199. You know and I know. You could literally get that. You could pearl knot that yeah arguably you could you could move the decimal point yeah, I, I to be honest though they're so gorgeous i i i feel bad putting them all on one piece you i know it'd be incredible yeah but i'd, I'd want to share the love with them you want to I share would. the love make yeah. 36 pendants or, or you know 15 pairs of earrings and then some pendants as well maybe yeah absolutely yeah and the thing is like you said before carol it is really risky buying pearls because you often buy them and you get them home and they've got bits missing bits yeah, yeah, maker yeah. missing here and there the, the finish isn't very smooth on them and and you know you, you it is a risk when you buy pearls mm -hmm. but it's never a risk from, from absolutely jewelry maker. it never is yeah yeah exactly thank you for that more makers coming through well done to you we are going to take the price point down one final time there's more people coming through gosh gee whiz i've got multiples in baskets this is as good as the price is gonna get for you this is as good as it gets quality wise and price point wise as well utterly 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 ridiculous 26 seconds we're taking the price point all the way down for you today i know it's incredible oh my gosh you get a clasp <gasps> literally no just way. seen on the photograph the clasp oh my gosh look at this Oh, wow. You get a magnetic clasp. Oh, because you get the instructions from Gee, Debbie as well. Where's don't you? And you get instructions with Deb Kirsten. Oh, gosh. Take the price back up, Neary. Take it up. Take it up. Take the price Look up. Look at that. Take the price back up. Instructions from Deb Kirsten and the magnetic clasp as well. Oh, my word. One, four, Ridiculous. nine. Ridiculous. That is. Oh, my word. You get a pearl cocktail ring. Um, uh, instruction Ooh. booklet with Deb. Look at that. That's She's, luxury. That there, is isn't it? absolute luxury. <gasps> Jenny Maker, Heather in Hearts, if you want multiples, darling, Maker, check out Christine, well done to you as well. Um, Virginia, congratulations, well done to you. So added on to the pearls and the silk and the pouches, you get your magnetic clasp and you get your instructions from Deb Kirscher as well, which is absolutely amazing. Go, 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 go. Check out as soon as you can. One, four, nine for you today. Well done. And you're still, even with these crazy deals, you're still getting a 30 day money back guarantee. Jenny, check out my lovely well on tube as well. Loads and loads and loads of people coming through. What an opportunity. I mean, whether you decide to make that oh. dream necklace, because this is the kind of jewelry that you will see in those glossy mags and you'll think one day you know you cut the picture out you put it on your you put it on your um on your vision board and you think one day i'll be able to afford pearls to make a necklace like that today's the day they're <laughs> 149 how special would you feel oh uh, yeah all the specials yeah. do uh, please do not think that silly prices reflect the value or worth they're beautiful says margot absolutely margot you're absolutely 100% yeah. right. Please do not think these prices imply value or worth. They really don't. I wear my pearls every day. Every day I get asked about them after being valued. They are around my neck or in the safe. James, absolutely yeah. fantastic. Yes, James. And James should know. He's been making jewellery for years and years and years. Amazing. Well done. Or you've got your, 
You've got your incredible. That's beautiful. In fact, James is one of the uh, messages that um, uh, we had a message from James, gosh, months and months and months ago, uh, that we show quite regularly on the show about evaluation mm -hmm. uh, that he had for his pearls. I mean, this really is you, that just I love one, that. one pearl, yeah. or an entire. What I mean, you're wearing there, I just love. I just they're think not too beautiful. They're not too big for a bracelet, no, are they? They're beautiful. How elegant! Just with a white t-shirt and a pair of jeans, but that is Perfect. so elegant. Just the outfit you're wearing, actually. Yeah, just please. Really, just, just, just pass them over. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Here we go. Uh, well done. There's loads and loads of people coming through. 19 seconds. We're taking the details away. Congratulations, everyone. Well done. I'm genuinely. That is, that is tremendous. That is tremendous. Early birds coming up. If you want to add in your Olmec at any point, please, please. Deborah in Hampshire, check out my darling. If you want to add in, it's a two person queue. If you want to check out Deborah Maker, Heather Maker, we've got the Olmec coming up. The Olmec earring bundle. This is stupidly good. If you want to add the Olmec into the design, However that might be, please, please, please do. It's coming up. It's your early bird special. You are going to love it. Check out. We've got the last couple of chances for that gorgeous strand of pearls. Well done. Don't go anywhere. Early bird. Do you know something? I, um, ah. Oh. We've all been, we've all been hankering after this auction. We were told about this uh, about a fortnight ago. It literally arrived and Wayne said, of, of all, um, and we were prepping uh, today's show, tomorrow's show and last weekend's shows. And we got to today's show and he said, have you seen your early bird for Wednesday? No, no. We opened it up and all of the team upstairs. So the team upstairs, you've got Wayne, who's head gemstone buyer. You've got um, Georgia. You've got Alice. Uh, you've got Brie. You've got Katie, who are all uh, looking after kits and buying. And the whole team was like, yeah, it, honestly, it's amazing. And I have to say the photograph, when, when I looked at it, I couldn't quite work out what it was. But, but now I totally get it. You've got here two Olmec Jade buy symbols and two Olmec Jade slices, wheels, if you like. These are absolutely gorgeous. We talk about this shape a lot and this shape being auspicious and this shape being kind of meaning a lot. But actually, um, yeah, in the Far East, you know, it's got it's got a certain kind of set of set of kind of thinking behind it. But it's very, very relevant um, over here in the West as well. So historians believe that the buy is meant to represent heaven or the skies uh, revolving around the central axis. Later discs uh, feature decorative carvings in patterns associated with deities and heavenly symbols. Um, this object has been uh, hanging around in Chinese history for over 5,000 years and Chinese civilizations uh, stretches back for thousands and thousands of years and saw immense changes in its people, their culture and uh, their behavior. But the Bai disc has not changed much, at least in appearance. Um, from very early on in Chinese culture, it was customary for the wealthiest in society to, to be buried alongside objects that signified their rank and status with the objects believed to treat, uh, to transport them to uh, the afterlife. Typically, these items included silk, ivory, lacquerware, along with mysterious objects in jade, flat circular discs known as bais. From early as the Neolithic period, uh, the end of the Stone Age, and right through to the Han Dynasty of 202 to 220 um, uh, BC to AD, gee whiz, these mysterious discs continued to be produced and have subsequently been um, excavated from tombs of emperors, kings, and other nobles. I think, you know, whatever, whatever you read into that, you can read into that, whatever you like. But I think from a very kind of looking at it, it's a very pleasing shape to look at that kind of circular shape there's no beginning or end mm. it's all it's all it's all one it is one and i think if we're thinking about the rich tapestry of life the circle of life that kind of cycle you know that cyclical nature 
um, you've got the absolute, you've got the absolute symbol here. Um, we haven't done many by symbols in Olmec Jade. It's almost exclusively been done with uh, the Burmese material. I really, really, really love these. Old Mac Jade from Guatemala. This is this is incredible. It is becoming incredibly hard to get hold of because of the recent discovery of of an ancient um, an ancient tomb in Guatemala, which had inside it uh, the most incredible Old Mac Jade uh, burial mask. Because of that, the entire area where the bulk of your Guatemalan jade is mined is uh, being excavated currently. So that means there's no gemstone mining happening whatsoever. And if you know anything about kind of excavation sites, they can be, they can be, you know, they're not open for a fortnight. We're talking kind of, we're talking years and years and years, maybe even decades. It might even become a UNESCO kind of um, uh, uh, heritage site, which of course means that there's, you know, nothing, no more gemstone mining that, happen, that, that can happen there at all. It's happened, it's happened in places like Russia where, um, where you once upon a time got uh, the most incredible uh, Amazonite in the world. Uh, but because the uh, area where it was mined is uh, home to really rare flora and fauna and wolverines and things like that, there's literally no gemstone mining allowed there at all now. Um, so, you know, we have, to, we have to look after the environment. We have to look after the, the, the area where these gemstones are from. And sometimes that means that, you know, no gem, you know, we know the gems are in the ground, but you just can't get to them. And quite rightly, you know, we've got to look after our planet. Um, so to be able to get these in Olmec is amazing. I don't know about you, Nikki, but everybody who I work with here on Jewelry Maker, almost every single guest designer, <clears throat> every single producer, um, uh, and, and the team, we are also we have been so deeply affected by Olmec yeah, Jade. It's beautiful. It, it, the color, the glassiness, the the kind of the the gem like quality, the wet look that you get. It's just so. It's so appealing. I don't know what it is. It's got a luster, hasn't it? That, yeah. That no other gemstone really has. Yeah. It. And I think that colour is just so calming. Yeah. And, and just, it's just beautiful. And it's the kind of colour that everybody likes. Yeah. You know, it just has that universal appeal. And I think, again, you know, when you're talking about the circle, it is that universal appeal. Yeah. Virtually every religion, every culture bases, you know, it, they're, they're thinking around circles. We have wheel of, the wheel of the year. You know, we have the moon phases. Absolutely. You know, we're all connected in, in that circle. And yes. I just think, it, I'm getting goosebumps saying it because I honestly. It, no, that's fascinating. I hadn't even thought of that. No. You're absolutely right, it's, though. It's, it's such a significant symbol for everybody. Yes. You know, and, and I just think it's beautiful. I yeah. Do. I think it's gorgeous. It, it really is. Now, 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 these are connected together with some temporary um, threads. I will actually, do you know what I'm going to do? I am, I am actually going to take these apart because otherwise I know that we're going to have people um, who are going to be looking at these and thinking well how, how do you wear them as earrings don't worry um so here we go so you get your two um um wheels these two kind of slices if you like of olmec which i have to say i absolutely love i'm going to hold one of them up actually just because i want to showcase the size of the drill hole that you are getting here i mean this is absolutely incredible they are beautiful they will go on some of our leather cords, actually. They'll go on some of our really, really um, uh, thick gauge wires as well. Nikki's very kindly just passing over some wire as well because you literally, there are so many ways in which you can use these. I don't know whether these, the little wheels will go on there. If they do, fantastic. If not, then, you know, then, they, then they don't, obviously. But the larger ones will definitely, definitely go on there. So you've got lots and lots of, ha. Oh, Lots and lots of different ways in which you can wear them. So some lovely little hoop earrings here, which um, which Nikki has literally just passed over. You can thread the tiny little wheels on there. They're they gorgeous. are stunning. They're aren't lovely. They? And you know what? I would actually, you know the Branca Onyx that we had before. Yes. I would probably um, oh, just put one spacer, one tiny little Olmec spacer yes. between it, because I think when you put something quite small like that, it shows the significance of that gemstone. For sure. You know, you're not just like blam 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 Olmec sure. everywhere. It's like here it is, it's just sitting here, it's just taking up space and being gorgeous in yes, its own little space. Absolutely. I think, it's beautiful. I think definitely less is more with these. I'd, I'd absolutely agree with Nikki. You've got the little um, uh, wheel on there, but look, I've put obviously that big hoop will go on there as well, which looks absolutely amazing. You will find hoops in um, jade hoops, jade donuts, jade buy symbols, whatever you want to describe. They're all the same, whether it's a haigu, a buy, a disc, um, a donut. 
Um, it's all it's it's all the same thinking. It's all the same stuff. They're just called different things. You will find them all over the shop. So we I, I, I went on um, uh, first dibs, found some lovely pieces. These are off Mason K. I'm not going to show price points because that would be really unfair. Because Mason K, I love what they do, and I feel you know it would be doing them a disservice. But they're absolutely beautiful earrings there. You can just see those gorgeous hoops there connected together. I know they're carved, but you can kind of get the idea design wise of how you could utilize these. I would be multi buying these today. Now I happen to know how low these are going to go today they are absolutely it, it is embarrassing how low the price point is going to be today i'm just wondering as well i mean you absolutely can do this you don't have to literally pop the um pop the little wheel inside the aperture of the high goo and it again yeah, that looks exactly. absolutely beautiful like little concentric circles maybe that could be mother and child maybe that could be you know parent yeah, and that. parent and child whatever it might be um uh, you know how lovely would that be uh, all make jade for me makes me tingle jade has this effect but the all make is uh, on a different level entirely i wear it every day amanda i don't think you're alone now no. I, I i genuinely think there is it's the color it's the gloss it's 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 the sound it makes as well it is a full for me and i think many of you out there as well it's a full sensory gemstone you know when gemstones give you the kind of um gemstones this is going to like a really weird thing to say you know when gems when something looks so good you almost you almost want to eat it yeah. but, but i know but I, I and i know i'm not going to because it's because it's jade and obviously you know you know why would you do that but it's got such a it, it's such a tack such amazing tactility it's it looks appetizing almost and there's not many things i mean i've worked with gemstones now for what you know over 15 years and nikki you've worked with you know precious metals and gems for years and years and years it's got to be pretty special to kind of uh, fire us up and it genuinely is there is something so appealing and mag just magnetizing magnetic about this incredible gem now we're at 99.99 yeah now we have bought you, I mean, I'm gonna to refer to other different types of uh, jade, yeah? We bought you red jade, we bought you all these different types before. I've bought you three red jade beads before, carved beads, um, and they've been 99 pounds each. I bought you three carved beads before at 99 pounds for all three. I mean, that's absolutely amazing, yeah? To show you we mean business, because we do have, we don't have thousands and thousands. Obviously, we can't get thousands because it's all make J for goodness sake. But we do have a decent quantity, relatively speaking. We're halving the price. Halving the price. That should tell you everything you need to know about how low this is going. Now, you could I'm just do some... You've got those Figaro chains from this morning, yeah, haven't you? Yeah, lovely. So that's two necklaces and mm. a pair of earrings. Yep, yeah, absolutely, Nikki. Absolutely. And I've just had a thought as well. Get some S long cord, S long cord, literally feed it yes. through the larger, the larger hoop, bring the two cords up and then feed the cords through your yes. little, um, your little wheel, slide that down. You've literally made your own kind of lark's head, not sliding slider um, uh, pendant there. And I so love simple. seeing jade like that. I love it when you see it really simply done with cord or with uh, you know some sort of just very humble material it, yeah well that's exactly it and that's and yeah. that's how it should be because it shouldn't be about the precious metals no. it shouldn't be about necessarily the setting it should be about the jade itself and when you see pieces on sotheby's or christie's or you know bonhams wherever it's being sold um you know and and, and it's all make all burmese material the pieces which tend to sell for the highest prices and the pieces which attract most attention tend to be those pieces set onto cord yeah Okay, we're at 49.99. We are nowhere near done. We've got Maker in Greater London who's just bought two packs. Well done to you. We've got Maker in Yorkshire, Bristol, Elaine, Pat, Margaret, Cheryl, Maker. Well done. Loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of you coming through. We want to take this lower. We want to give you an even better deal. There's one on your hoop earring there. The larger, the larger of the um, uh, two hoops. You get two of these. So that's a pair of earrings, as Nikki quite rightly says. Yeah. You know, you, 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 you've got here more than one necklace, absolutely 100%. And then, of course, you've got your smaller little disc shapes here, uh, little wheel shapes, I should say, which also fit onto a pair of hoop earrings as well, which just looks absolutely gorgeous. Cynthia's just bought two packs of well you, my lovely. We've got Maker in Cumbria now coming through. Margaret, well into you. Pat, if you want to multi-buy, do it now. Elaine, if you want to multi-buy. Maker, if you want to multi-buy, do it now. Well done, everybody. Absolutely phenomenal deal for you today. We're at £49.99. pence. We're wow. not done. 
We need to see no loads way. more of you there. If we're going to be taking this down to the price point that we are thinking of doing, we need to see you there. We need to see you with this in your baskets. Go, 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 go. Jenny, well done to you. I've got Heather now. Well done to you as well. So, uh, Sussex is there. Well done to you. If you want a multi buy, go for it. Do it now. Well done. Susan in Merseyside as well. Maker in Manchester. Fantastic. Bristol's through. Lovely Jenny. Well done to you. Sheila in Dorset's now uh, coming through. Heather's just multi bought. Every single person is multi bought. I'm so pleased yeah, to see that. You well done. That. How about we give you £10 back? in your pocket wow. 39.99 now there are loads of you with this in your baskets there's tons of you on the phone line suzanne karen and john a in cheshire maker in louth sheila maker in nottinghamshire well done to you as well if we can see another if we can see another 50 or so of you with this in your baskets, with it checking out, I mean, just check out. Maker in Nottinghamshire wants two of these. Well done to you. If you want two packs, do it now. Um, because we didn't have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds to start off with. Yeah. With all make Jade, we're always going to be slightly more limited to the kind of quantities we can bring you. We can't bring you, like the pearl auction, I could bring you that thousand pearl auction because we'd spent over a year sourcing it. There is no way, there's not a hope in hell of trying to get a thousand strands of Old Mac Jane. It just can't happen. This has deeply affected all of us when we were looking through the schedules for the weekend and today and tomorrow. This was the early bird that really grabbed our attention, that kind of like, oh my gosh, this is going to go completely nuts uh, kind of opportunity. Well done, Maker in London there. Caroline in Manchester's got three packs. Well done to you in a basket. June, Amanda in Leicester, she's got two packs in a basket. Check out my lovely Suzanne's just taken two packs. Well done to you. What a great deal. Absolutely amazing. We are at 39.99. London's taken three packs. Well done to you. Caroline, check out my lovely June. Well done to you as well. Amazing, amazing, amazing deal. Well done to all of you today. Go, go, go. Fantastic at 39 pounds and 99 pence. June in Hampshire, well done to you, my lovely. Go, go, go. What a deal for you today. Isn't that amazing? Gosh, there's loads of people there. Loads of people coming through as well. It? And I'm not surprised. And the thing is, you know, we were saying before, you don't have to do anything complicated. Yes. With them. Well, you don't, but you could. Oh, you absolutely you know, could. Can you imagine the kind of sea beading you could do around it, the kind of wire work you could do around it? Nice. That. And it would just, it would just be majestic. It would be, wouldn't it? Would. it? Yeah. It, it, it can't not look good. I don't think you can make bad jewellery with old no. Mac Jane. You could it's just, set that. It's just, it it's just, beautiful. it's just phenomenal, isn't yeah. it? Whether you're setting it with cord or whether you're seed beading with it and setting it into the most ornate kind of avant-garde design. You know, it's entirely up to you. You know, you can either go with a piece of cord or you can go full on Rachel Norris. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's entirely up to you. But if, Amanda, today, if today was your first day of making jewellery. Oh, gosh. Literally just that. Old just Mac. put them on a jump ring making old, old Mac Mac. jewellery. I know, right? Crazy. You know. Oh, my gosh. Hang oh, on. What? What's going on? Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> da 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 da! Wow, another five no percent off! Oh, another five percent off! Yes, Neri, no. I love this. Come on, come on! Oh yeah, what is the maths? Quick maths. Totally underprepared. <laughs> oh, thirty-seven ninety-nine. Oh. Da -da -ba -ba -da. Do you know what? I love da -da -ba -ba -da. those smaller earrings, sir. I just love them. They're I cute, want those. aren't they? Yeah. I reckon. I reckon there's um. I I, I reckon um guys would wear these. Yeah, definitely. Absolutely. Yeah. Why not? Enjoy. Um, loads and loads and loads of people coming through. Dagmar, well done to you. I just spent my twenty pound credit, which I went for identifying the Omega Jade. Very appropriate, says Jenny in Bristol. You've just given me an idea. Congratulations, darling. Well done. So my daughter has one of these conch piercings in yes. her ear. Yes. 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 And I just think her, a little hoop with. Because they're really little oh, hoops, yeah. aren't they? That would look incredible. So delicate. Yeah. So sweet. And she wears I think gold. People who've got nose piercings and they wear yeah. those tiny little uh, rings um, uh, through their nose. Just a, the little, yeah. uh, a, a little uh, uh, disc there as well would look absolutely amazing. Well done, everyone. Gosh, there's loads of people coming through. Patricia, well done to you. Maker in Cheshire, well done to you. Mariska, Amanda, Maker, A, uh, Susan, Jenny, Maker in Love, Karen, well done to you. Loads. Yes, love. What do you mean no. we're not done? He's standing up and we're not done. 30 second clock. I'm going to be getting my phone out in a minute. I'm very sorry. Yeah, no, you do that, Nikki. You shop away, darling. Well done. Da -da 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 -da. 20 seconds. Let's get that price point down even lower. Come I on, everyone. That. 
Go, 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 go! I just think the simplicity of that is so beautiful. It just lets that beautiful Olmec sing. It really yes. does. Really, really does. I can't believe we're taking this price point lower. Here we go, my lovelies. Go, 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 go. Hello, well done to you. Oh, hang on. Oh, it's the wheel. Da -da 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 -da. Thirty-nine. What? <laughs> I love it. Neary's taking it upon himself. Yeah. He doesn't like that price point. He's rounding it down to twenty-nine ninety-nine. For Olmec Jade. Oh, Bruce, thank you. For Olmec Jade, it's your deal today. You get two of these, two of these, and a partridge in a pear tree. Whatever you're going to be making. That is absolutely yeah. gorgeous. Go, 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 go. Maker, Sandra, Amanda, well done to you. Ella, well done to you as well. Patricia, well done to you, my darling, in Devon. Absolutely amazing. Well done. £29.99 for the most amazing, amazing, amazing. Oh, my Jane. Baskets are rammed. Baskets are Jane, Joanne, Denise, Patricia, Maker in Hertfordshire, Maker, Kerry, Maker in Swansea, Maker, Sandra, Amanda, Sheila, A, Maker in Manchester, surprised. Maker in Cumbria, Maker in Yorkshire, Pat, Maker's got four in a basket, Maker in yeah. Bristol, Elaine, well done to you as well in County Down, you've got two in your baskets. Go, 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 Virginia, well done, absolutely, absolutely amazing. Isn't that just incredible? Well done, 0800 644 Go, 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 well done, everybody. Isn't that just amazing? Catrona, well done to you, my lovely. Karen, well done to you as well. Carolyn, well done to you. Cumbria's bought two. Well done to Jackie in Essex. You've just taken two. Well done to you as well. What? No way. What? There's, there's deep discussion going on, isn't there? There is deep discussion. See, I'm looking there at a necklace, a bracelet, and a pair of earrings. That's a full suite. Yeah. So what, the bigger jewelry. hoops in the middle bigger of a hoops, bracelet just, and a necklace? Just on a very simple bracelet chain. That's three very pieces of jewellery. Three pieces earrings. of jewellery. Yeah, whole suite. <laughs> I can't actually believe I'm about to say this. Neary, am I right? To, okay, this is not a clock to another price. This is a clock to literally another hundred people. We need to see yeah. you there. And, 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 if, and if we can see that, then we will consider taking the price point lower. Neary, am I right? Am I going mad? I remember sitting down this morning and looking at the cost on this piece. We're not making any money, are we? Absolutely not, but that's not what birthday is about. Well, yeah, 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 I get it, but, but it's not about bankrupting us. It's about giving the customers deals. I think we've been giving them amazing deals already this morning, Neary. I don't think there's any need to go any lower, but... $29.99, absolutely incredible. Yeah, we need to see Neary saying about another 50 of you and then we will take the price point down even lower. Absolutely crazy. Amazing opportunity. About another 45 of you there with it in your baskets, however you're going to be using it. I love Nikki's idea of literally making three pieces of jewellery. So those are your earrings yeah. on your hoops. That's in the middle of a bracelet. That's in the middle. Of, uh, that, that's worn as a pendant. You're done. You're literally yeah. done. I cannot believe we're at 29.99. I cannot believe we're even entertaining going down even lower. And do you know what? That's a jewellery set that I would wear every day. For sure. And, it, and you know, Old Make Jade, a, a set of Old Make Jade jewellery, you might be thinking, goodness me, there's no way I'll be able to no. wear that every day. I'll be way too worried yeah. about it, blah, 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 blah. But at £30, you're thinking, do you know what? Yeah. I may as well. And I may as well. It's only cost me £30. Pounds. People would say to you, uh, you're always going to get people say, what is that stone? Yes, because of course. They, you don't know. It's, it's magnetic. It's, yeah, it's got it that is. magnetism to it. Yeah. Sue in Edinburgh's got two. June in Hampshire's got two. Jackie in Essex has got three. Regine's got this. Well done to you. Paul's got two. Well done to you. I'm going to miss out, aren't I? Um, no. I think you might do, my lovely, yeah. 30 second clock. Big quantity, low prices. Staggering the phone lines ever so slightly just so we can make sure these all go today without crashing the phone lines and the web. Gwenifer, well done to you. We're taking some money. I can't believe we're doing this. Jennifer, Gwenifer, Lorraine, Chris, Anne, Claire. 
Lynette, Pauline, Caroline, Jenny, Caroline, Joanne, Denise, Maker, Amanda, A and Cheshire and wow. Elaine and Lynette and Jennifer. Check out, we're taking it down. £24.99. That is absolutely terrific. Well done. You've seen how many multi bidders we've had. Suzanne's just bought three packs. Well done to you. Anita's just bought two packs. Well done. So if, for instance, you do want to multi buy, my goodness gracious me, you've got to be quick because yeah. we've got so many multi bidders, so many people coming through. It's yours today, my lovelies. Well done, everyone. Go, go, go. Well done. 0800 644 Loads and loads and loads of people coming through. And if by the way, yeah, I mean, if by the way you think you don't have a chance, you absolutely do. You absolutely yeah. do, but you've got to make it happen now. You've got to call us now. You've got to get on the phone lines now. You've got to click buy now, now. Virginia's got two packs. Well done to you, Maker and Louth. Uh, just multi bought as well. Well done to you as well. Kerry and Devon, I can see you there. Jackie and Essex, well done to you as well. It's absolutely flying out the door. Of course it is. It's 25 quid. 24.99. Nice. Do you know what? Congratulations, everybody. Well what? done. Do you know what? I would make sure though, if you're selling this gemstone, then I would make sure that you use the learning that you get from our lovely presenters and from the likes of Dave, and you tell your customers about it and you tell the people who you're gifting it to all about this gemstone. Print off something if you want to, but make sure they know how exceptional this gemstone is. Print off a bit of information about the uh, Chinese buy symbol. Print out yeah. a bit of information about your old Mac. Let people know, educate people as, yeah. as, as, as Nikki White, uh, uh, quite rightly says. What you might not want to tell people oh, no. What you might not want to tell your customers, what you definitely won't want to tell the jade dealer that you showed this to to go and get it valued, what you absolutely will want to remember is that today, on day 826 of our 14th <laughs> birthday, your price point was not... $24.99. It, it, honestly, can I say the word bonkers? Because it yes! is. Yes! It's bonkers. $24.99 is not your price. On Jewelry Maker, if I had to put kind of the top, the top kind of five biggest selling yeah. gemstones by price point, this would be in the top five, along with pearls, you know, along with red jade, you know, whatever it might be. This is We're, a prestige gemstone, isn't it? Absolutely! You know. This gemstone, the, the knowledge of where this gemstone was, was lost for over 500 years. It was only because of Jay Reidinger and his wife, Mary Lou, following an ancient fault line, an ancient tectonic plate line, which, which enabled them to find the original Olmec Jade Mines. He inspired Indiana Jones, the character of Indiana Jones. The Indiana, the Indiana Jones kind of series was made based on Jay Ridinger because of the discovery of this incredible gemstone. And we're at 25 quid and we're not done. I don't even want to think what the ancient Olmecs would have thought of this. And by the way, if you look online, if you look at the ancient Olmec, your ancient Olmec kind of relics, and effigies which are carved out of this incredible stone. It's the same material, not similar, not from the same location, but bright pink. It's literally the same because that knowledge, that, 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 that mining area lay dormant for over 500 years. It's yours today and we're taking the price down. Don't expect this to ever, ever happen. Right in the wallet, I know, Neary. Oh. It hurts, it's hurting, Neary. Oh. Ouch. It's so good. It is. You have to get it. Uh, I can honestly say, I think that is the most affordable Olmec yeah, jade by far. we have ever done on Jewelry Maker. Two words, Father's Day. Oh, yes, Nikki. Just, that's Oh my it gosh, there. I love that. Father's Day, I mean. In the middle, literally two lark's head knots, one there. What, yeah. We can all tie a lark's head knot. It's literally like a label, a label. Um, it's what do you loop, call it? Isn't it? Loop. Just, that's yeah. all it is. You literally just, I mean, I haven't even got any cord. But you, you just do a lark's head knot 
You, in fact, you know what? I'll do it with a piece of chain. Here we go. Do a lark's chain. head knot on either side in the middle of a bracelet. Yes. And what's so lovely is you could wear the other one. Absolutely. How gorgeous would that yeah. be? You could wear the other one. So if you are not going to be spending Father's Day with your dad, if you are going to be hundreds, thousands of miles away, you know, whatever yeah. it might be from those that you love, this is an opportunity. So your lark's head knot, basically, get your, get your cord, loop it through here like that. So you've got just li literally like that and then you put the bit that's it the other bit through there <laughs> and, and you give it a pull oh! it's like you do magic tricks it's, here, magic. it's it. magic it's magic it's all magic here we go 20 pounds yeah. there done and it's gorgeous lark said not done do that on one side do that on the other side it's a bracelet i mean that yeah. is your father's day gift old mac jade and do you know what? The story behind this, the fact that it did inspire Indiana Jones, you know, that's pretty cool. I know my dad would be impressed my dad, by that. I'm gonna, I mean, I am going to get it because my dad would love that Absolutely. So much. Stunning. He would. It's absolutely, how can you not, how can you not be deeply affected by a gem like this? The colour, the luster, the story, the prestige, the heritage, the feel of it, the fact that it's jade as yeah. well. Absolutely incredible. Yours today for 20 pounds. I can't believe this. I mean, I'm thinking, cause see, I'm hoping that my other half isn't watching. Cause I'm thinking my dad and my other half, that's Father's Day presents. What's that clock doing there? Cause that's two Father's Day presents there for 20 quid. I hope they're not watching. <laughs> I'm so glad I was out of vision then for what, what I just mouthed to Neary. <laughs> what on earth I, are you doing, Neary? No. Is that what you said? No. No. 30 seconds, we are going lower. Can I just say as well, there is absolutely no need for us to do this. No. When there are this many people, when there's this many people, oh, well done, Dan. When there's this many people, when there's this many people with this who've just checked out, this many people who are coming through, this many people multi buying, there's absolutely no. no need for it. Why are we doing it then? We're doing it because it's our birthday. And what it is the best time for us to recruit new customers. It's the best time for us to recruit um, kind of a new influx of people. It's the best time for us to treat you. It's the best time for us to say thank you. Yeah. We're taking the price point low. What are we doing, Neary? No, don't no. do Don't do that. This is old me. <laughs> Deal wheel. Oh, oh what <laughs> are you doing? <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> what, what are you doing? It's bizarre. Or oh, two Father's Day, like I said, for, for your other half and your dad, seven fifty each. Bam! Old Mac Jade. I mean, it's insane. Oh my gosh! Fifty. <laughs> Fifteen pounds. And you can make a pair of earrings for yourself as well. And I, can, I, can I let you into a secret? Um, I, I, was, I, I bought my sister yesterday. I love my sister. We live, she lives down in Torquay though, so I very, very rarely see her. So maybe kind of four or five times a year. Um, I love her very, very much. And uh, yesterday I thought I was on, I was on Amazon. Oh, I was on the River website. And, uh, and I thought, do you know what? I, I blooming love her. And I've got a lot out of journaling over the last, over the last, literally the last couple of weeks I've been journaling. I've just loved it. It's been, it's been like a, oh, wow. It's been like opening a window. It's been wonderful. I bought my sister some affirmation stickers yesterday. Love with postage. I think they were like eight or nine quid. I should have just, I should ask for them back. Get the old back. I mean, what? I for paid 15 quid. You've got pretty much one of the rarest gems on planet Earth. Please don't, I mean, oh gosh. 
now I feel kind of bad because anybody new who's watching, they're going to think we do deals like this all the yeah. time. And when we do do amazing deals, but <laughs> this is like a birthday deal, like a, like a, yeah, come on, it's our birthday. Is Neary okay, says Collector in Hertfordshire. No, he is not. Um, no, he's looking very flush, actually. <laughs> He's looking very, very flush, actually. Do you know what? I paid seven ninety nine for postage on something the other day. There you go. I did seven ninety nine just on postage. postage. Nearly, nearly, no. But yes, but no. I know, <laughs> Sue. I, it, it is one of those things where you're like, but do you know what? I, I actually, I mean, I genuinely, I mean, yes, it is shockingly low, but I, I don't feel guilty because I know that our customers appreciate Definitely. what it is they're getting yeah absolutely and you know what i think that's the brilliant thing about jewelry maker because it's not just customers it's a community and it is you know and we, we all sort of share that love and we know when we're being given something yeah you know and, i mean this, and, and is, this is this is exceptional it is um this message is lovely yippee says caroline caroline in greater manchester she's been she's been uh, collecting jay for the last however many years 20 30 years more i'll make for my collection and to give to my daughter her boyfriend my son my partner and my brother and some random bloke at tesco's i reckon as well why not Just give it away that's crazy she she didn't say anything about the tesco's guy um amazing incredible has he sold out We've still got genuine chances left. I think we started with over 400, just to let you know. I mean, it's crazy, absolutely crazy. Yeah, last 50 chances available. Well done, huge congratulations. 30 odd seconds and we're taking the details away. We're gonna, oh, sorry, Neil, just run that past me again. We're gonna do, we're gonna, oh, are we gonna go to a quick break, yeah? Yeah, we're gonna go to a quick break. When we come back, we're gonna be joining uh, Nikki with the most amazing tool launch with a tool that we've been trying to get in stock for the last six years. It's finally here. It is the tumbler. Oh my gosh, it is an absolute essential. If you do your metal work, this is absolutely up there with one of the most essential tools you will ever, ever, ever have. Reduces the amount of time and effort it takes to create the most beautiful professional looks. Well done everyone for that Olmec. That is literally just crazy. We're gonna leave it open for everyone who's got it in their baskets to check out. Well done. Coming up tomorrow, coming up tomorrow. Oh my gosh, these are even more beautiful on the recording, Bruce. Uh, we've got amber clovers. Take a look at these, we'll see you in a sec. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Jewelry Maker app. Head over to your app store now and search Jewelry Maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured on today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's best sellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click on the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching On The Go with Jewelry Maker. Which I've been there 12 um, it's been wonderful and you're a huge part of our lives so thank you to everybody yeah you no know, yes yes happy birthday jewelry makers you were grumpy oh dear well thank you jewelry makers for all your loyalty you're an amazing I love you yeah we love you 
Happy birthday, Jewelry Maker. We couldn't do it without you. Hello, everyone. It's Mark here and Thomas. You going to say something? No, you're going to think about it. We're both here today to wish Jewelry Maker the happiest of 14th birthdays. It's going to be an incredible fortnight. We've got an amazing lineup. And all I want to do is get the celebration started. Hi everyone, Andy here from Hobby Maker. I'm very proud to tell you that Sewing Street, Hobby Maker and Jewelry Maker are launching their first crafting weekend in conjunction with Craftopia. Taking place on Saturday the 25th of May and Sunday the 26th of May at the Abbey Hotel Golf and Spa here in our hometown of Redditch. What you can expect from the weekend is four workshops featuring four of your favourite crafting experts. From Hobby Maker, we have Sandra Rushton, who'll be focusing on an introduction to sand tangling. We have Carla Bagshaw, who'll be introducing us to the world of thermal cinching and bookbinding and all things American crafts. From Sewing Street, we have Wendy Orlando. She'll be introducing you to hand sewing with a couple of projects that you can make along and take with you. And from Jewelry Maker, we have Debbie Kershaw, who'll be guiding you through how to make your own jewelry that you can make and take away with you. The workshops are a huge part of the weekend, but what's also included are all of your meals, your accommodation, all of the extra elements that we have planned for you, including the legendary Saturday night dinner. Well, not only will it be a three course meal, it will also include a craft raffle and also a craft quiz as well. There's another reason to join us for the weekend because we also have an exclusive 20% discount for everyone who attends that you can use across any of the Gemporia Craft websites. So that's Hobby Maker, Sewing Street or Jewelry Maker. So make sure you join us for what is a limited edition experience at the Abbey Hotel Golf and Spa here in Redditch on Saturday the 25th of May and Sunday the 26th of May. I hope to see you there. This is the coolest thing ever. <gasps> it is. Nikki! I know, right? Look at that. That is an absolute peach of a tool. It is. It's a nearly gorgeous as well, doesn't it? It's, it's a, a look beautiful lovely. looking tool. It is. It'll just make you happy. Nikki, this is so exciting. Yeah. I know for you as a metal worker, this is like an absolute essential for you yep it is it so it was the first sort of investment tool that i bought and i have never ever regretted buying it mm. and mm. you ask anybody who works with metal mm. that what's the one thing that saves them more time than anything else it's that so talk to us what does this tool what does this incredible tool do nikki well it can do two things but the first thing that it's, i'm going to talk to you about is a rotary tumble for metal yeah so what it does is it basically takes your metal work any kind of metal that you've been working with and handling it will take it and polish it up to a beautiful shine yeah. without any effort on your behalf whatsoever other than you doing something like that <laughs> that's about it right that's all you need now anybody who works with metal will know the agonies that you have to go through to get a good shine on metal mm. you've got to go through all your greatest stuff like wet and dry paper mm -hmm. you've then got a polish with Tripoli and rouge and even then you're looking at it going oh this ends that so when you're polishing something by hand either with the dremel or your or you know whatever it might be yeah. You've got a process which you need to go through. It takes you time, it takes you energy, it takes you it's resources as well. as well. It is. Um, and yeah, dust and things yeah. like that, that's not something I'd even kind of, uh, kind of thought about. Yeah. Whereas literally, with this incredible tool, with, with, the, with the tuition you're gonna be getting with this incredible tool and all the extras that you've got here as well, you can literally pop your precious metal, and this is for silver, yeah, silver, gold. gold, brass, copper, aluminium. I'm not sure about plated metals. I don't see why not. I just chuck one in and, and have a look. Because I don't typically use plated metals. Uh -huh. But I don't see why not. But I'm not sure is, is, is what okay. all I would say on that. Yeah. Um, but the nice thing is you put it in there and then you can just go. Yeah, and I'm going to tell you now, if you use copper and brass as well, it comes out a 
amazing. Does it really? Oh, I mean, it's, oh. I think it's actually harder. Uh, yeah, definitely, it's impossible to get the kind of shine that you get in a tumbler yeah. by hand. It just, it, 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 it would take forever. So when you've, so why don't you show us yeah. through these uh, bits of precious yeah. okay, metal? Okay, so let's have a look where we are. If when you when you're working with sterling silver, uh -huh. if um, after you've finished making your sterling silver, what you do is you pickle it, and what that means is you put it in um, an acidic solution, uh -huh. and it removes fire sca fire stain because um, fire stain is what you get when you're working with your blowtorch. Now, if you can see here, when you put your metal in pickle, it develops this very dull white bloom. Okay. Mm -hmm. And this very dull white bloom then has to be polished off. So you're going to go through various grades and, you, you know, you've got all kinds of minute little scratches mm. on there and dinks on there. These are just a couple of my scrap pieces that I threw into some pickle last night. Mm. So you could see, as I said, now you've got tiny minute scratches on there. You're going to have to go through, I would say, six different grades of wet and dry paper. Goodness me. Then Tripoli which is a kind of polish, and it's very messy. Um, or oh, sorry, then rouge, and then triply. Mm. Um, or, or the other way around, whichever order you do choose to do it mm -hmm, in. Mm -hmm. And it is very messy, it's very dirty work. It tends to get your hands very dirty. Often people have to use kind of hood to work over because it goes everywhere, it Gosh. gets all over them. If you have a tumbler, and if we can get on the screen. Yeah your metal will come out of the tumbler. Ooh. Now that actually has a matte finish on it. Uh -huh. But it will come out, and this is a, this is a piece uh, that I haven't set the stone in yet. Look how shiny That's that gorgeous. is. That's gorgeous. Look at that. There we go. That's absolutely gorgeous. You know, look at, I mean, that is, for, to all intents and purposes, a mirror so shine. So, how do you get the different finishes? Presumably, that's been in the that's been in the tumbler for X amount of time, and the other one's been in there slightly longer. Um, no. So all this was is I just put like a matte finish on this. We've got um we've got a little stainless steel brush, uh, Dremel brush on the website. Oh. So I just brushed that over this wheel, um, over this ring mm. to give it like a nice little matte finish. It's lovely. I don't particularly love mirror finishes because I sell my jewellery, and customers often, you know. They wear their rings and they get little scratches and things on yes. so most of my jewelry has a semi matte finish on it yes nice um but if you want mirror shine you will get it with that tumbler now graphics are live we have we have we have been waiting for about six years to get this machine in stock yep. it is we don't have loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of it available but I mean, I can think of the amount of times we read out the Wall of Fame and you've got sterling silver projects, yeah. you've got precious metal projects, you've got people who are loving metal smithing. Yeah. And this is this is gonna this is gonna be such a welcome addition. Um, you know, if you've invested in working with precious metal, then you may as well get Definitely. your tumbler. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love these pieces. Um, now that's it. Everything that I do, pretty much everything, gets chucked into the tumbler after pickling. It just That's does. Fantastic. It just does because so, why not? So how long to go from this kind of finish to a high shine finish? Forty-five minutes to an hour. No. Yeah. And that's 45 minutes to an hour of you sitting having a brew. That's not you doing any work. See, that's been in a tumbler. <gasps> as, yeah. as is or, or as separate components? No, I, I, the only thing that didn't go in was the gemstones. It was the gemstones. Everything else So you literally in. made the bracelet and then just threw it in, in a in. tumbler. That was, that was another thing I was going to yeah. ask. Do you have to put all the components in separately and then make the jewellery? Or do you make the jewellery no, first just, and then obviously yeah, the put only, it in and then, make the gem, and then put the gemstones on? Yeah. The only sort of pro tip I'd say is if you're putting chains in the tumbler, and you can put chains in the tumbler, is, and I think we've got these on the website as well, is get some pipe cleaners and wrap your chains along the pipe cleaner, fold it up, and fasten the clasp at the end and then put them in the tumbler. Otherwise, they'll get all tangled up they'll together. They'll get knotted, But yeah. if you put them on a pipe cleaner, or I know some people put them down a straw, wow. but pipe cleaner is a brilliant way of doing it and it'll get them so shiny. So we're talking 45 minutes to an hour yeah. to get that high shine yeah. quality. 
or you could leave it overnight if you wanted to lots of people do they just chuck it in at the end of the night leave it overnight get up in the morning and it doesn't get hot it doesn't it doesn't kind of it, it i mean they do run warm and it has a label on it that says they run warm so what you tend to do is you put them on a tile or you put them on um because they make a little bit of noise not a huge amount no. i should say this is actually well, a quite we'll, quiet machine we'll show you but, in a minute yeah um, you would probably put them in your kitchen, put them on a little tile or a work surface, leave them. If you want to leave it overnight, it's absolutely fine to leave overnight. And then the next morning, get up and you've got beautifully shiny so silver and gold. Can whatever. we see this in action? Can we see how you kind of set this up and everything? Yeah, so, what do we do? What do so we need? So when the machine arrives, um, which you can look at the machine itself, it has um, a little belt. And all you do is you just fit the belt over the wheel really simple that's to do that it's so easy we did it this morning didn't we it literally took yep. seconds to do yep. so put that that's band it on. That's and then it. this machine is great because it's really uncomplicated so you don't even have a switch on it you just plug it in and it goes so this barrel is what you're going to get and it has um, removable end caps on both sides and that's really good okay mm -hmm. so when it arrives what you're going to do is you're going to put it in warm water or quite hot water as hot you know as hot as your hands will take and what that does is it loosens the end caps and then you can take your end cap off and then inside your barrel what you're going to do is you're going to put your um steel shot okay yep. and then we've got that over here and i'm going to make some noise now with it yeah so there's different shapes and sizes yes. in here why is that so the reason there's different shapes and sizes is because these get into all the nooks and crannies of your um silver work so if you look at something like this let's see yeah you can see that there's lots of different areas on it where you'd need yes lots of corners yes where you'd need that polish to reach yes okay so all those little pins work really hard at getting into all those little corners where you i said where it's really difficult to polish by yes, hand yes yes almost so impossible they're, they're going to find all those little places so what you will do is you will make sure your end cap is on and then you will put your shot in there okay then you're going to take your barreling compound you put about a tablespoon of barreling compound in which is just over there. Uh -huh. It lasts for ages. And what does this do? This is this helps to burnish the metal. So it's very very fine, and it really helps to bring up that high shine. It's like Gorgeous. a very fine polish. So about a tablespoon. About of that. a tablespoon of that. Perfect. Then you're going to chuck. Now, how much jewelry can I put in there at any one time? Loads. Really? Yeah. You so can put loads rings, in. Yeah. I mean, you, yeah. You can probably chuck in. I mean, I put everything in: bangles, rings, pendants, all sorts. Throw them all in. Then you're going to put enough water in to cover the shot and your jewellery. Then you're going to put your lid back on. Now, to put your lid back on and get it really, really secured, there is a bit of a knack. So you put it back into the warm water. And what you find is if you just push the lid on as it is, it will tend to get air in it and you'll notice it sort of pops on one side. Mm. So what you do is when you put it in the water, press down on the middle of it and just expel that air out of it yes and it will form a really nice tight seal now what i would encourage you to do as well is when you pick it up put your hand underneath it because there's caps on both ends if you put your hand underneath it to support it it's not going to open and pour your shot and your jewelry and your water all over the floor and then you're ready to rumble gorgeous there we go so you will literally just put it on here yep Ooh. and Yay! that's it and off it pops. Oh, it's quite a nice noise. It's lovely, isn't it? I like it. I mean, some of them are so noisy because I am going to say, beware of cheap imitations. Yes. Because they don't last. The motor runs out. The barrel is not good quality. Do not go for a cheap imitation. I've said it before. On other channels, you buy cheap, you buy twice. On Jewelry Maker, you buy cheap, you're buying forever. So we have had tons. I'm going to take this off here just for noise. We've had tons and tons and tons of questions. Through. Okay um nikki let's bring some of those live and we'll do our best to answer them for you yeah what's the first question neary sorry i can't actually see that. can you do chains you so can yes, you can so chains are notoriously difficult to polish put them in a tumbler and like i said before you get pipe cleaner you wrap your chain all the way down the pipe cleaner yeah and then you bring both ends up and give it a little twist and fasten your chain and chuck that in the tumbler perfect do you need to change the grit for different so metals? So the grits that come with the machine are actually for rock polishing. Uh -huh. Put them to one side in case you want to do rock tumbling at another time. Uh -huh. but don't use them on your jewellery. Uh -huh. You use shot for your jewellery. Metal shot, which is this stuff that you've just seen me throw in there. That's what you use for your metal. Yeah, we've got if, the metal shot. If 
can you tumble rocks yeah so if if you're going to tumble your rocks that's where you use your grits now i'll do um a little fact sheet about tumbling rocks there's loads and loads of information on the internet as well tumbling rocks takes about four weeks which seems quite a long time but if you think about how much you've actually got to wear it down to get a really high polish so what you do is you use your grits and then you will tumble your first grit for a week do not throw the stuff that's left down the sink okay it will block your drains don't do it what you have to do is pour it into a bucket and then if you you can either i think you can you're okay to pour it down the street or into the park or somewhere like that mm. or into your garden that's absolutely fine mm -hmm. but do not put it down your drains mm -hmm. this is i'm talking about if you're using the rock tumbling grits here okay Mm -hmm. don't put your steel shot down the drain either because that would be a useless waste of time um your steel shot what i tend to do with the steel shot is like when i'm not using it i take it out put it in a sieve mm -hmm. give it a rinse and then i pop it onto a um tea towel yeah give it a nice so rub or a bit nicely. of a hair dryer yeah and then just pop it back into the dry tumbler mm -hmm. just to keep it so it because it, it it can rust mm -hmm. but or either that or you can put it into some um water with your a spoonful of your barrel in solution yes, yes. and keep it submerged and then okay, it won't brilliant. rust as well. Yeah. Can you tumble sea glass? Yes, ah, yes. So. Oh, that's so what, interesting. What I'm going to say with sea glasses, because I'm a bit of a sea glass purist. Yes. I do work with sea glass a lot. Yes, you can tumble glass in there and it works really well and it creates a lovely frosting um i think you use the um metal polishing grit you probably wouldn't use the stainless steel shot i imagine it would just break it all up um the only thing is don't sell it as sea glass because it's not sea glass mm. sell it as tumbled glass mm -hmm. as long as your customers know what you're selling to mm -hmm. them they mm -hmm. don't mind it looks the same as sea glass but just make sure that you you say that it's tumbled glass it's not sea one glass. of the price comparisons that we found is actually a rock tumbler with um sea glass polishing um, okay. in, in, in a starter kit that's 240 pounds you do yeah, get some fair. of the sea glass with it which is lovely that's about how much i paid just, for mine just just to show oh guess who's come to get this guest designer rachel norris of course I would I would absolutely expect that because the thing is with Rachel and she'll know very well the minute you touch a piece of metal with another tool it yeah. will dink and it will dull and then you've got to polish it yeah so absolutely. if you love making Rachel's creations and I do I love all those beautiful oh, gorgeous, punches and incredible they? jewelry and fold forming then this tumbler is going to change your life honestly yeah. it will it's it said i started off as a metal stamper and when you're metal stamping all of your metal is dinked all over the place and then you put in all kinds of um, mm -hmm. patterners and sharpies on it and things absolutely. like that absolutely you know and you and you end up with you know you think oh no i've got massive amounts of polishing mm -hmm. i literally just bang 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 I'll into the tumbler it's amazing Done. amazing so um We've got loads and loads and loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of people coming through. We're starting off at at you know a, a great price point for a rock tumbler. Fantastic. It is. So this is and um, this comes with the rock uh, uh, tumbling grips, yeah. uh, which you know obviously don't use it with your precious metals. We do have the steel shot coming up, which yeah. of course is for your uh, metals. Can you use it if I've just used it for silver? Can I then use it for copper? And yeah. can I then use it for my other yeah. metals? It's not going to contaminate it the metal. Contaminate, no. Perfect. Okay. Fifteen yeah. seconds. Let's get that price point all the way down. There's loads of you there. How many of these do we actually manage to get hold of, Neri? Yeah, we managed to get 100 of these. There, it, it is an absolutely brilliant, brilliant piece of See, kit. See, the price that's on the screen is how much I paid for mine yeah. 12 years ago. Okay. Well, here's your price point today. Ready? All the way down. Here we go. Wow. 199. And you will never buy another one. There you go. That's, 199. You know, this, this is a, a, a something that you're going to have for your whole jewelry making That's journey. That's incredible. And you'll never regret it. Now, I would say it, they keep their value and you can resell them, but you're never going to want to resell it. Ever. This this comes with instructions from you. Do you want it to um, uh, lift those up, Nikki? I most certainly this do. This comes with instructions. Uh, so talk us through. What do you go through in these instructions? So literally everything that I've just told you and yeah. more. So it is just a step by step completely on how to use it. OK, it's. Um, and I've also included a few troubleshooting tips on there at the bottom as well, just in Brilliant. case if your barrel's not on properly or if you're having problems with your shot or you look at your jewellery and you think it's not quite as shiny as I'd like it, there's loads of different troubleshooting tips. Perfect. And again, you can always ask me anytime. There is probably nothing I don't know about tumblers oh, because I've used it forever. Because you've used it forever. Yeah. So,
We've had loads and loads of people coming through. Lots and lots of people uh, who have been who have been um, who have been uh, adding this their order, which is fantastic. Uh, Bruce has just paused the clock because we've got okay. a few messages that we just want to answer very quickly. Keep coming through to get this. Does the shot ever dent the metal? Um, not in my experience, no. And I've used aluminium, which is quite a soft metal. I've mm. used brass, copper, sterling silver. I use gold. No, sometimes now and again, the pins in it um, can create a tiny scratch here and there. If you find that's happening, just put your shot into the sieve and then um, take your pins out and then you'll, then you'll notice the difference. Yeah, perfect. The only other thing I would say is if you use um, heavy patterners on your mm -hmm. jewellery like liver of sulphur, yes. I would potentially get a separate barrel for that yeah okay because it can stay now somebody said that they've um susan's just yes. messaged in said that she's put vaseline around the top of the tube just to, to help to it seal of, to help it seal yeah yeah that can you can use that yeah good job hot work hot water works brilliantly as well it really does now we're not done we're taking the price point all the way down we've only got a hundred of these we've waited for about six yeah. years to get this in stock the grit that you get is predominantly for your gemstones it's going to take you about four weeks to um to tumble your gemstones which sounds like a long time but when you actually consider yeah the process involved um it it it, 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 it yeah. really does make sense with your with your metals it's going to take you about 45 minutes to an hour yeah. get the metal shot that we've got coming up we've got all of the kind of little um, um, um additions as well uh, which you can add on to it we're taking the price point down we're at one uh yes yeah, so you get your 80 and 400 grit uh, for tumbling your rocks and your and polish your polished. as well for tumbling your rocks um, all the way down let's get that price point down oh for you today word. maker in the channel islands dorothy violet allison natalie there's that's loads incredible. and loads of you there it's such One, good four, quality nine. it's that's such fantastic. a good quality machine it really is i said that you know there are really nasty cheap tumblers out there really? that will not last and that will break and that will damage your jewelry so anybody this is beautiful. anyone who wants to have a go with um you know polishing their gemstones because you get the grip with it you may as well have a little oh, yeah, go with I mean, it so what's the process with that then? Is this for rock tumbling? Yes, so, correct. So as you know, as I never stop going on, I live on the beach. Yay! And I absolutely love, you know, finding little stones on the beach yes. and, and tumbling them. Okay. So what you would do is you get, you start with your different grit sizes. And I think, what is it we got? What were the different grit sizes uh, 80 again? and 400. Okay. So you obviously start with the... Uh, lowest number yeah and then you'll put your your rocks in you put uh, I think it's about a tablespoon of your grit I'll find out for you and then you cover with water uh-huh okay now you put a decent amount of rocks in you want it like half to three quarters full okay yeah and then and not tiny rocks you want decent sized ones as well and then you're going to tumble that for a week now, after you've tumbled that for a week, you're going to rinse it in a sieve, in a, in a bucket, okay? And yeah, then you're going to discard that discard properly, that. not down your sink. Not down your sink, not down your sink, not down your sink. Then you're going to start with the next size up. Yep. Another week, yep. you can check in between, have a look what's going on. Then, after another week, discard that, and then you're going to move on to your final polish. Mm -hmm. And again, it's the same process. Mm -hmm. And you just keep checking until you've got, and they, they turn into the most... Honestly, things that you find on the beach yeah. will turn into the most incredible Treasure. tumble stones with the most brilliant polish. Oh. They really do. They're unbelievable. So have a go. Enjoy. We've got the steel shot coming up in a couple of seconds, which we'll bring to air. We're at 149, which is absolutely amazing. There's so many people coming through. Um, we're not done. No. I mean, honestly I, this is amazing. This is not fake like surprise, really. Honestly, yeah. these machines are last a lifetime yeah quality How quality fantastic. machines and I, do you know what's so nice to hear as well nikki is the fact that you've got you know you know the quality the quality that you're getting is absolutely yeah, superb the is. fact that nikki has got such experience in utilizing and um, in utilizing tumbling machines and she said you know this you know this is yeah. this is the kind of quality you want to get hold of this is the kind of quality you it want is. to use so i know we've waited for about six years to get the blooming tumbler on yeah. uh you know we've been talking about it for the last couple of birthdays in kind of planning meetings and you get the instructions don't forget but it is honestly phenomenal one two nine i'm not being funny the instructions and, and the tips that nikki is giving you here as well there's a lot of experience there's it? a lot of there experience a lot of things that went wrong a yeah. lot of things that have yeah. not gone so right as well yeah. you know a lot of things that have gone right a lot of things that haven't gone so well um 
but that's just wonderful because all of that is experience. You, I mean, you pay at least kind of, you know, 40, 50 quid just, just for that yeah. information there. It's 129 pounds. You get the full, you, you get all of this, which is absolutely incredible. Like I say, we've got the shot coming up. We've got the compound coming up as well. I'm so looking forward to using this wonderful machine. So glad I had uh, my day off today. How many pieces of jewelry can you put in at once, uh, says Rachel. Oh, Rachel, Ooh. hello, my lovely. Hi, Rachel. Hello, um, sweetie. So I would say, I mean, I think you could put at least 20 rings in there, Rachel. Do you think? Yeah, definitely. Oh, wow. Um, I would say in terms of cuff bangles, I would probably put 10 cuff bangles in there. Wow, yeah. that's a I mean, lot I of jewellery you I can get in I work with there. a lot of metal. I mean, a, much of my jewellery is stamped metal and, um, and rings and bangles. So I would say... 10 bangles, like 20, 25 rings could go so in there. So it's a lot. It's Easy. not one piece of jewellery. No. And when you're polishing by hand, it's one oh, piece of jewellery at a time and it yeah. takes forever and you it get does. really dirty. Yeah. And especially if you've got certain respiratory issues as well, oh, yeah. it can be a really kind of quite, it's kind of quite cheap. hazardous. Yeah, you know, and it's, the other thing is... And you have to do it all yeah, as well. It's also awful for the environment too, I am going to say. Whereas wow. this, okay, you see you're using some energy, but they're quite low energy running machines as well. We've they got 17 left and we've got kind of... 50 or 60 in basket it's absolutely this is crazy a phenomenal crazy, crazy. price it really is congratulations everybody well done you get the instructions you get the tumbler we're going to be bringing to air as well the steel shot as well because yes, we want to be able to essential yeah that's essential for your metals uh so absolutely fantastic well done everybody absolutely tremendous i'm so glad that's gone so well what's the minimum amount of jewelry presumably One. just anything a ring yeah. a ring yeah, yeah. whatever Okay, so here we go. So, bringing to air now, this is your steel shot. This is absolutely essential if you're going to be um, uh, polishing your metal. So, I've noticed there's three different types of, yeah. well, that I could see. You've got those two there. So, you've got like the little the little rod, you've got yeah, the round, like and then you've got these little kind of... And then you've got like discs, like yeah. squashy discs. They're so cool. They're lovely, like little aren't they? saucers almost. And if you look on the floor of my workshop, you'll find all of those. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, so that's why Definitely I'm saying to you. Skidding hazard, seriously, isn't the it? thing I spend most time on in my workshop is picking these three things I up love off the floor. It. So keep your hand under the bottom of the tumbler. It, um, uh, do you need to get multiples of these if you're putting kind of say ten bangles in no, here? No, five hundred grams is enough for that tumbler. Is it really? Yeah, it is absolutely. So don't bother put. So, so so if you put more in, you're not going to be saving yourself time. Nope. Nope. No, perfect. 500 grams, perfect. So you need to put your, so you need to put your jewelry in there. Enough. Um, uh, you need to put your shot in there. You need to put about one tablespoon of your compound, which is here, which yep. I believe we're going to be bringing that to air separately, and enough water to cover all of that. Yep, absolutely. Make sure your both ends are on. Put it on there Have and leave it for 45 minutes. Bob's your uncle. That's so That's cool. It. Honestly, leave it on there. Go and do the score. It's room. a game changer. And, and what's so cool about this as well? Is I bet, and I, do you ever get over that excitement of no. oh, I wonder what I wonder Just what it's going to look like? And uh, do you know what? Actually, I don't know whether you can see these. See these earrings here. These um, they're really lovely. They're by the ones way. that have got quite a heavy texture on them. Let mm. me see if I can just bring them better into shot. Yeah, there we go. Now, sometimes when you're polishing something that's got heavy texture on it, they don't come up very well. I chuck these in the tumbler just to see what would happen and I love the way they came up because the little recesses mm. took a really high polish on them mm -hmm. and where I put the matte polish on over, it, they just looked amazing. It's like a satin finish it's almost, gorgeous, isn't, isn't it? It's beautiful. Look at that. Do you know what we're going to do? We're going to take a fiver off that price point, by the way. Yeah. Elsewhere, you're it looking 39.66 yeah, today. Uh, today, £34.99. And you only pence. buy it once. Once you've bought it, that's it. Well, that's it. exactly it. And at the end of the day, steel stainless steel uh, mix uh, tumbling shot is is you know stainless steel mix tumbling yep. uh, 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 shot that's that's but you know it is what it is yep. so to be able to undercut almost every single person out there as well 34.99 you've got that one pmp don't forget absolutely heavy phenomenal too, you know anywhere else they'll you know they'll charge you post to package because it's heavy and i don't know about you uh nikki i genuinely cannot wait to see everybody's oh, what I everybody can't. comes up with and if you want to have a go and, and, and polish your rocks and polish your crystals, I would it. say go for it. I yeah. mean, it's a real investment of time. It's going to take about four weeks to do. But honestly, you are going oh, to, oh, you are going to absolutely love them. They're going to look stunning. Hi, Nikki. Can you put gold plated silver in there to remove oxidization? So, Good Mariska, question, Mariska. Thank you. I would just test a little piece first. Um, yeah. I... 
it's difficult, isn't it? Because I, I, if you're talking about oxidation that you've used with heat, mm. then I'm not sure is the, is the honest answer to that. Yes. But I would, I mean, I'm fairly confident that you probably could. It's certainly less impactive than using um, sandpaper or, you know, wet and dry paper. Mm. So put a little piece in there to test because I'd love to know. I'll have a try when I go home and I'll get back to you. I'll put it on my guest designer page. Oh, I think we're going to be seeing a lot yeah. more of this machine. I oh, think we're going absolutely. to be seeing a lot more of this medium. So I think, yeah, absolutely. But yeah, I think I think Nikki's advice there is absolutely solid. You know, give it a give it a give it a try. Yeah. Have a have have a play. Also, have a try. If you can see like this bracelet that I've made here, I, and I, know it's I can't believe difficult. you made the bracelet. Obviously without <laughs> the gemstones, but you made the bracelet and then you put it it's in. Like I haven't got enough things to do already. It's just so incredible. this one is just made with lots and lots of jump rings. Okay. Now, if you can imagine what a nightmare that would be to clean. Totally. Because you've got a million different nooks oh, and gosh. crannies oh, to gosh. get into. So. All I did was, without the gemstones, just picked it up, threw it in the tumbler, and look at the shine on that. Okay. Beautiful. We've got the uh, on screen now. Yeah. It's a barrel bright, is the it? The barrel. Yeah, here we go. This is, sorry, I've just literally got these barrel little compound. bits of shot everywhere. Barrel bright. Barrel yeah. bright's ace, and it lasts just forever. So that's really this. Does. Yep. That's How much compound. do you get? 250 gram. 250. Use, so is that how much you get? Yeah. So you use a tablespoon, yeah. um, which I think is about 10, 15 grams. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So oh, it that's does great. Last for ages. Oh, so you got so yeah, but I mean multi buy. If you're yeah. gonna be, if you're gonna be polishing up all your precious metal, absolutely multi buy one hundred percent. Definitely. And the other thing I would also say as well as a little tip, mix your barrel bright with a little drop of um, the washing up liquid that. <laughs> It's probably the most famous brand. Yes, not Pixies, but no, not Pixies. Yes. Oh, why? Why? What does that do? It just brings it up really, really nicely. Oh, just a fantastic. drop. See, this is it. This is it. These are these are kind of tried and tested tips. Oh, this, years. Is, this is what we love. Honestly, I've worked with a tumbler 20 quid. for years. Amazing. Twenty, 20 quid for the barrel pounds. Right? That's, that's brilliant. absolutely and that's, brilliant. That's brilliant, the real brilliant. deal stuff as well. It's really, really good. It is. Yeah. What would What would happen if you didn't use that? Um, if you tried to cut corners. You just wouldn't get your high shine. You wouldn't get your high no. shine. And do you use that if you're using brass, Everything. gold, yep. uh, you know, yep. copper? The works. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, you will not believe the shine it brings up on brass and copper. I'm because it only takes kind of forty-five minutes to an hour. I'm thinking if if you if, if you're going to a craft fair, do like a jewelry cleaning oh, service. Oh, hundred percent. How wonderful 100%, would that be? Yeah. And also, if you're making your own jump rings, as I know a lot of you do, yeah. if you're making your own jump rings, this is a great way to yeah, get definitely. that high shine on your jump rings. Definitely, because if you're Six soldering left, them, polishing them all, at, you know, jump rings are a pain. Yeah, they yeah, are. Yeah, they you really know, are. But, it, but sometimes you want that yeah. exact size, or you want, to, yeah. or you want to 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 know exactly. you've done it all by yourself, which I totally you, understand. The minute you throw something into pickle after you've been working with heat, it's going to develop that dull white yes, bloom. Yes, yes, I yes. Mean, yes. I, I genuinely. Or oh, to I polish just, yeah. jump rings would be I an just absolute nightmare. Pick everything up, chuck it in the tumbler. Done. Oh, I just think this is absolutely brilliant. It's gonna it's gonna revolutionise people's yeah, metalwork out there. And I can think of so many metal workers out there who, you know, let's say you've made a load of pieces of jewellery and and uh, you've you know they've been hanging around that they've been hanging around in a in in a box or in a bag for the last six months. They've gone a bit dull. Put yeah. them in there to give them a refresh. Go for it. Well done. Um, how how many times can you use the solution? <sighs> Potentially. I don't know, as many times as it still brings so up the shine. So the only thing you're ever going to reuse is this. Oh, the, oh, the solution with the as in the bright. water yeah. with that. Yeah, I mean, you oh. know, yeah, because a lot, you see, if, if you're like me, and I use quite a lot of um, certain kinds of pens to keep the colour in, yes, uh, yes, yes. or letters, then my, my water gets quite mucky quite quickly. But if, um, if you're... Um, using fairly clean jewellery, you'll probably get a good few goes out of your So you solution. can literally just decant the solution. You just, well, I don't even, I just, you just pull your jewellery out just of it. Just pull the jewellery out of it, yeah. Leave that as it is. And, and then, then reuse it. Gosh, that's amazing. Yeah. Um, apparently it polishes the oxidisation yeah, rather than removing it. Removing remove it. it, yeah. I wouldn't have thought so, There is though, a distinct because difference, you yeah. would have to, you'd have to sand or well, well, that's it, it to remove it. Well, that tells you everything you need to know about potentially using it with plated metals as well. That's that it's why kind I'd of say not, always not that test it. Yeah, you know, yeah. always if you're using anything plated, always test a little piece first. I would never confidently throw anything plated into a rotary tumbler without testing a, a little piece first. This is available on five split payments wow. of twenty-five pounds, which is literally That's incredible. So and I, I think how, how many do we have left, Neary? 
Yeah, it's about 12 left. With about 80 or 90 in baskets, it's gone absolutely crazy. So, okay, so what it comes with, yeah. um, go on. Now, so you Michi. get the machine itself and then you get the belt that you literally just fit onto the machine. Yeah. You get the barrel, which has a cap at both ends, which is really useful. Um, it's a plastic barrel, which is in some ways preferable to a rubber one because it doesn't get contaminated with grits as easily. It's nice and easy to clean. You um, will get the instructions leaflet from yes, me. Definitely. You also get the different grits that you would use if you were going to do rock tumbling. So that's what you get with the barrel and machine. Oh, here we go. I've used Barrel Bright for years. In my opinion, it's the best one yeah. for tumbling. I've had this tumbler for 10 years. Uh, look after uh, its brill, yeah. says Gloria. Absolutely fantastic. Like I said, I mean, I can feel, I can feel the warmth coming yeah, off that. It's, it's not like boiling no, hot, it's but, not. It is, but it's it is warm. definitely warm. It runs um, warm, but it doesn't overheat. It just runs warm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. perfect. So, so do keep that in mind. You know, obviously use it in a well-ventilated area yeah. when you are tumbling, whether it's with your gemstones or whether it's with your, um, or whether it's with your um, uh, uh, yeah. metals. But there absolutely are, fantastic. There are silly people on the internet who will say oh cover it up with a box you know if you want to avoid the noise do not cover it up with no a box. what are you doing honestly do not you cover it up with wally. anything yeah. keep it out in yeah. the open air on something um, hard You'll yeah be fine. perfect well done awesome thank Love you it. Don't go anywhere. Cashmere aquamarine this is amazing Nikki's work with it it is Love absolutely it. on another level entirely coming up after the break. My wife Denise, we own and run Beach Lapidary Limited, uh, a small company uh, down here in glorious Devon, just off the uh, Dartmoor National Park. Uh, the company has been running for over 40 years. Uh, and from what I can gather, the information I've got is uh, it was started by a gentleman in the aircraft industry. Uh, he was a very clever fellow apparently and could turn his hand to most things and he came up with this, the idea of uh, this company. Uh, the product, very, very similar to what it was to start with. A little bit of enhancements, motor improvements, bits and pieces and that, but the basic principle exactly the same. Uh, this is my man cave or used to be my man cave, but now uh, we do pre-assemblies. Uh, so we've got to put the connectors on the motors. We've got to uh, uh, cut the connectors on the cables. And we also uh, weigh all the media materials, the grits, the polishes, etc. And we've got all the spare parts uh, and all the business to put the machines together. Uh, another shed next door is uh, my wife's department and she puts all the machines together so uh we'll uh we'll go and have a little look to see her department well this as i said the other department uh my wife's domain in here uh, all the individual parts are brought in uh for the various machines we do with a, with a few specialist tools etc etc and uh she sits here errors on end put together uh, and once they're done, they're all stacked up, uh, ready for ready for sale. And uh, and that's it. I hope you've enjoyed this little snippet into what we do. And uh, I really hope you enjoy your machines. So uh, happy tumbling. Bye bye. Hi everyone, Andy here from Hobby Maker. I'm very proud to tell you that Sewing Street, Hobby Maker, and Jewelry Maker are launching their first crafting weekend in conjunction with Craftopia taking place on Saturday the 25th of May and Sunday the 26th of May at the Abbey Hotel Golf and Spa here in our hometown of Redditch. What you can expect from the weekend is four workshops featuring four of your favourite crafting experts. From Hobby Maker, we have Sandra Rushton, who'll be focusing on an introduction to Zantangling. We have Carla Bagshaw, who'll be introducing us to the world of thermal cinching and bookbinding and all things American crafts. From Sewing Street, we have Wendy Orlando. She'll be introducing you to hand sewing with a couple of projects that you can make along and take with you. And from Jewelry Maker, we have Debbie Kershaw, who'll be guiding you through how to make your own jewelry that you can make and take away with you. The workshops are a huge part of the weekend, but what's also included are all of your meals, your accommodation, all of the extra elements that we have planned for you, including the legendary Saturday night dinner. Well, not only will it be a three course meal, it will also include a craft raffle and also a craft quiz as well. 
There's another reason to join us for the weekend because we also have an exclusive 20% discount for everyone who attends that you can use across any of the Gempora Craft websites. So that's Hobby Maker, Sewing Street, or Jewelry Maker. So make sure you join us for what is a limited edition experience at the Abbey Hotel Golf and Spa here in Redditch on Saturday the 25th of May and Sunday the 26th of May. I hope to see you there. Happy birthday, Jewelry Maker, 14 years old. Thank you so much to all of you at home for your incredible continued support. We love you all. Let's make it a good one. Hello, I just wanted to wish Jewelry Maker a really happy 14th birthday. It's been 14 fantastic years. And I've been really lucky to be there from very near the beginning and been honoured to be part of the journey. The inspiration and creativity that Jewelry Maker has brought everybody has been wonderful and I look forward to this year and next year and many years after that um, and all the things that wonderful jewelry maker is going to bring us so thank you again and hope you have a very happy birthday happy 14th birthday jewelry maker <laughs> Hi Jewelry Makers, Yvonne here. Um, back in the studio on Friday the 10th of May. I was going to say April 10th of May. Time's rushing by. Uh, in the nine o'clock hour, I have Amazonite, beautiful faceted Amazonite and uh, sheet copper. Uh, I've had great fun playing with that. I had the hammers out. Uh, at midday, I have lovely uh, multicolored ripple pearls uh, and they come along with some um, elongated um, silver, sterling silver jump rings uh, remind you of paperclip links. And so I've had uh, amazing fun with those and I hope to see you then. Bye. Wow, wow, wow. Dave, I think you've summed it up. I think you've <laughs> yes. summed it up. Um, good morning to, to all of you. And again, we're here celebrating the birthday, but I'm about to offer you the, the King of Kashmir, oh. which is which is such a massive statement. We're talking about a location where as soon as you say Kashmir, it's synonymous, it's inextricably linked to the world's most expensive, the world's most valuable, the world's most beautiful sapphire, which is of course a blue gemstone. So, you know, discovered in 1895, uh, was mined for five years, it's almost mythical in its status. And those sapphires sell for, for anywhere up to $500,000 per carat. There has been nothing ever recovered that comes close. It's, it is said to be the most beautiful blue gemstone that the world has ever seen. But in 2019, there was a discovery made in the same region in Kashmir that is completely taken the mantle. It's taken the market by storm. I know that a, a lot of big players, a lot of big jewelry houses are trying to get their hands on this material uh, to, to work into their collections. And I think we're on the cusp of seeing something sensational. The problem is, because it's not a massive commercial mine because of where it's situated, a lot of the material that is recovered is just sold as mineral specimens. They, oh they don't gosh. even cut it um, at the moment and they're f trying to figure out a way to make the mine more easily accessible, whether it's building roads, whatever it may be, until this mine becomes more easily accessible, until it allows for you know commercial mining, it is gonna be very difficult for any big jewelry house to get hold of this material. We are working with some of the most incredible carvers in the world, bar none. And we have created a collection for this birthday that is beyond anything that I've ever seen. And I know it's a massive statement, but the statement of this gemstone's introduction to the world doesn't get bolder. They call it the King of Kashmir. Oh, Can you imagine? Gosh. You know, they, they could have called it the Prince of Kashmir. They could have said it's, you know, the, the Kashmir Encore. They, they could have said all manner of things, but they're literally talking about this aquamarine as the new king of Kashmir, this prized, incredible blue gemstone that has been discovered above the clouds. Oh, right? I mean, wow. in the Shigar Valley. But I mean, it sounds too romantic to be true. It, it sounds really does. made up, you know. But the, the reality is, in this part of the world, this isolated part of the world, as beautiful as it is, it, it is very isolated. And, you know, you've got these tiny pockets of villages that are situated within mm. Kashmir, um, in the mountains, in these valleys. And 
for only three months of the year, a lot of the men from these villages expedition into the mountains. And they've done it for uh, hundreds of years. And they go up there in search of some of the rarest gemstones. And I, I know a gentleman who owns a sapphire mine on the Pakistan side of Kashmir. Wow. And he, he often sends me, you know, his finds of the season. And there is gemstones up there that no one knows exists. There are gemstones like Huaynite. There's green Huaynite up there, which no one's ever seen. It's one of the rarest gemstones on the planet. And this is, and they're only recovering six or seven stones, right? Oh, and they're gosh, walking, seriously. You know, it's, and it is truly an expedition. They leave home for three months and they go into the mountains. And they're going into the mountains in the same, same way that their ancestors did. You know, it's, it, they're not roads, they're not paths. They're negating, you know, these sheer cliff drops. Goodness and me. The, the pictures, you know, from the field uh, gemologists that have been out there showcase that this is literally above the clouds. And, you know, for years they've found pink sapphires, they found rubies, they found blue sapphires, they found emeralds, ultra rare gemstones, and the geology in this place is exceptional. But, you know, there are places in the world that lay claim to some of the finest geological miracles in the world. You know, Magot in Burma is one of them. And I've been there, and it's these jungles that are full of the world's most prized pigeon blood rubies, the ones that are in royalty. And in the same mines that these rubies are coming out, sapphires are coming out, and they're you know the the most exceptional sapphires in the world that are mined today and they are you know borderline cashmere grade mm. um above that of ceylon on the whole and they're found in ruby mines it's so gem rich you're finding rubies pink sapphires um sapphires uh, rubies in the same mine mm. spinels the finest spinels and this is like the, the jungles of burma and we talk about how difficult it is to, to negate that imagine then being thousands of feet up in the sky it's very very challenging but the rewards are worth it so these gentlemen and their fathers and their forefathers have been doing this for generations and in 2019 as they were at the, the peak of one of the mountains one of the gentlemen decided to literally crawl into a crevice in the mountain which is mad isn't it on his back that's and it's just this natural crevice in a mountain top and when he when he re-emerged he told the others that were with him you got to see this oh my you know, and, 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 and they go in and there are crystals of bright blue I mean, obviously they didn't even know they were aquamarine at this point they're like what are they but it's the, the mountain is full of these incredible blue crystals oh that are falling God. from the roof and they have to cleave them off and and this was you know as i said back in 2019 they when they return after that season with these crystals the next year they go they they put, put together their money and they buy a generator and, and a drill bit essentially yeah and they yeah. go back up with donkeys this time and then they, they spend just the whole season inside this mountain, oh right? Literally cooking on the ledge of a cliff and they're removing these crystals bit by bit, right? Because it's blowing everyone's mind. At this point, they've had them certified as aquamarine and they're, the, they're said to be the best in the world. And they come back, they, they literally load up their donkeys, you know, in the, the saddles with these crystals. They negate down the mountain and then they arrive. And then it debuted at Tucson. This one colossal, it's a million carats. Oh. Right, the, 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 when the Western world first got to see it, it was this piece that they'd been excavating from the mountain for three months. It's about the size of your desk, Carol, which you know, it's huge. And obviously, because they had to remove from the mountain, they had to painstakingly put it back together. So put the crystals back in, you know, and, and you know, use, use adhesive to, to put them all back together. Because <laughs> you can't carry a million carat huge piece like that down. So they took Good it apart, grief. then reassembled it in the villages of Kashmir in the off season, when the, when the ground's full of snow. And then um, some private collectors in Europe heard about it. They flew out. They acquired it for an unknown sum. Um, it's currently on loan at one of the most prestigious museums in North America while this gentleman that owns it is building his own museum to display it. I mean, in his house, private oh my museum. Gosh. And then the world got to see it. And there are fragments that were offered as well at Tucson. This is the first time I saw it at Tucson a couple of years ago. And the gemologists have come out. Not only have they said, it's one thing for it to be huge and amazing. The words that were used were, it's better than Santa Maria. Like it surpasses every wow. bar. No. That's the thing. So with, with aquamarine, before I show you the pictures and things, with aquamarine, it is a gemstone that is you know known around the world. All the big jewelry houses have collections of aquamarine, whether it's from East Africa or you know uh, the, the Brazil, which was to be the, the finest location historically, Santa Maria, um, which is said to be mined out and been mined out for decades. Mm -hmm. And what made Santa Maria so special was that it produced an aquamarine that didn't need heat treatment. Now, there is a, a this misconception in the industry that when you heat aquamarine, it improves the color, because it doesn't do that. 
when you heat aquamarine, it removes the secondary masking of green. Yeah. So yeah. most natural aquamarine is like a sea foam color. I love it, by the way. I wouldn't yeah. even heat it, but you, you may have seen them. They're, they almost look like um, really, really pale emeralds. Mm -hmm. yes. And then they heat yes. them and it removes the green um, and then it allows the blue to be more prominent the blue that's already there. That's what heating does. And most aquamarine deposits in the world, as I said, standard, almost as standard as it is with sapphires, need heat treatment. Okay, it's just pretty much an accepted practice. Santa Maria didn't need heat treatment, which is one amazing thing. The other thing is all aquamarines have secondary colors, right? All gemstones do, but with aquamarine, because it's a pale gemstone, secondary colors can obviously detract from the value. So you can remove the green. What you can't remove with heat treatment is a brown masking or the gray masking yeah. or the yellow tone, right? So yeah, th those yeah. are those always exist in any aquamarine. If it's an 18 karat gold, if it's flawless, every aquamarine other than the, the fabled kind of Santa Maria material yeah. will have a secondary tone. You might not pick it up immediately, but when you send it for certification, it will say yellow blue or gray blue. And you, it's just a tiny secondary hue. Santa Maria certifies, this I'm talking about Brazil, what made them so famous is when they certified them, they came up with a new term and they call it double blue, right? It's double blue aquamarine, oh. and, or they'll call it ultramarine. And what, what that means is that stone obviously has a secondary hue, but the secondary hue is blue it's also. Blue. So it's like this double blue aquamarine. That's what Santa Maria was famous for. And that, people always say like um, there was a mine in Mozambique that was producing about five years ago, and it was, they were incredible stones. And they would say, they're Santa Maria Afrique, right? And they'd say, like, they're the Santa Maria of Africa. But they needed heat treatment. They still mm. needed heat treatment, but they were incredible. They were exceptional. They commanded supreme premiums. But the reality is you, the market paid literally double the price Good. for identical Great. aquamarines if, if it's from Santa Maria. Yes. Right? They would. They, yes. they, so you can see the price charts like heating here, African stones here, even if it's Santa Maria grade. But if it's Santa Maria origin and Santa Maria grade, then the price goes through the roof mm -hmm. and uh, you pay double um, the, 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 the price. Now, I've got a clip of film here um, that I'd like to share with you. Mm -hmm. It's from Tucson. It talks about the Kashmir Aquamarine. And I want to oh, take you there wow. and share this with you. And then when we come back, I am going to put together the most incredible offering you will have ever seen. You may have glimpsed Aquamarine from Kashmir before. I did a show very recently on um, Gemporia yeah. on the weekend just gone. Oh, and we really? had a five carat cashmere aquamarine. That was it, cabochon. Look at what you've got in front of you. Yeah. Uh, by the way, not you. I'm just talking to Carol. I had, like, the biggest stone I had was five carats. Good grief. It completely sold out. It was incredible. <laughs> yeah, exactly. This is why I am so excited for you guys. Because I know there's a lot of people that watch between the channels. If you join me for that showcase, and maybe you got a piece, congratulations. I am about to shatter every expectation you have of, of any showcase for aquamarine. This is the best of the best. But let me take you to Tucson first. Take a little listen to this. Hi guys, so I'm here on, for the very first time I said, we've got a booth here in the heart of Tucson. Um, one of the things that has caused quite a stir is this Kashmir Aquamarine. Now this is something we bought with us. I got from my friends in Kashmir. It's known as the Prince of Kashmir. It's the second largest uh, crystal of Kashmir Aquamarine that was recovered from the mine that is above the clouds. Now, about two or three years ago, the Kashmir Aquamarine debuted at Tucson and they bought the King of Kashmir, which was the largest Kashmir Aquamarine. That material, there was a bidding war for. Um, it sold and it's been on public exhibition ever since. Now we have the second largest. Um, the team on our booth have let me know that we've had four uh, confirmed offers on this and they go up to $20,000. Obviously it's not for sale. It's gonna be in the Gempori Museum. But the one thing that I can tell you is that it is the first year ever that cut and calibrated Kashmir Aquamarine has made its way here. Um, it has been difficult to recover from the mountains all the way down. They've been doing it over the last three years and that material then has been cut in Peshawar, in Pakistan, and now it arrives here at Tucson. Every vendor that has it, and there's only a handful, maybe five vendors that have confirmed certified Kashmir Aquamarine are saying that it's traded for more than the Santa Maria material from Brazil and every single one of them has sold out of their entire inventory within the first 48 hours. Uh, we have uh, uh, incredible uh, contacts with the people at the mine. We have unfettered access to the best stones. And all I'm gonna say is the beginning of the Kashmir Aquamarine story is sky high and it continues to go higher.
I mean, that was this wow. year in Tucson. There was, as, as I said, there's about a handful of vendors that have certified cashmere aqua that's calibrated, that's cut, and they sold out within two days, 48 hours. That piece there is in our museum right now, the second largest single crystal of cashmere aquamarine. And we took it just to display um, at Tucson, and we had a, a lot of offers on it. And um, at that point, when I did that clip of film, the largest offer was $20,000. Someone else offered um, upwards of that. But obviously it's not for sale. Um, we are building an exhibit for it in our museum, but I've got pieces here that go far beyond that. So Gosh. In, in the introduction of the King of Kashmir, the million carat piece, they say, this is the story as I've experienced it, um, of the discovery and recovery of a specimen that is now called the King of Kashmir. Certainly the world's greatest aquamarine specimen and one of the finest known mineral specimens of any kind, Absolutely. of any specimen ever. This is how important this piece is. This is the, the location that we're talking about, oh right? It's, it gosh. is like heaven. It's unbelievable in the Shigar Valley in Kashmir. And oh. the, this is the exceptional aquamarine that comes from this location. As I said, because you, it's very difficult to get enough to create an actual collection out of, in most instances, they're just sold as the minerals that they are because they're cleaved from the, the inside of the mountain. They form like that in these elongated hexagonal tubes. And they're just, even with the host rock attached, they command, you know, every museum in the world, every collector wants to own the best aquamarine, do. right? A cashmere aqua is proving very popular in the market due to its superb double blue colour. Yeah. And there's the location. <gasps> oh, just so you were oh, gonna have yeah, an yeah. of that. So on the top left, that's how they scale the mountain. That's a sheer cliff drop, thousands of feet. They, they I mean, it looks dangerous. And it is very dangerous. Yes. But these people are born with that incredible gift. And, you know, they, they go up there every season and they've got those ropes that were laid down by their fathers wow. before them. And then you know, on the off chance, maybe sheltering from a storm back in 2018, they took shelter in a mountain. We don't know the full story of how they even managed to just find this. It's been there for millennia. Inside that mountain are these glowing, incredible, terminated oh blue gosh. crystals of double blue aqua. And it's so important to see it in its raw state. Because Isn't it? I want you to understand that is still in the mountain. Yes, right? yes, and, yes, yes. And it's had no heat treatment. It's had nothing. That's double blue. That's pure blue crystals. This is how they have to get to it. Oh my it's, I mean, can you imagine how claustrophobic it is? They're literally, what, there's probably seven inches, six inches between them and, and, and these crystals. Yeah. They're on their back crawling into these crevices that have been created over millions of years. And these aquamarines have been forming for that long. They're saying that they, they're hoping to widen that pocket to allow for better access, but that is, the current state of things in this incredible mine. It's not like any other mine on earth and the altitude is very difficult. That is the King of Kashmir. That's the million carat collection of aquamarines that came out of that mountain. That's the first time the West ever encountered this gem and no one could believe that it was real. And they had to, as I said, they brought it down from the mountain in pieces and then painstakingly put it back together so everyone could see the scale of this new deposit. Oh, wow. This is um, one of the most incredible articles that I've read. They say, shortly after preparation of the specimen was completed, it made the next leg in its journey to the great state of Arizona in January of 2020, arriving at the Fine Minerals International Gallery on Granada Avenue earlier in the month. Of course, now completed and having been trimmed on the back and bottom, cleaned to remove the coating and grime accumulated over millions of years and repaired with crystals reunited back to their origins, the piece was, and is, in a word, stupendous. What was shocking before is even mind-boggling even now. Nothing can prepare you for your first in-person encounter with this monster. That's from one of the most uh, well-traveled, well-documented uh, gemologists in the world. And he, he can't you know, wax any more lyrical yeah, about yeah. it. Um, and these are, these are what, by the way, this is what crystals are going for today. Gosh. Today. Oh my yeah. gosh. Large aquamarine crystal, silver pendant. This is a, from the same mine. Yeah. And not even cut in silver, 37,000 pounds. Like, because it's double blue, because it's from this unique location. Um, there you go. Large silver pendant with aquamarine crystal on black cord, 100% silk made in Japan. Aquamarine crystal origin, Pakistan. This is that Kashmir aquamarine. Goodness me. Nearly 40,000 pounds. This one here, again in silver, 6,800 pounds. Just wow. you know, a piece of this. This is what I mean, they're so difficult to actually <sighs> get because they're recovered by about five men over three months. If you can get hold of a single piece of crystal, you don't want to cut it. 
you, you know, you want to showcase it like this, put it in this raw material. And, and the specimens themselves, that's nineteen oh and a half thousand dollars stunning. from the Chagall Valley. But this is it, because it's because of the location of where it's from, because it will never be commercially mined it, it because be. of where it's from, who's mining, like half a dozen people yeah. mining yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. For a short period of time each year in a cave you know you can't get big yeah. you know bulldozers and uh, in you know, a cave machinery above you can't the clouds yeah precisely you know, even if it was just in a cave that would be you know hard enough to mine which takes days to get yeah, to but yeah the fact that it's above the clouds i mean these people the altitude, believe it or not yeah, have the literally, altitude, but they have just, the people that live in Kashmir have literally evolved uh, they have evolved yeah, to, to, yeah. With, to a great aptitude at those those levels yes with yes that, with very little oxygen you know, it is very difficult. It's like the Sherpas. You know, when I was in Nepal, which is in the Himalayas, yeah, yeah, you know, we're struggling, we're gasping. You know, we're they're like skipping around. You know, it's like nothing. It's like us just walking down the street. Because they've they evolved are, to yeah, deal with that, that. It's that incredible gift that they have. Now, I don't want to keep you much longer, but just want to show oh you. Oh my! This material has very little color. Gosh, okay, it does at the base that's where stunning. it's terminated, but regardless of that, you know, this is yeah, what it goes yeah. for. If, if it's Pakistan, if it's Kashmir. That's five five thousand dollars, or four four thousand eight hundred and fifty dollars for that piece. And then uh, the reason I'm showing you these pieces is because I want to show you how these form, how they grow. Because how the hell do you get a bangle out of it? Oh, uh, yeah. Right. And it's I know you're thinking, what do you mean? This is cashmere aquamarine. So oh think about how gosh, colossal Dave, it's so, it's so and how beautiful. saturated this is crazy, aquamarine crystal yeah. from a mountain, from the heart of a mountain. And it sounds, like I said, it sounds so romantic. It sounds, you know, but it is literally from the heart of a mountain above the clouds that has been forming for millions of years, that has been hidden for millions of years. Mm. It is Mother Nature's best kept secret. Mm -hmm. And that's why the world is referring to this material as the new king of Kashmir. I mean, I'm holding it here. I'm just moving it around just here. And you can see the color. Oh, it's incredible. Uh, just so you know, there's five of these. That's it. Five. You can imagine how difficult it is. And you would, and you would forgive, you know, you would forgive the gemstone being a little bit, you know, you know, not that good looking because of the location, because of its incredible rarity, because of the story. But it looks like that. Yeah. That's the thing. It's got, all, it's got everything going for it, and it's incredibly so there's, there's, beautiful. There's uh, five of these, I believe, and then I'm going to show you one of the piece, the piece that has absolutely blown my mind. There's two more pieces. I mean, there's, there's a, an embarrassment there's, of riches here. Yes, but there really is. Oh, this is just silly this is incredible i can't believe i'm going to share this with this you. is to, even just to be in the same room as look at this look at that again five of these absolutely i mean the clarity yeah, on that top, is i've never seen that in any impeccable crystal with a carved lotus flower yes. here in that circle of heaven i mean it's, it's carved in the far east by jade carvers yes please bro <gasps> Are we for real? Yeah, quantities are obviously incredibly limited. Okay. Um, this going to give you 30 seconds. Have we ever, I mean, we, we're seeing lower quantities with lots of different gemstones that we're bringing to air at the minute, but I, I don't think we've ever bought quantity. This is the most, this is so limited. Yeah. It was a, you know, it's a difficulty for us because, you know, Wayne's brief was, you know, for the birthday, we want the most incredible gemstones, we want the, the greatest dis discoveries, the most amazing stories. We want everything. But sometimes with that, there is a trade-off. You know, and this means that how finite this is, but it deserves to be in the birthday. Even though Absolutely. we can't bring you hundreds and we can't facilitate everyone, the reality is, this is all I could get, but it's worth it. To be in the birthday, this is one of the most incredible showcases of 14 years. But I've got, um, let's start with the bangle. We're okay. going to start with the bangle. That piece is coming up, oh, there's five of those. Oh my gosh. Yeah, a bangle, uh, we have a quantity of, of 10 of the bangle, forgive me. Wow. Absolute pristine double blue saturation it really is blue um, on blue yeah blue on blue incredible color and that is cashmere aquamarine imagine this imagine if any jewelry house in the world offered an, just any aquamarine bangle but the cashmere aquamarine that has only been known of for about four years that the, the, the world has fallen in love with imagine this is available right now but I only have ten if you walked into, you know, 
a high jewelry house, a Maison, maybe it's Pragnols, maybe it's Asprey. Um, and you know, you wanted to see the King of Kashmir, you wanted to see that bangle, that incredible bangle, and they bring this out and you try it on. What's the price going to be? When you, when you consider how this gemstone is sourced, where it's sourced from, yeah. you want every gemstone to be sourced in that way. But, mm -hmm. the, but the fact of the matter is, that's not the case. Yes. That is not the case. There are literally only a few gems in the world that are sourced in this way by like half a dozen people. Mm -hmm. This is, this is, I can't even imagine what it must have been like to discover that cave. I can't even, I can't even but then put into yeah. words. But it is like Aladdin's cave, isn't it? They've yes. gone in there. As I said, maybe they were sheltering from a storm. Maybe there yeah, was hail precisely. or whatever. Yeah. And they, they find this crevice and they go in. Oh my gosh. And then all of a sudden it's glowing with these blue crystals that, that no one has ever seen before. They were the first people to ever see these. And they said, we're going to stay here for the oh whole duration of the season and we're going to remove them one by one which is what they did and they took them down after the season and they they showed the village you know all these gems that they collected and they said is there more and they said the mountain is full of them and you know this is when they went back with a generator this is when they went back with you know rudimentary but more modern tools yeah and said right we, we have to take the donkeys up we, we we're going to go and get this material down and they come back with a million carats fragmented into carryable, carryable portions pieces, yeah. at the end of the season. And then they spend the whole off season putting it back together. Oh and then the gosh, world goes a, crazy for it. It's a movie. <laughs> it is, it is a movie, yeah. It is, it's a, it's a, so it's we, I've got incredible. three times more people than obviously I have availability. Yes. We don't have 30 of these, unfortunately. I've only got 10. I want you to confirm. I need you to confirm because this is, I, I had, you know, Gemporia actually has a bigger budget than Jewelry Maker. And our cashmere showcase, the biggest piece was five carats. It was just a simple cabochon, which is amazing. Uh, this is the ultimate showing. I'm going to give you 30 seconds. Well done to Greater Manchester. Well done to Diana. Congratulations. I know that there are going to be people out there, Dave, today who are looking at this and thinking, I don't even care how much it is. I have to have this. Maybe it's your birthstone. Maybe it's, maybe it's spoken, it resonated with you in a way which I, I, I don't know how this cannot resonate with you yeah. it is everything from the story to its discovery to the way it looks and the location when you hear the word cashmere it it chimes jade bangles it? jade bangles have been carved for hundreds of years yes okay? and yes. they form in a way that lends themselves perfectly to bangles right? yes because yeah, of course they're, they're huge you slice them up i know it yes. sounds horrible but they slice them up like a potato right yeah, of course yeah. and then you've got these <laughs> yeah. you've got these huge sheets of jade, yes. you know, not all of it's top quality, not all of it's you know, glowing green, and they literally put stencils on the piece. Sure. Right, I've shown you sure. that. I've taken sure. you to China to show you that. I don't know. Have you ever, genuinely, a serious question? Have you ever seen a precious gemstone bangle? You know, a ruby bangle. Nope. No. Uh, I think there's one emerald bangle uh, that belonged to the Mughals, and it went to uh, the, the Maharaja's Mughal showcase in oh Christie's. Oh my god! Right, which is the largest ever total at a public auction, second only to Elizabeth Taylor. That was about three years ago. It's one of the most important, it's literally the, jewel, the, the treasures from the Mughals over a thousand years in India. And there is an emerald bangle in that. Heaven there is also the like a, uh, I think it's a spinel, uh, there's a dagger and the whole gilted head of it is like a, a carved spinel. Oh my God. So, I mean, it's just, the, they also have Golconda diamonds in there. It's just sensational. Oh, wow. But the, I've never seen an aquamarine bangle. And then for it to be cashmere, I'm going to start you off at five thousand pounds, but that's not your price, and it, nor would it be your price anywhere else on earth. Goodness, mate. Five thousand. When you consider as well how this gem forms in elongated, yeah. as you say, shards and those pegtites, those those you know those long rod Columns, shaped yeah. pieces yeah, yeah. to uh, get. It's, it's almost you would have to carve it down the column. You'd have to, so yeah. So it'd, yeah, yeah. you know, it'd have to be wider than this bangle. It would have been an amazing crystal. Now, we are in possession of, of what is publicly known. Now, obviously there are other crystals. There must have been that the Chinese are buying directly from the mine as well. But oh. the, the only, the, we are in possession of the publicly known second largest single aquamarine crystal from Kashmir, right? But I'm just gonna tell you, and it's a fact, the crystal that this was carved from had to have been bigger. But it was acquired by the Chinese, and they, if they can get it, they're gonna say, right, 
we're doing a bangle because it's what they that's what they value it's what right they know and i you yeah. know usually we say oh you know sometimes flippantly we'll say because of our deals are so amazing we'll say add a zero well add a zero to this what is it 50 grand mm-hmm the offer that I had in Tucson on the crystal yes. was not far off that. Yes. Not, yes. And, and by the way, that crystal couldn't carve this bangle. It, I, it actually couldn't carve this bangle. I took it to Tucson. Let with alone me. ten of them. Yeah, I took it to Tucson <laughs> with me, right? But I also took it to Hong Kong in March because I wanted to show some of the guys, the of team, course. right? Because yeah, I thought, you know, if and it's a crazy idea, but I thought if we could carve a bangle from it, oh my wouldn't it be amazing to show the whole journey? Oh. So I took it with me and I had my cameraman with me and Phenomenal. I said, if we can find a jade cutter that can, we've just bought the second large crystal, what a PR story that would be. That would be in the Financial Times, that would be in Forbes. Sure. You know, jewelry maker, Gemporia, you know, takes you on this exclusive carve. You know, that's what we're thinking. And I took it to every single one of them. And they said, you can't carve a bangle out of it. You oh. cannot carve a bangle out of it. But a 30 second clock, we're nowhere near done. I'm going to do something sensational for you. But I just want you to know, we are aware that this would have had to have been carved from what may well have been the largest crystal out of the mine. It has to have been. Because the, the, by the way, the king of Kashmir, the million carat piece, is a series, the reason it's so large is it's a series of crystals. Yes. I don't think any one of the, I've seen it firsthand. Uh, obviously at this the point. The whole I, thing? Yeah, yeah, it was at Tucson. It was on display, it wasn't for sale. And I, I didn't measure anything, but I can see it in my mind's eye now. There is no way if that you could have carved a bangle from any of the crystals. It's a million carats. It's huge in scale, but the actual those columns, those pegmatites, those pieces you were talking about, yeah. there wasn't one attached to it that was large enough to yield a bangle. Good grief! Like, in fact, our crystal is in. As I said, I haven't compared them together, but when I think back to it, I think the crystal we have in our museum is larger than any single crystal that's on the King of Kashmir. It's just the fact that there's a collection of so many, right? So this has to have been probably the most important. And it was acquired by the Chinese who are in Kashmir right now. As I said, I've got a friend who owns a sapphire man in Kashmir. And he says, everyone we're selling to is Chinese right now because they've just gone there. And I'm not just talking this, they're buying up the emeralds, they're buying up the sapphires because there is these pink sapphires that I can't believe the Western media hasn't picked up on. Like Kashmir sapphires that are pink. Good grief. It's insane. And this aquamarine. Now I'm going to take you to, I'm going to take you to a thousand pounds. This sells out at a thousand pounds. Oh I'm going to tell you, my God! Wayne, I'm sorry to do this, but I'm going lower than that as well. So I'm going to take you to a thousand pounds right now, and I'm not done. This is going to be crazy. This could sell out at this price. It's going to. It's going to, and to prove it, I'm going to give you a thirty-second clock, and we're going to see it sell out in thirty seconds because I'm taking hundreds of pounds off. There are twenty-five in baskets. For the final three. Three. 30 in baskets for the final three. There are other pieces that we can probably try and get for you later in the year, but to get a bangle relies on the, the find of a lifetime. Yes, you know, doesn't it? When, just... when, when we took you inside the mountain, when we took you inside the mine, and obviously remember those pictures are there. Oh my gosh. To, to, that's, those yeah. pic- you're going to take a picture of the best things. Right, if, you, if you've gone all the way to Kashmir, you, totally are, you yeah. are, aren't you? It's like when I went to uh, Tucson or Hong Kong, I found the biggest gold condo diamond I would, because it's like, what, what are people gonna wanna click on? What are people gonna wanna see? Of course. Right, so they've paid this, this expedition to fly out to Kashmir, and they've trekked for days. And yeah. you know, we're talking about field gemologists from the West. They're gonna be like, right, we're gonna take pictures of the most important pieces here. Of course. You know, anytime I meet anybody in the gem world, I go, show me your biggest piece. Show me your most, even though I can't afford it, it's, I wanna see it. Yeah. Uh, there's no crystal I've seen that could yield a bangle. Um, straight down, thank you for trusting us, 799. Wow. For, for a giant 190 carat cashmere aquamarine bangle today. Well done to Absolutely anyone who terrific. acquires this. Absolutely terrific. And, and you know, look, I don't, I'm not doing like for like or anything, but obviously this is carved by those that carve jade. Yeah. In the Far East, there are millions of jade bangles. There are, it's a lot of them are treated, but yeah. every, we talk about it. Every lady in China, their, their aspiration is to own a bangle, and they've all got one. Whether it's treated, whether it's not, there's 10 aquamarine bangles in the world. 10 <laughs> cashmere aquamarine bangles in the world. Yeah, That's yeah. it. They're on your screen for this birthday, and they are going to sell out in seconds. Wiltshire, well done. Tyne and Weir, well done. Cheshire, well done. Greater London, you've actually got two of these. Uh, Greater Manchester, County Durham, Derbyshire. You know, I would love, if we had the budget, I would love just as a social experiment 
to just do a pop-up shop on Bond Street. Oh my gosh, can you imagine that? Can you imagine, just, you, you, you know, everyone's got diamonds, everyone's got emeralds, everyone, you, you've got all the, the materials, like the marketing materials, you've got the, 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 the pictures from the mine, you've got everything, and Precisely. you just have introducing the King of Kashmir. Yes, yes, and yes. And there's a bangle just floating in, 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 wow. in the window on Bond Street. Yeah. And it's price and application. Uh-huh. Can you imagine? Like if you walked in and it was priced, if it was priced at seven, if it was priced at seven nine nine, whoever is walking in is saying, "How many have you got?" I take every one you've got. Yeah, absolutely, because it's it's got to be wrong. Yeah, it's not. There's one left. You can one own this. Left. There's there's a lot of you with it in your baskets. There is one chance remaining. Congratulations. We think it may have gone. Well done. Right. Just so you know. Congratulations, the next piece coming up, we have half the quantity. We have oh, five of these. Oh, what? Seriously? Five, yeah, unfortunately we only have five of these. It's the one, this and that huge, huge, um, well this, I'll show you. That and this, everyone's lost their minds about. Yeah. This, this is crazy. Look at, that's like angelite blue. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely the sheer size of awesome. So that's coming up to, but the next piece I'm going to show you is we've only got five of. Um, obviously, if we could have created 10, we would have. If we could have created 100, we would have. It's a carved lotus flower. This is just artistry meets Mother Nature's artistry. You know, Mother Nature created the most stunning aquamarine ever. And then a team, I can't get over. I don't even I, want to sell I, it. I spent about 10 minutes, this, a good yeah. 10 minutes this morning just looking at this and studying it. There's aquamarine, there's Santa Maria aquamarine. Mm -hmm. Oh my god! And, and then the, there's this. Yeah, Bruce. It's I mean, all that on is this. what that blue. That is. You can understand when you see that blue, you can understand why they call it aquamarine. It's an ocean. Yeah, isn't absolutely. It? That is the double blue. Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna just open this one up, guys. I'm not oh even doing a clock. Gosh. This is breathtaking. We literally side with envy. <laughs> it glows yeah. like Lalit glass. It does. Extraordinary. Um, How do you do it, Dave? Look, this is. It is it, like it, Lily. All, all I've done in this scenario is I always um, maintain Gosh. a relationship with my friends in Kashmir because they're finding some crazy things out there. And just because of geopolitics, just because of um, the... But stuff I've never I, yeah, yeah, heard but, of. Yeah, but it is. And I'll be honest. Wayne Steve Bennett Knight, did you call something? Wayne Knight. Wayne Knight. Wayne Knight. There will be Literally a Wayne Knight one day, I'm a sure. A gem named after Wayne. I was like, yeah, there yeah, needs yeah. To be. There There's going to be Daveite next, but isn't there? Steve Bennett will tell you the whole reason our, our facilities are in Jaipur in India is because 90% yeah. of the world's gemstones are traded it's there. It's the hub. Right, yeah. it's the hub. Mm. The only gemstones that never go there are those from Kashmir. And it's because of the political situation between India and You're Pakistan. Me, so this is why it's so difficult for the world to even find out about these gemstones, right? Because I, I hate to say it, but India don't trade with Pakistan, Pakistan don't trade with India. So then they're kind of isolated and their gemstone discoveries never reach the what wider a world. Shame. And they're cutting, they're cutting standards aren't as good as anywhere else in the world, which I know they're investing in it a lot. So when the gemstones do reach the market, people don't like them because they're not cut well, right? But the potential, the, the crystals, that's why a lot of mineral specimens come out of Pakistan because they don't have the cutting facilities to cut them and it's horrible, but India won't cut them. It's it's very difficult oh, to trade with that portion. Can you imagine if they world. actually this just is put why, their differences aside? That exactly. would just be incredible. Oh my god, unstoppable. Yeah. Um, but it is the most disputed territory in the world. Well, one of the most disputed yeah. territories, and yeah. has has that that long history, which I'm I'm not going to go into or whatever. But that just so you know, that's the only reason that no one's finding out about this this treasure that lies there. You know, it's like they've drawn this arbitrary line that Mother Nature never drew. Mm. You know, when, when Kashmir was just Kashmir, when it wasn't disputed, they were finding these sapphires, and then this line got drawn, and they yeah. were like, well, on that side, no, that's not Kashmir, it is, it's the same line, it just runs across a fake line, that's it, it's, it's, it's wild, it's crazy, it I'm not going to go into crazy. it, but I have maintained relationships with <gasps> good friends on both sides of the Kashmir border, because I truly believe we've just scratched the surface or even How even with the sapphire discovery of the late 1800s, I believe we've only scratched the surface of what is there. Look at that. I've Look got one left. At that. And just remember, there you're probably thinking, well, there's a bit of a discrepancy between that and the recording. That's because um, Carol is hit up with floodlights right now. Yeah. This is it in daylight, or our version of daylight. You know that because you watch Jewelry Maker. You've been watching us for 14 years, and you know how the pieces look when you get them home. I'm going to do something unprecedented. I am going to give you one price on this because I've only got one left. 
So thank you for trusting me. Oh. Usually we stagger things, right? So we'll start off this price, go there, go there, and that's because we want to stagger the call volume because we have quantity. Don't have quantity today. So I'm just gonna give you one price for the final one and every one of you that's already been successful, congratulations. So I'll give you 30 seconds. 70 in baskets for one. Yeah, uh, you've got 25 seconds. Um, absolutely breathtaking. This is, um, this is a, a game of trust right now. It's, it's just, <laughs> yeah. there is 70 of you within your baskets, there is one in the world. And if you all wait for that timer to expire, all it's going to, well, gone. you're just going to be, there's a, a heavy, but you've got a one in seventh chance of owning it, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Straight down, 499. Oh, wow. I genuinely am going to say this. I said this this morning to Wayne. I think this is the best collection of jewellery I've ever, I've ever seen. And, and it's crazy because it's on Jewelry Maker, which, you know, like I've, I've, I've offered Cashmere Aquamarine. I launched Aqua, Cashmere Aquamarine on our sister channel. I've never seen jewellery like this in my life. I have to say, I, 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 I wholeheartedly agree with you. To say that these are the best in their class is, is a is a yeah, massive I'm a gemstone so established as Aquamarine as well. Well, this is it. You know, uh, uh, From so many different locations. Yeah, you go on Pragnall's website right now and they... They talk about Santa Maria Aquamarine. Of course like it it's, is. Like it's the, which is what it is. It's the Golconda diamond Absolutely. of the Aquamarine. Yep. It is the cashmere sapphire of the Aquamarine world. <laughs> and this has just absolutely shut all of that down and said, no, no, there's a new king in town. This is it. And you have to be objective. Take the romance out. Take the provenance and the pedigree out. Is this the best blue you've ever seen? Yes. Yes. You know, is it, is it you know, the, the most incredible discovery story you've ever heard of? Yes. Well done, congratulations. Yeah, absolutely incredible. Bangle has sold out. This is going to sell out too. Incredible. Apologies. Um, this, these huge rounds. You, you, wow. You know, there's a reason we said it's the most limited showcase. You're going to see his birthday. Again, I've got five. And I was, uh, if, if we had 10, I would urge you to multi-buy because imagine creating a strand of that size. So I, the neckline. Uh, this is, this is, like, you know, we've just seen the Met Gala, haven't we? Yes. Right, which, yeah. and obviously, you know, some of the biggest jewellery designers and fashion designers will literally buy a table and invite celebrities there yep. if they agree to wear their pieces just or whatever. Jewelry, and it's yeah. just, it's the most amazing uh, um, display of, of, of fashion and jewellery and, you know, everything else, goodwill. They raise a lot of money for good causes, but, you know, you see the Lawrence Graff pieces, the Mickey Moto pieces, yeah, yeah, you see yeah. the most amazing jewellery. Any lady that was there could have wore this on the neckline. Totally. You know, like cashmere aquamarine, dressed in cashmere aquamarine. Well, you think of the, um, you think of the Barbara Hutton jade necklace, mm -hmm. and you know, the beads are near on kind of identical size and shape to these, aren't they? And, I think and these that, are large. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. They, they, but you, but they probably right. are, yeah. You're right, this is colossal. This is shocking Huge. how large these are. It's literally it's like just it's too, it's like it doesn't feel real. It feels like a Flintstones piece of jewelry, doesn't it? It totally it's, it's, does. It's, oh my gosh, you're so right. It's, yeah, it's almost ridiculously wild. Big. That is it. That is it right there. And that's it. It's the ferric and ferrous ions inside the aquamarine, which give you the greens and the blues. And it's normally heated, like Dave says, to get rid of the to knock out the greens to really help the blues pop. But this is this is. This is natural. Pure. Yeah, this is. This is pure. Mm -hmm. Mother Nature did it. She did it. It's absolutely the find remarkable. Of a, the yeah. find of the century. It's, Again, this has got to be. I'm not giving you a clock because I've only got five. I am going to open this up right now. Go for it. Good luck. And if you know, if you want to try and get a strand, you have to be super quick. Four hundred carats of cashmere aquamarine. Wow twice the carat weight of the bangle. This is why I always say to you, you know, people talk about bangles and they say, you know, there's one thing with jade particularly, they say there is only one piece of jewelry that's more valuable than a bangle and that's a strand. Yeah. Because, and I, I tell you, there's more waste, there's a lot, there's, this is twice the carat weight. 14 on, on this bracelet, by the way. Yeah. Whether you want to keep it as this bracelet, whether you want to dismantle it and use it as guru beads, use it as, uh, I mean, <laughs> I probably wouldn't decide on what to do with it for the next kind of five years or so. I would just have to keep it like this. Mm -hmm. It is, it is life-changing. Yeah. Genuinely is. 
Yeah, this gemstone is is you know, what the, known as the king of cashmere. If you're wearing this, you're going to feel like the queen of cashmere, aren't you? Absolutely. You know what I mean? Just, whether are. it's on the wrist, whether you're able to multiply and create a strand, or maybe Gosh. you're going to get involved later on and create a graduated look. Maybe it's even just a pair of earrings. Yes, you yes. Know, 16 mil rounds framing 16 the face. And then a pendant mil. as well. I'll give you one price on this. One price. There's one left in the world, straight down. I can't believe I'm saying this. This is, as I said, twice the carrot of the bangle. It's four times the carrot weight of that piece we just offered. Yes. You. Over four times. Yes. Four nine nine. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Incredible. Valerie, maker in London, Suzanne, Rupal. There's so many in baskets. It's 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 tremendous. It genuinely is. We do have some slightly larger quantities coming we up. Do, we I mean do, we do. I mean, yeah. But yeah. Incredible. Well done. One left in the world. A yep. lot of you with any baskets. A lot of mm -hmm. you, I think, on the phone lines or the app. Make sure you're checking out on that. Congratulations. Well done. Well done. Right. Where do we go now? You tell me. Yeah, we have an exquisite. Really? Can I, can I show you something that's going to blow your mind oh. that's coming up? Um, oh, I don't think we're doing this now, but... I love him. I just want to show you this. You may have already seen it, but... No, I haven't, I haven't showed it purposefully. He's just, he is the most adorable thing I've ever seen. A cashmere aquamarine laughing butter. And uh, we have a bit of quantity of this just to alleviate any concerns that you can't get involved. This guy's coming up. So just want you to know that we do have some other strands coming your way, which have a slightly larger quantity. Um, but you have to be quick. This is the multi-buy territory now. This is where you can go, okay, this is the more wearable, well, uh, a usable size. Yeah. Uh, am I right in thinking we have 50 or 100 no. of these? 11. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was kind of hoping for that as well. 11. 11. Right. Now, Nikki, I know you've used some of these rounds. I mean, to, before birthday, I knew that we were going to be launching Cashmere, Cashmere Aquamarine. I thought, gosh, this is going to be amazing. I wonder what it's going to look like. I mean, Cashmere, you've got all sorts of kind of images and kind of ideas in your head about what it might look like. I don't think anything can prepare you for actually what it actually, what these what these strands actually look like. Not at all. And when I was told I was working with this gemstone, I was really excited because it is my daughter's birthstone as well. Oh, wow. But the, honestly, when I received it, it, it's extraordinary. I've never seen anything like it. And yeah. I've seen some top quality aquamarine. Yeah, of course. Years, but this is just something else. It really is. The clarity, the oh. I love it with the silver. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, the jewelry is beautiful, it's sensational. You know, it just showcases. Delicate. Less is more, you know, you've got these Tattoo. incredible aquamarines and you know, you might want to keep it as a strand, but you also want to might, might want to get two of these. Yes. Uh, we only have 11, but oh, you might want to get two of these the so dream. you can use one like this and maybe have the other one as that extravagant sort of strand. I'll give you 30 seconds and I'll open this up. Absolutely. There's 11 in the world. Good luck. Everyone gets the same opportunity. Uh, so I'll give you 25 seconds before you can call for oh. this. I love that piece. Yeah, isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. The beautiful waves. Isn't it gorgeous? Mm -hmm. I mean, when I got it, because obviously, you know, most of my jewellery is, is sea themed or ocean themed. Yeah. And I, you know, aquamarine, it means seawater, yeah. doesn't it? And it's just, it's just spellbinding it is it's mesmerizing oh, it's, it's so lovely to hear that you know from uh, as we you know someone who has worked with aquamarine for a long time and, and creating the most incredible uh, jewelry with that kind of fluidity to to be able to offer it to our collectors as well that are tuned in and to oh, be able to you can go and create jewelry like this you, you know the techniques you're going to learn the techniques but this is your opportunity well done there's 11 there's not anymore there's 10 there's nine this is <laughs> yeah, oh it's my going gosh crazy. look at baskets this is crazy, absolutely incredible. Wow. I've never, I've never seen. Natural, 100% natural. I mean, I'm finding myself, you know, talking, thinking of the four C's, you know, color, clarity, carrot, carrot weight. You've, you've yeah. literally got them in abundance. Yeah, 100 carats of double blue, double blue. cashmere aquamarine yeah. in a strand, matched to perfection. And we've had no, no influence on the color. There's no heating, there's no coating, there's no dyeing. The idea that they match that well. They yes. came from a mountain. Oh, just incredible. 
So, hi, Dev, can I ask, is there more or less waste with smaller stones? By the way, the smaller rounds look like glass dust and things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there is more waste with smaller stones, is the reality. Mm. You, you know, to get it to that size, you, you've got to cut away more material. Obviously, with larger um, stones, it's, it's, it's extraordinarily rare to get, we sold out. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> straight down, 199. We, we want to cater to everyone oh today. Oh my gosh. The showcase is for all of our wonderful collectors. And sometimes when you cut gemstones down to a slightly smaller size, you lose that impact color. of color. You, you certainly lose all do, of it. But that is, do. I mean, yeah. that, you can see. Yeah, you with, are, with gemstones like Morganite and Aquamarine, um, they often say you need mass for class. Of course. You need yeah. much larger stones to lock in that, it yes. comes out to, to lock in that saturation of color. Yes. This again proves that it rips up the rule book. You know, it's double blue. It's saturated with colour like it's like it's 100 carats in a single stone. Look at that. My gosh. Yeah. And like you said before, this studio isn't doing it any favour. No. no at gosh. all. It it's really awful. <laughs> yeah. Well done. Congratulations. Uh, another sellout. We do have a slightly larger quantity now. And we talked about, you know, if we go slightly smaller, does it get, you know, is it more wasteful? Is it harder to do? It is. Okay. Next strand, 51 yeah. available. Mm -hmm. These are five mil and these come with instructions on how to make the cashmere. Oh my God, amazing. From Nikki. So that's, that's phenomenal. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so that's much. That's absolutely gorgeous. So, you know, this jewellery, you know, this incredible jewellery that you can imagine seeing in a boutique. Yeah, totally. And would be price or should be price and application. You're going to learn how to be able to create them, which is amazing. Wow. This really is the jewelry maker birthday. And 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 as and as somebody said a few moments ago, these I mean both these and the six month they look like glass. They they mm -hmm. are so clean and crisp. So so it's six mil and five mil, right? Correct. So it's so difficult for Street Meat six mil. We got you eleven. We're dropping down by a millimeter, which you cannot tell the difference. Or you create the most perfect. Uh, graduated strand. Oh gosh, that would just be incredible. And yeah. we've got 51 opportunities. I'm going to give you 30 seconds again. I, wow. You saw how quick the other piece sold out, the other strand. So I'm going to give you a 30 second clock because I would hate for anyone to, to not know when to call. When that timer expires, call. Use the web, use the app. Every single piece is sold out. I mean, I know the quantities have been reasonably small, but they've all sold out yeah. so far. Wow. Suzanne in North Yorkshire, I can see. Um, oh no, sorry, that's for the last one, isn't it? The yeah. last one that sold out before we'd even bought the price in. Gee whiz. Okay, here we go. Good luck. Oh, wow. 51 chances. Yes, brilliant. Here we go. This is your moment. This is your chance. 70 carats. So, you know, we are talking about an exquisite, exclusive, unique jewelry maker birthday opportunity from Kashmir. To, to your collection. Well, Tracy, Angela, Maker in Gloucestershire, Maker in Great London, I promise you we're gonna do something special. I said we're gonna to cater to everyone today. We want every single one of you to be able to have something from the Kashmir collection, from this unbelievable birthday showcase. But you're gonna to have to be quick. You have to be on the phone lines. Oh my God, look at it in the daylight. Yeah. As we said, the studio does it no justice at all. When you see look this. At that. This is the, this is what you're about to get. Look at that! The cl I've never seen clarity like. And you know, I'm talking about aquamarine that I've seen, which has been filled, which yeah. has been heated. Nothing mm -hmm. comes close to this. No way. You know, if this had your 18 karat gold claspers, I'm sure it would anywhere else. Oh, would. for what, sure. You know, yeah. You'd be lucky to get it for under five thousand pounds. You know, yeah. or something like that. Even higher. Let's start at three thousand pounds. You know, we're not going to be there. You've seen the deals we're doing for you already. Uh, we are approaching, you know, a quarter of the stock disappearing. Not that I'm trying to detract from, you know, uh, your, your, your Santa Maria, because it is absolutely beautiful. Oh my God, yeah. But this eclipses. It does, yeah. And that's not us saying it, that's gemologists saying yeah. it. That it, it set a new bar for aquamarine oh, globally. Wow. This is it. Everything that we, you know, we, we previously thought we'd seen is now in the shadows, because this has surpassed it. We're at, uh, you know, 3,000 pounds, but no one's paying that. So I'll give you 30 second clock. Can I also say uh, yeah. something about this? Is that it comes on a dark blue thread, which actually 
is really inhibiting to the gemstone. Yeah. Get it off that mm -hmm. and put something clear through it yeah. because mm. it looks so much better yes. Yes, yes. when you take the blue yeah. thread off it, which you wouldn't think so. No, you think it's kind of influencing the colour of it's not because as you can see with your earrings. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, and again, you're going to see them in the studio light, which does them no favours, but once you get them off, you really it's see like that blue powder blue. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's like it is. You know, which, which, which obviously, you know, won't be natural. This is... This is tremendous. Oh my gosh, this is absolutely amazing. So we're gonna go straight down. Multi bidders, wow. I know, yeah, and, and thank you for trusting us again. We're gonna go yeah. straight down to 199. Mm -hmm. Oh! Okay? Because we, that's what we did for <laughs> wow. the other piece, okay. right? Okay. And then I'm it's gonna tell you, we are nowhere near done. If, if you think that's quite a drop, the drop after this is gonna be sensational, but it is imperative that you are acting fast. Everything so far has completely sold out. Yes. And this will be no different because the deal that we've got lined up for you is going to shock every single one of you. But uh, as if as if the gemstone wasn't wasn't enough. You know mm -hmm. the way it looks, the fact that it's natural isn't enough. Where it's from, how oh, yeah. it's sourced is the stuff of it's just it's just so it's romantic. It's the whole everything about this just works. Mm -hmm. It's so, you know, you want to invest, don't you? Because it's got everything. Such a story. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you, you want to be a part of it. A lot of you are multi-buying. Yes. I'm promising you an incredible birthday deal. Let me give you um, a 30-second clock. Mm -hmm. and then I'm going to drop a huge amount off this. As I said, this showcase is for every one of our clips. We want every one of you. It's the, the last of the strands, the last of these colossal carat weights. Yes. Um, you've got your interest-free split payments. Um, and in 18 seconds, you're going to have the opportunity to be able to get this. Fantastic. Congratulations. So many people already coming through. Patricia, Alison, Susan, Christine, Maker in London's got two. Karen, Alison, Valerie, Beryl, Heather, Christine, Pamela, Amanda, Maker in Kent, Tracy, Angela in the West Midlands. There's so many people coming through. Well Tons in baskets. Please check out. Right, straight Linden, down. Check out. Straight down for you. We're at 199. Which for you've it. seen lots of you on the finance, lots of you multi buying. We only had 51. Let's take it to 149. Brilliant. Even though it's a millimeter oh difference, a millimeter, <laughs> um, you are getting the craziest deal today. And you get that uh, instruction uh, uh, as well on how to make the earrings yeah. with this piece. Congratulations. We're at one, four, nine. Uh, we've got Patricia, Alison, Susan, Christine, Maker Grade London's getting two, Karen in five, Zara, Alison, Valerie, Beryl, Heather, Jeannie, Christine, Pamela, Amanda, Maker, Tracy. We've got Linda and Deborah and Christine. We've got uh, Wiltshire. We've got North Yorkshire, Gloucestershire, Greater London. Yeah, well Congratulations, done. guys. So many messages coming through about this stone. I think this has deeply affected absolutely everybody watching the show today. No one can quite believe what we've yes. got um, uh, hold of. Beautiful gems. So enjoy learning about them and how they're sourced. Added ad uh, advantage of buying. Thank you. No problem. Um, uh, happy birthday, gem, says Collector and Angus. Aquamarine is my favourite gemstone. Had to have some of it. It's beyond beautiful. Oh, thank thank you. you so much. And don't you think it's a gemstone we all feel relatively safe with? We feel like we know this gemstone yeah. because you know it's from lots of different locations. It's established, isn't it? Which is why this particular aquamarine has had such an effect on us because we've seen yeah. the ones which have been filled or treated, or we've seen you know beautiful ones from Nigeria, Mozambique, from Brazil. But this is just a completely different ball game. It really is. It really genuinely is. Well done to every single one of you. Pauline, well you can do it. Uh, Maker in Surrey, you can do it. Georgini, you can do it. There's nothing stopping uh, Atila in Great London, you've done it. There's well nothing done. stopping you being able to get involved right now. Nothing at all. Congratulations, well done. Just to give you an update, um, all of the uh, cashmere aquamarine that we bought to wear so far has yeah. completely sold out. So you want to get it you, you, abs absolutely phenomenal. Congratulations, everybody. Well done. Um, and I'm absolutely with um, with Nikki as well. Take it off this, um, uh, take it off the dark blue strand yeah. because it really, it's not showing it off to its best um, at all. Um, take it off, literally put it on a, maybe a white, a white piece of paper even. Absolutely, just on a clear thread. It, it yeah, works so yeah. much nicer. And what I would love to see, I, I would love to see if somebody makes something with yellow gold. I would oh, love phenomenal. to see it with yellow gold. There is something about utilising uh, aquamarine with yellow gold. Yeah. It, it, it really, yeah. it, particularly if it's got a colour like this, it will really, really kind of elevate the look of it so, so, so greatly. Congratulations, Sandra. Well done to you as well. Uh, 
15 second, uh, fifteen chances remaining. Let me give you a 30 second clock. I'm going to take this even lower. Oh, it is the birthday. Wow. If we're ever going to do Woo! something crazy, we're going to do it today. So in 30 seconds, I'm going to call another price. There's only 15, one, five chances remaining. There's more than that of you on the phone lines. But if, you, if, 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 if there is an excuse, we're going to use it. And it's our birthday. It, it's been a very limited showcase. There are lots of people missing out. So let's do an even greater deal. But as soon as this deal comes on the screen, Bruce, let's give everyone a minute to check it out. We're only going to give you a minute. Oh, my God. Uh, I believe we've got 12, maybe 10 chances remaining now. Yes. We're at 149. We're going to go even greater for you. We're going to go to 129. Oh, but my Once gosh. that price is on the screen, we're going to give you 60 <laughs> seconds to check out at that price. Okay, it's a live deal. It's a birthday deal that we're extending to every single one of you that is getting involved in this auction with us today. So yours today as part of our 14th birthday we're at 129 for a huge carrot weight cashmere aquamarine collector's opportunity 15 baskets 15 baskets as soon as as soon as dave intimated we were going to be taking the price quite low it literally so many people put this in baskets check out now it's yours today multi-buy if you can yeah uh i mean what an opportunity for you today go 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 and it, you know this is this is gonna. This is gonna absolutely blow your mind. Yeah, and it's once gonna, in a lifetime, isn't it? Yeah, it really once in a is. lifetime. Yeah, and it's gonna join that that list of all the other pieces that have been on your screen that have sold out. It's gonna also read sold out. You've got less than half a minute to be able to do it at this price. We've decided to just go even lower because we're celebrating Jewelry Maker's incredible birthday. Well done to every single one. I of have you. to say, it, it's really it set my imagination going thinking about what else there might be yeah in cash oh my god you know i mean some of the some of the pink sapphires you're oh yeah I mean, it's, it, the crazy thing is it's literally the same mine as the cashmere mine so although we talk about it, it being mined out that landslide in a five-year period yeah the, the as it goes through the mountain on the other side it's the same geology the material turns into ruby so there is cashmere rubies which have, which have never made their way to the world market. They are being collated and collected and curated in villages with maybe a dozen people that live in Oh my god! That's the, the truth. I've seen the pictures, I've seen the videos, I've seen the rough. And um, you know, there, there is a possibility that we get to bring those to you very, very soon. That would be incredible. Shall we do the Buddha? Oh, we have to. He's so... Someone give me some good news. How many of the Buddha do we have? Come on. Oh no. 47. <laughs> Sorry. I, I was getting excited. I thought they're going to say 100, 200, uh, under 50 of these. We've just seen 51 strands disappear like that. This is the Buddha, hand carved He's into so aquamarine beautiful. that is crystal, that is incredible uh, gem quality. The light that is kind of, I want to say, collecting yeah. inside the Buddha. It, it, wow. It's just, it is absolutely beautiful. Oh my God, yes, Bruce, that's it. No. Right, let me give you 30 seconds. I'm gonna bring this live. There's 47 in the world, and I'll tell you right now, I'm gonna say it, it's gonna be double figures. I'm just double saying figures? that, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, I really want Because look, we've really all felt like that. Every Everyone that has seen the Buddha has said I want it. I know that that is gonna to extend to everyone that's tuned in. So I am gonna make the executive decision that we're gonna make this the most affordable piece. Should it be? No. You know, if that was set, as it should be, if that was framed with 18 karat gold, anywhere in the world, first dibs anywhere, what would the price be? We've seen silver crystals on, on cord for 37,000 pounds on yeah. first dibs. This morning, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That isn't some crazy time ago or, or Bonhams or Christie's. That piece there is 37,000 pounds. It's available now. That crystal on the cord with the silver cap on it. Thirty-seven thousand. Good grief! Okay, right. And, and this is a hand-carved Buddha. Oh my gosh! Look at him. He's amazing. Here we go. Forty-seven in the world. It's a ten-carat solitaire. Let's I, be honest. I feel so. I feel so short-sighted because you know I. I should never make these kind of claims because we had a bundle of opalite, and opalite's a man-made. It, it's a man-made material. And we sit there, and I've and I've said before, you know, sometimes this kind of material gives you what gemstones can't give you, and it, you know, you know, no gemstone is going to give you that level of glow. It's sitting right here. Yes. This is it. Mm -hmm. Go, by the way, that's let's just call it what it is: a ten carat solitaire of pristine, oh, God, yeah. When you put it eye like that, clean cashmere aquamarine, eye clean. and then it's been not faceted, but hand carved oh my into gosh. the form of the laughing Buddha. And I'm telling you. Everyone is having the same exact response as you are. 
everyone's on the phone lines. Yeah. The, the way you feel right now at home when you see that and you hear the news that we're gonna we're going to make this double figures. Everyone else has heard that news. Everyone else has picked up the phone too. I only have forty seven. That's all I have. It's beautiful. Let's start at a thousand pounds, just why not? Yes, there are not forty seven anymore, Dave, no, just no. so you're aware. And this one doesn't have a drill hole, so if you want to pop him, if, if you want to claw set him, or if you want to just have him as a charm, as a good luck kind of charm to carry around with or you. Or take him to a bench jewellers. Many of you can probably do it, but get him yeah. framed into, yeah. a, into a, a bezel yeah. of, of gold. Absolutely. Lovely idea. And, and the thing is, once you encase this piece in gold, the colour glows even more. Yeah. You know, it, it locks in that colour, you know, that's the reality. You see it in the mountain. Because it's locked in, it's locked and in they're course. glowing. Yeah, you know, you can you can create oh that wonderful, gosh. wonderful look for yourself. Gallery wire work beautifully with there that. You go. Yes, oh, great shot, Mickey. Okay. Um, half the stock's gone. No surprise. Oh yeah. Um, thirty second clock. Thirty second clock. I'll tell you right now. Um, more, you... more than nine hundred pounds coming off the price. More. So you've promised yeah, double figures. Double um, figures. Yeah, and, I, and I'm t telling you, I'm not stopping at 99. Oh we, we want you down in the Buddha. We, it's our birthday, we're celebrating. We want you to be a part of it. Wow. I know there is a, a lot of pressure on Dave at the minute. I can, I can, I can, sense, I can sense it. He has backed <laughs> himself into a corner, you're absolutely right. All right, just do me a favor, let's get a 99 first. Let's see how that looks. Just to let him decide. Just, just so you see how that this looks. This isn't for you, this is for Dave. Yeah, I just want to see, you know, already how crazy this, this is. This, um, yeah, this could, yeah, this could sell out. Mm hmm should. Okay. You, you, so right now on your screens, the proposal is 10 carats, eye clean, hand carved butter of cashmere aquamarine. I don't know if a if it gets better than that. As as a um, as an opportunity, as a value proposition, I don't know how it gets better than that. But it's going to. I'm gonna give you 30 seconds. I'm gonna give you 30 seconds right now to decide if, if you want this in your collection. Good luck to all of you. Zara's just taken two. Congratulations, Nancy, Debbie. Believe your knife, you are going to be multi buying. Now is the time to do it. You've literally got 15 seconds. Chris has just taken two. Well done to you. Multiple sitting in baskets. Honestly, as soon as this price point comes in, it's gonna, it's just gonna sell out. Yeah. Go, 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 go. Well done. Oh my gosh, he's such a beautiful item. Yeah. Wow. We're we're crazy here. We actually are. The fact that we are doing this. Or that I'm allowed to do this is insane because if you pay, you I mean not you should pay a premium for this over a faceted ten carat, like just a normal emerald cut faceted ten carat aquamarine. For sure, you should pay more for this. But I'm going to do it for seventy nine ninety nine. Oh my gosh! I know that's bad too. Yep, that makes. No sense. It also makes no money, let's be honest. Yes! This oh is, my gosh. This is yeah, a good, practically good a birthday giveaway. But I know how frustrating it is. I've been in your situation where, you know, you miss out on everything. I've been yeah. to auctions where, you know, I know there's, we've had five of things today. I've been to auctions where there's one of something. And sometimes I've, I've, I've been outbid, you know, and, and it's, it's frustrating. It's horrible. And although you haven't been outbid today, you might have been, you know, uh, out, outpaced, you know, there might have been someone that yes, just confirmed sure. quicker than you, and, and I know what that feels like. But you know, most times with auction houses, there isn't another piece. I've got this opportunity, it's 10 carats, it's substantial, it's the one of the single largest stones of the collection. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying to you, we'll, we'll make it super affordable so you can own it. Look at that Trina, Pauline, Debbie, Alison, Maker, Gillian, Nancy, Zara, Keith, Catherine, Atia. Um, uh, Beryl, Neil, Maker, Christine, his name's going off the screen, it's absolutely amazing. So many in baskets. What a beautiful, beautiful. I do a minute clock to close this one out. Item. I don't want to oversell it. I don't want to make you feel like there is more available than we have. I'm saying to you, there is still an opportunity while, while it's on your screen, but we also understand the un, un, um, unbelievable response to this. So yeah. in 55 seconds, we're going to remove this auction, but whilst it's there, Try and secure it. Try and check it out. Try and make it yours. What do you think the possibility of getting more of this might be? Extraordinarily difficult. With the reaction, yeah, extraordinarily that we've difficult. Had. We we did get uh, this incredible collection. It was part of a wider collection, and we, 
you know, the, the argument came down to, well, it's our birthday here at Jawmaker, we want these pieces. Mm. And then on Gempori, we had like a five carat, shaft the size of this. Really, yeah. Five yeah. carats, cabochon. It's a 10 carat Buddha. In a ring, in a pendant? In, in, in a, a pendant. It was, that was the, the, big, the big piece of the whole collection. It was the biggest piece of the collection. So on Gemporia, on a Sunday night, on a bank holiday, big, big, our big biggest cash, cashmere aquamarine fact of the whole show was a five carat cabochon. That's a 10 carat Buddha. It's just wild. Congratulations. Okay, who wants the heart of cashmere? We talked about it coming from the oh heart of gosh, yes, we please. talked about it coming from the heart of the mountain, and this collection would not be complete without the deep double blue heart cut aquamarine. You know, we, we've we've seen the um, the film The Titanic with yes. the, the heart of the ocean. Heart of this the is ocean. the heart of the mountain with Don't the aquamarine. Talk about that, maybe. How many of these do we have? Ten. Oh my god. What are these quantities? I'm sorry. And I'm by the sorry. way, there was definitely room on the door for Jack as well. What was she doing? Yeah, oh, I completely agree. Unbelievable. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm glad she lost the heart of the ocean. Yeah, so am I. Yeah, I'm glad, <laughs> I'm glad she, she did. deserved it. <laughs> Hopefully you ten. don't need Yeah, ten of these. Unfortunately, there is only ten. Um, we're gonna open it up right now. I'm not even gonna do a clock. There is ten. Deep blue. Yeah, this is cashmere acrimine hearts. Wow. It's sensational. Look this at the, in the studio. colour yeah. of that. Yeah, it's spectacular. And, and the reality is, if, if you want that colour, there is only 10. Is your peg, there's no, eight, there's not. There's no. eight. Seven. There's your peg bale. Wow. Glue that in with your, um, with your Loctite glue. Okay, so, right, we've jumped up 15 carats. We've jumped wow. up by five carats. Here's a, a 15 carat collector's opportunity. <gasps> I'm doing one price on this. I'm look asking you to that. trust me. And I'm, I'm going to look after you, but I'm asking you to trust me right now. <gasps> wow. Substantial. Oh my but God. But still, I mean, we haven't even shined a light through it, but, but still with that absolutely incredible uh, clarity. Mm -hmm. I mean, not even translucency. Clarity. Look at that. Wow. God, you just don't expect a gem with that colour to have that amount of clarity. Wow. I've got one left. I'm going to call one price, okay? Um, oh, and I shouldn't price. do this, I so... I haven't even put a price on screen, Dave. Straight down, final deal, 99.99. Oh, my god. It's five gosh. carats larger. And, and I have to admit, it is a deeper blue colour. In fact, it's the deepest colour of our showcase. That's why there's yeah. only 10. Yeah. And, and you know, it, the colour is king when it comes to aquamarine. 99.99. No, oh, yeah, sorry. Oh, it's sold out. Yeah, it has sold out, but 99 pounds and 99 pence is the deal. Oh. So we've got the same now, but in a slightly lighter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> say again. Yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah, I know what that, yeah, that's it. God, can you hear him piping yeah, yeah, up yeah. in there? Um, Nothing live about this. Well, yeah, we, like this is it's, your opportunity. How many of these do we have? Come on, come on. Twenty. Okay, so we've got double the quantity, um, and you know it, it's a slightly uh, more open colour. But the reality is, this has been mixed up all morning with the other piece. So oh gosh, yeah, well, yeah, they, that's are, it. they are practically the same. There's twenty of these. They, they, we, we could have just put them together and said, okay, well, we've got thirty. Yeah. But we want to be true and just say, okay, that one's slightly darker, we can tell. <laughs> but they have been mixed we up already really a couple of times. We are splitting hairs. I mean, yeah. God, we are, we are indeed. Um, so there is an opportunity for you right now. Um, let's open up the graphics. <laughs> 20 of these. But it's just ironic because 20 people missed out on the previous piece. Exactly. So this uh, already Greater London, Somerset, Derbyshire, Fife. These are people confirmed, not even on the phone lines, just checked out, done. <clears throat> This is gonna be the same And do you know price. what? Yeah. Just because we're splitting hairs and we've said, oh, you know, it's slightly lighter, even though our own Just team have mixed it up, I'm gonna go lower on price. Calm down. Let's start at 99 pounds. I'm gonna go lower. What? Yeah, yeah. Exactly why? Why? Because we're saying it's lighter in color. 
Yeah, but come on. Yeah, I mean, look, if you want to separate these and say that one's slightly darker, that one's slightly lighter, I'm going to offer the opportunity at an even greater deal. Um, half the stock's gone. Unbelievable. I, I, I don't understand either. We're anyway. going lower. You've got three interest-free split payments. Are you on the phone lines now because you need to be? Let's do this one time today, birthday, $79.99. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Take it. Go, 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 go. Well done. There's so many people there. We've got Maker, Pamela, Karen, Peter, Alison. Shouldn't be doing this as you guys Nikki know. in Merseyside. You are very I'm not in, Am I in Merseyside? No. <laughs> I am not. I love it. I love oh, it. The accent Even gives it away. Like <laughs> Nikki has managed to secure a piece oh, as well. It's amazing. my daughter's birthday. Yeah, what can absolutely. I say? Oh, she graduates start. next year. Oh, this really? Oh, perfect. Wow. Yeah. Oh, That'll my God. Amazing. She's going to love that, darling. She will. Definitely. It is so special, isn't yeah. it? It's kind that's of, the yeah. beautiful thing we'll about jewellery. Uh, aside from any intrinsic value, sentimental value is always yeah. the most important. Yeah, of you course know, the stories that, that live with you and the jewellery as they get passed down, as they get gifted, you know, and we place that sentiment onto them. I think that's greater than anything. And uh, you've got an opportunity right now to get this yeah. for seventy nine ninety nine. Absolutely. Incredible. Well done. There's so many in baskets. It's gone absolutely crazy. Congratulations. Well, well done. And to you, Nikki, as well. Gorgeous. Yes, of course. Stunning. Absolutely beautiful. Doesn't that tell you something about the gemstones? If yeah. I'm yeah, fine exactly. Buying them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Nikki is as experienced as Nikki is, and, and to have the, to have worked with it as well. Well, that's yeah. it. And then to just go on record and say, you know what, I've worked with a lot of Aquamarines, and this one, well, there's this something is, yeah. about it. You know, that's you know. Then this is what I always want to say to you guys. Our integrity is everything, right? Yeah, you know, that, that, yeah, our, our, our reputation is everything. We wouldn't say something if it wasn't true. Nikki could just switch off her mic and yeah. you know, wouldn't even have to be here. But the fact that wants to be here, wants to be shopping and wants to communicate to you guys how good this Aquamarine is, it's because yeah. we're all part of the same family. We're always looking out for you. And we're your eyes here. You know, how many times has Nikki had to say, just so you know, the lights aren't doing it justice. Yeah, yeah, Nikki's yeah, yeah. seen it and she's yeah. like, and, and she's seeing what you're seeing and she's saying, no, 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 it looks better. And you're yeah. going to see that. One, left. One chance. Congratulations to everyone who has been successful. But this is a testament to the gem because, yes, it's aquamarine as a gemstone is not the world's rarest gemstone. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, 100%. But, but we are sitting here with the best, yeah. the yeah. best quality we have ever ever bought to you yeah and that and, is rare and that is yeah. incredibly the, rare like, yeah precisely. diamonds aren't rare right yeah. diamonds yeah. aren't rare there is enough diamonds mined annually for every man woman in charge to have a cup full of diamonds in north america right every Good year grief. they're not rare but on friday i'm going to be in geneva as i've, I've spoken about yes, the of course. House, and there is a diamond there that there is only 20 like it that exist it's a 1.7 carat is it the, red diamond. Is it red diamond? So there's a pink oh diamond that's is seven carats. Gosh. But the most exciting one is less than two carats. And it's, uh, it's called the Argyle Phoenix. It was from the Argyle Mine. It was sold in 2006 from the Argyle Mine, the annual tender. Wow. And it's, uh, the, the, it's $1.5 million per carat, they're estimating. So you're going to buy it, yeah? Oh, I think so. <laughs> I think so. If they do split pay. <laughs> for 3,000 years. <laughs> yes, um, but, exactly. Yeah, I mean, that's the reality. Diamonds aren't rare, but then when you enter into the exceptional, when you enter into the, the ones that just defy everything else, they become the, there's 20 of them ever, ever known to exist, red diamonds, real red diamonds of over a carat. Um, you have a chance right now. Yes, Aquamarine, I'm sure you can find it on most jewelers. But? Um, one, they probably don't know where they're from. Oh, yeah. You know, and um, two, how many people have heard about the Kashmir Aquamarine? Yes. The last deal that I'm going to do for you today. Oh, this is stunning. Again, we've seen all the hearts sell out. This is a six carat heart. I've got 50 chances and I'm going to go out with a bang. It's going to be the greatest deal. It's going to be exceptional. This is where you're going to multiply. You're going to go, right, maybe a pair of earrings and a pendant. Oh my God. Six carat, wow, still substantial. Be... Let's not forget, still no. larger than the largest piece I had on Sunday. At six carats. Gee it's just whiz. the fact that it's smaller than anything else in this showcase. This would have been the largest feature piece of the show I had on Sunday. Well, you're talking about the cabochon. Thank you. In uh, a, this in is a... this is one of the. Red oh diamonds. yeah, so this is um, Neri's literally just Thank found you. it. So this is um, this one has previously sold. That's a two point seven million uh, a two point seven million dollar piece. Good. But grief. the one that is coming up in the auction is actually on the thirteenth. It's on Monday, but I'm going to get pre. Access. Are you actually, going to? Are yeah, you going there to watch the auction? Yeah, I'm going to be there for the auction. No, I'm not even going to be there for the auction because, and this is horrible. 
um, for the auction house, but they've invited me over to you know, be intimate with the pieces before the auction. So we're going in, and the only reason they're doing that, they invited me to the auction, I can't do it because it's my daughter's sats week. So I said, oh. I can't make the auction. They said, okay, can you come before? And we'll let you see all the pieces. So they Gee, have, they've done something days. amazing for me. I can't make the auction. I wasn't gonna buy anything anyway, but they wanted me to be part of it, you know, to speak to them. I'm gonna interview Benoit, who's the head of the Phillips Auction uh, 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 and, you know, Jules Procurement. He's head of um, Phillips Jewelry Division. And wow. um, I said, look, unfortunately, I'd absolutely love to. I'd kill to be there. But it's my daughter sat So you're going there for ne to network, to learn? What are you, what are you, yeah, basically, it... I'm going there to, uh, to sit down with uh, Benoit and we're gonna do some interviews, which is gonna be incredible. Um, he, he wants to ask me some things about Jade because they don't have a resident kind of Jade expert and they want to start offering Jade. And on top of that, he's like, look, this is one of the most exciting auctions we've done. We've got uh, a 230 carat no oil Colombian emerald. It's called the Queen of the Amazon. Oh my gosh. We've got a 1.7 carat red diamond. What green auction. diamond you were talking uh, about? They may have. They've got a, a 6.7 carat pink diamond. And then oh. they've got, you know, historic Cartier pieces, Van Cleef pieces. <gasps> and I was like, look, come before. It's the auction's taking place in a hotel in Geneva. And they said, all the pieces are under lock and key, but come in with me and oh my I'll gosh. get them out and we'll talk about it. So it's, and you guys can follow along. We're gonna give you all the content, gonna That's share it insane. with you. It's gonna be amazing. But this opportunity right now is sensational. There it is. That's the pink. That's the pink diamond that's the headlock. 6.21 yeah. carats. Yeah. Yes, please. Mm. Definitely would love it, yeah. And look, there's the 280 carat uh, Colombian Emerald and an exceptionally rare 1.5 carat fancy red diamond. There's the three highlight pieces. And I, I think he was basically saying that in these auctions, whether it's Christie's or Bonham's or even Phillips, they, they, they rarely get one that exciting. Yes. And he's like, we've got three. Three, three like, you know, stand out. Nearly a 300 carat no oil emerald. Uh, a a, a 1.5 carat red diamond and a 6.7 or 6.2 carat wow. pink diamond. They're like, it's like everyone's going to be there. And that's why I'm gutted that I can't be there on the Monday because you're going to have graph. The you're atmosphere gonna have, is going to yeah, be. You're going to have everyone I, mean, there. I, I doubt it'll sell in the room. It'll go to somebody on the phones or of somebody. Of course, yeah. Maybe, yeah, it'll go to some faceless, you know, whoever. But that is. Yeah, starting estimate is 1.4 million euros. 1.4 But you know, these, million. These, these are always low to encourage bidding. You know, if, oh, you've, if you've ever seen like a, I can't even imagine. seen like a property um, going for auction in your local village or yeah, town, yeah, yeah. and it's super low, and you're like, oh, we'll buy that. It's twenty thousand pounds, but it's because they just want to get so many people there to bid, and it ends up going for like three quarters of a million because it just goes to auction. It's the same with uh, diamonds. If they price that at the market value, no one's going to bid because they don't think they can get a deal. But the excitement gets them in the room, and it starts at one. It starts at one point four. Wayne, what are you doing on uh, Monday? You fancy going over to Geneva? Yeah. Yeah. With yeah, with the jewelry maker card. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's been declined. <laughs> I'm joking. Um, this is it. This is oh, the deal. Look. Wow. Let's open this up. Yeah, come on, let's go. Six carrots. The largest that 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 I would have had in my show on Sunday on our sister channel. And it's gonna be here today, and I'm saying to you, you can multi buy. It comes with a peg bail. If I'm being really honest, I don't think I would use it as a pendant. I don't think I'd even make earrings out of it. it for me, this has got to be a ring. For oh, me, wow, yeah. that is a ring. Mm -hmm. It's it's so, I mean, Nikki, I, I mean, what do you think? Yeah, it's gorgeous. It's perfect. beautiful. It's perfect. It's perfect. The perfect. size yes. is absolutely. And the sentiment as well. Yeah, yeah. So the heart, precisely. Yeah. And not difficult to do. It really isn't. Wow. Okay, a graphics live. Oh gosh, come on, Neary. Come on, Neary. Okay, six, six carrots. carrots. We're, get, we're gonna do something sensational here. Wow. I, I always say, oh, you know, I'd like to go out of the bang. I wanna do something uh, amazing. It's my final auction with you. I know Nikki's got the wonderful masterclass coming up. I yes. know you've still got an incredible day planned. But I want my deal that I'm finishing with to be the best one I've offered you today, like me, that I've done. Um, and this is it. 50 chances, six carrots. Yeah, this is the way to do it. Karen's got two. Maker and Gate London's got two. Can we rings. start start at ninety-nine pounds? Nowhere near done. Wow. I'm not take even joking. I would take this over a pink diamond any day. No, oh, there you go. Yeah, I would. Yeah, no. I, I mean it's got everything though, hasn't it? Cashmere, yeah. the origin. Yes. The colour. The story. The best selling colour in the gemstone world is blue. Tanzanite, sapphire, you know, blue spinel, blue Absolutely. blue diamonds, the rarest and most, most valuable of all. Yeah. 
and then to, to have something that is completely um, gone against everything we thought we knew about Aquamarine. Absolutely. 30 second clock and then we're just going to, well, I'm actually going to destroy the price just because it's the last piece. And yeah. I know what it's like, as I said, for you to miss out. I know what it's like when, you know, everything's sold out and you're like, damn, I missed that one. I missed that one. I missed that one. Yeah. And maybe you've got a couple of pieces from the show and you want to get this one too. It's, yeah. it's going to be available to you. Yeah. Congratulations, everybody. It's lots and lots and lots of people multi-buying, which is tremendous to see. Absolutely amazing. Well done. Go, 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 go. You've literally got five seconds and Dave's going to, as he says, absolutely destroy the price point. Congratulations, everyone. 99 99 no way near your deal today. No, no, let's, um, let's half it. Let's go 49 99 Oh my gosh, that and is you've got your interest-free oh, wow. split payments as well. Uh, three of those. Um, we're at 49 three. Yeah, three interest-free split payments. <laughs> Gee, 50 quid. No messing around it. Uh, no messing around. And he's going to continue all day. The most incredible deals. Yeah. We're still in the throes of our wonderful birthday celebrations. Valerie's got two, Christine's got two, Catherine's got two, Georgina's got two, Maker and Kent's got two, Greg London's got two, Karen, you've got two. Well done to every multi buyer. Yeah, this is tremendous. And, and, and you don't have to tell me, but I, but I can imagine that the uh, five carat piece that you sold over on Gems did not sell for 49 99 No, it did not. It there did we not. go. That's all you need to say. Well done, Zara, well done, Keith, well done, Stephen. We've got Valerie's got two, Margaret's got two, well done, two, Catherine's got two. I think people are going to be making earrings or maybe something for yourself and something maybe to give yeah. or, so, or, or, or something to sell maybe. Absolutely incredible. The colour, the clarity, the cut, the carat, where everything, every single factor and the story and the rarity. Okay, we'll do a minute clock to close this out. Tracy, you've just got well three of these. Oh, well wow, done. Well done, Tracy. Uh, we'll give you 60 seconds to see this auction out uh, because obviously, as I said, we don't want to oversell it. We don't want to pretend we've got more than we have. This is incredible. Yeah, gorgeous. Congratulations. Well done, everybody. 50 seconds. We're taking the details away. And, well uh, done. Just if, if you like the colour blue. I love it. Um, as we establish, it's the world's favourite colour. Tomorrow, join me for the most incredible but very limited collection of natural blue Marbe pearls from Indonesia. Ooh. This is something that I've known about for about two years. Oh. Um, we've been working on working on. Obviously, the harvest you have to you have to wait to, to to see how many of these you can get. You know, the natural blue pearls. Yes. Natural blue wow. Marbe pearls from Indonesia will be with you tomorrow, but ridiculously limited. So you have to get in early. But I can't wait to tell you the story of those and bring them to you. Um, quite possibly the rarest cultured pearl in the world. Oh, wow. Congratulations. That, oh, that's going to be amazing. Mm -hmm. Well done. Thank you so much, Thank Dave. you so much, Carol. Thank you, Nikki, as well. Thank you, you to the team. Wonderful to be with you. Happy birthday again, and I'll be with you tomorrow. But yeah, as I said, this day just gets better and better and better. So thank you for, for, for joining us. Fantastic. Please don't forget, we've got so much still to come. We've got the masterclass. We've got the book launch as well, which is really, really exciting. We've also got the beautiful rope chains with gemstones as well. Uh, we're going to go to a very, very quick break, and we'll come back and we'll launch all the way into that. Don't go anywhere. We'll see you in a sec. Happy 14th birthday, jewelry maker. Thanks to all the customers for all your support over the years, and here's to many more. Happy 14th birthday, jewelry maker. Thank you so much for bringing us all the joy and all the sparkles every day. Happy birthday, jewelry maker. Sending you lots and lots of love and all my best wishes for many, many more birthdays in the future. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Jewelry Maker app. Head over to your app store now and search Jewelry Maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured on today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's best sellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click on the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching On The Go with Jewelry Maker.
Hi everyone, Andy here from Hobbymaker. I'm very proud to tell you that Sewing Street, Hobbymaker and Jewelry Maker are launching their first crafting weekend in conjunction with Craftopia, taking place on Saturday the 25th of May and Sunday the 26th of May at the Abbey Hotel Golf and Spa here in our hometown of Redditch. What you can expect from the weekend is four workshops featuring four of your favourite crafting experts. From Hobby Maker, we have Sandra Rushton, who'll be focusing on an introduction to sand tangling. We have Carla Bagshaw, who'll be introducing us to the world of thermal cinching and bookbinding and all things American crafts. From Sewing Street, we have Wendy Orlando. She'll be introducing you to hand sewing with a couple of projects that you can make along and take with you. And from Jewelry Maker, we have Debbie Kershaw, who'll be guiding you through how to make your own jewelry that you can make and take away with you. The workshops are a huge part of the weekend, but what's also included are all of your meals, your accommodation, all of the extra elements that we have planned for you, including the legendary Saturday night dinner. Well, not only will it be a three course meal, it will also include a craft raffle and also a craft quiz as well. There's another reason to join us for the weekend because we also have an exclusive 20% discount for everyone who attends that you can use across any of the Gemporia Craft websites. So that's Hobby Maker, Sewing Street, or Jewelry Maker. So make sure you join us for what is a limited edition experience at the Abbey Hotel Golf and Spa here in Redditch on Saturday the 25th of May and Sunday the 26th of May. I hope to see you there. Hi jewelry makers, Yvonne here. Um, back in the studio on Friday the 10th of May. I was going to say April 10th of May. Time's rushing by. Uh, in the nine o'clock hour, I have Amazonite, beautiful faceted Amazonite and uh, sheet copper. Uh, I've had great fun playing with that. I have the hammers out. Uh, at midday, I have lovely uh, multicolored ripple pearls uh, and they come along with some um, elongated um, silver, sterling silver jump rings uh, remind you of paperclip links and so I've had uh, amazing fun with those and I hope to see you then. Bye! Happy birthday jewellery maker, 14 years old. Thank you so much to all of you at home for your incredible continued support. We love you all. Let's make it a good one. Hello, I just wanted to wish Jury Maker a really happy 14th birthday. It's been 14 fantastic years and I've been really lucky to be there from very near the beginning and been honoured to be part of the journey. The inspiration and creativity that Jury Maker has brought everybody has been wonderful and I look forward to this year, the next year and many years after that um, and all the things that wonderful Jury Maker is going to bring us. So thank you again. And hope you have a very happy birthday. Happy 14th birthday, Jewelry Maker! <laughs> well, that was exciting, wasn't it? That was absolutely brilliant. Um, incredible. Well done. Listen, we've got the most incredible book launch coming up um, um, in... Uh, 20 minutes. Oh my gosh. I know. Absolutely crazy. Today's just been a whirlwind, hasn't it? It has, but what a brilliant whirlwind. Hasn't been. it just? Fabulous. Oh, it's been loads of fun. Um, we've got the most gorgeous chains coming up now. These are beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, which one are we starting with, Neri? Silver or, or yellow gold plated silver? Silver. Um, we've got the most beautiful. I picked up the right one. Yes, I have. We've got the most incredible chains. Um, Chains are, oh gosh, they really are, they can, they are the ultimate platform for your jewellery. They really genuinely are for your, for your pendants, etc, etc. And depending on what kind of uh, pendants you've got will, you know, result in a kind of you choosing a slightly different chain. So if you've got a, a really delicate, small pendant, you're probably going to go for more of a trace chain, whatever it might be. And um, when you've got when you've got um, something slightly larger, you might want to go for a rope chain. The design feature you've got here though is absolutely incredible. So you've got this beautiful rope chain 
Look at the detail on that. I love a rope chain, I, Nikki. A rope I don't chain. know about you. I do. Because they're really substantial without being bulky. Yeah, they're absolutely. Nothing. They're not the kind of chain that's going to get knotted up and nope. kind of tangled as well. It's got a really lovely kind of weight to it. Um, now, this chain is actually a sliding class lariat, which is amazing. The slider on the chain features... Look at that. A tanzanite. Oh my gosh. The chain itself is so beautifully long that you can pull the chain all the way through. Isn't that beautiful? That's gorgeous, isn't it? So literally, I mean, look at that. Isn't that just incredible? So beautiful. Oh really? How lovely. We've um on the on the on the break we've just been to, we've had members of the team from upstairs coming into the gallery and asking how much it's going to go to because they want to buy it for themselves. And there are what I wanted to show you is just there are lots of different ways in which you can wear these. So if you want to have the slider nice and kind of high up on the neckline, you're gonna have a really lovely kind of long length of chain coming all the way down the front of your um, uh, of your decolletage, which will look absolutely beautiful. Similarly though, if you want to have um, it slightly longer, you absolutely can do. And also if you want to have it round the back, so especially if you're gonna be wearing maybe a backless dress I or love it like that. You know, whatever it might be, then that is that is gonna look yeah. stunning, Nikki, isn't it? It, it is. really it's gorgeous. will. gorgeous, I love that. It, yeah, it's just gorgeous, isn't it? It's so yeah. simple, so elegant classy timeless beautiful okay we're starting off with the silver we do have yet a gold plated silver as well we're starting off with the silver one um yeah it's absolutely beautiful so i'm just looking to see if um, um uh, we've got more there which we have which is great we've also got the same design in sleeping beauty turquoise as well just to let you know um uh lots and lots and lots of different options with these they're just gorgeous i think when you've got a length of chain like this which is got this beautiful little kind of stopper on the end presumably let me just double check with one of these actually so you can have a quick look at that I, I I'm assuming the stopper will come through the 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 aperture in the chain I'm not entirely sure let's have a little look shall we maybe it does maybe it doesn't I don't know does it go all the way through let's have a little look it might do graphics alive no i'm gonna say actually no it doesn't so actually that's that's brilliant that's because what thing. that means is is that it's gonna it's not, yeah. not gonna, it's not it's not gonna come off by accident that's fantastic okay brilliant so we can you can find sliding clasp necklaces elsewhere you absolutely can do not exactly the same as this this is a really unique design you're going to be getting here have a little look at this piece here so this is a described as a a shimmer necklace oh i like the sound of that that oh. sounds absolutely gorgeous a shimmer necklace this is you know just looking for a similar look elsewhere you've got a gorgeous necklace there which is five does that say 575 pounds three sorry not 575 pounds 375 pounds 375 in sterling silver, not not 18 karat gold or anything like that, in sterling silver. Okay. You can keep that, Stephen Einhorn, because look at this, 95 pounds from Hot Diamonds. There you go. That's about, yeah, around about the closest that we could get with them, um, with ours. Okay. Hot Diamonds, by the way, I don't think they, I don't think they're actual diamonds, are they? I think they're Kabiksi Konis. I think, I think, I think. Oh, is it white topaz? I beg your pardon, white topaz. There you go. Ours is 95 sterling silver and it's got a tanzanite in. And ours is not going to be even 95 pounds. In fact, we're starting at 50. We're starting at 50. Now there is nothing stopping you at all if you want to attach a pendant onto this, if you want to kind of really kind of embellish it, you absolutely can do. Also, if you take the slider right the way down to kind of close to the bottom of the chain, if you want to, hang on, there we go, so let's just do that. 
You could literally wear that as a bracelet, couldn't you? Or yeah, a lovely like anklet. That would be really lovely, yeah, it's wouldn't lovely. it? Anklet. Oh, how nice would that be in the yeah, summer? It would drape so beautifully, yeah, wouldn't it? How gorgeous would that be? Here we go. If I just do that, and then that doesn't that look lovely? It's so really modern. As well. Hey. So sparkly. It really is, isn't it? Yeah. yeah I mean, that's yeah. Your chain. That's all the silver. You just sense that quality, can't you? Yeah, you can always you, you can already get two of ours for the price point of one hot diamond sliding and that's got clasp a necklace. In it. Yeah, and ours has got a tanzanite yeah. in rather than white topaz. And white topaz is beautiful, but ours is tanzanite, which is infinitely rarer. Now you can wear this up to twenty four wow. inches in length. Great thing about that, you know, you're not always going to be wearing the same neckline. I mean, I've got a V-neck on today, but sometimes I, wear, I like to wear a roll neck or I like to wear a T-shirt or a crew neck or, you know, whatever it might be. So you've got that adaptability. Whatever neckline you are wearing, you can change it. And never kind of, never um, underestimate the kind of the value of that. Um, it really, it really can make a huge, huge difference. You know, if you're wearing... Uh, if you're wearing, if I'm wearing a V-neck, I probably wouldn't go for a necklace which was kind of like a choker. I'd want to go for a longer neckline. Uh, but then again, if I'm wearing a T-shirt, I might want to go for, you know, a, di a different neckline again. So, and you can do that with this single necklace. That's what's so wonderful about it. Joanne Maker, Renfrew Shire Maker, and Angus Weldon Tube as well. We're at $49.99. We're going to give you a huge price crash on this humongous price crash here we go all the way wow. down 29.99 29.99 is yours today congratulations for a 24 inch sterling silver rope lariat sliding clasp necklace with a tanzanite as well incredible norman maker and angus well done to you as well go 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 joanne's got two well done to you maker and angus has now got two well done to you renfrew shine maker and county antrim well done to you as well lots and lots and lots of interest there well done we do have the same in yellow gold plated silver we've also got the same coming up in silver with um a, a sleeping beauty turquoise and rose gold sorry yellow gold plated silver with the sleeping beauty turquoise as well well done more makers coming through congratulations well done to you 29.99 no where near done we've got a decent quantity of this we need to be seeing at least another 50 60 70 of you with this in your baskets or checking out straight away because we are going to be giving you the most amazing but judith well done to you as well there's more makers there well done to you we're going to give you the most amazing 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 price point but we've got to see you there you've got to be there because if you're not then we will literally just well, well, we might take a little bit of money off, but then we'll just move on, okay? We're only going to be taking it down to the price point that we want to do. Oh, oh, God, no! Hang on, what are you doing? Something like that, the literally just, just... Just springs the old wheel deal on there. 30% off! <laughs> Twenty four ninety nine. Oh, God. Hey? Is that £21? This is for silver? In a 24-inch necklace with a tanzanite Finished in. piece of jewellery. Yeah, finished. Done. That is crazy. That is absolutely bonkers. Go, 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 go. That works out too. Yeah. £21. Unbelievable. Go, 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 go. Absolutely incredible. Congratulations, everybody. Well done. Stop it. No, don't say that. What do you mean it's good, but it's not? What do you mean? What do you mean you're rounding it down? <laughs> who what does that? What are you that? doing? Who hey? does that? Yeah, who rounds things down? Who rounds things down? Where's it gone? Oh, there it is. Who rounds things? Who rounds things down? Who rounds things down? Look at it. There it is at the neckline. Gorgeous, I mean, I it? just, that is so lovely, isn't it? Look, isn't it lovely? It is, and never underestimate the value of adjustable jewellery too, because totally over, over the courses of our lives, our bodies change. Abs. You know, over the course of a month, our bodies change. They get bigger, they get smaller, and having a piece of jewellery that will grow with you totally. is really important. Totally, you know, totally. So you're absolutely right. Point. Christine, Karen, Hillary, Margaret, Judith, Maker. We need to see about 50 more of you. If we don't what? say that, Neary, <laughs> don't do another wheel. Please don't do another wheel deal. The wheel, deal, the wheel deal has been nothing but a 
complete disaster today with the deals you've been doing anyway. I think he's gone wheel Unbelievable, happy. Unbelievable, hey? Wheel happy. I know, he has got very wheel happy. Has. Loads, you've seen what can happen <laughs> on the wheel deal. He's got wheel happy, hey? Okay, I'll oh, stop it. Okay, 30 second clock, let's just do it. 30 second clock, okay. We're leaving it in the lap of the wheel gods. We literally are. This is unbelievable already at uh, twenty at nineteen ninety nine. Nineteen. Well, it should it should have been twenty one pounds, but Neary yeah. decided to round Neary it down to, to nineteen ninety nine. Yeah, amazing. Well done, loads and loads and loads of you there. Zara, Michael, well done to you. Maker, Sandra, Anjum, well done to you as well. Absolutely terrific. Go 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 go. <laughs> <laughs> Judith Elaine, well done to you as well. Oh, for goodness. This is it. No, there's no introduction. <laughs> Just goes. There we are. 25% off. Bum, bum. What is that? 25% off what? Off £20? Ludicrous. There is nowhere in the world that you can get a 24 inch chain, a rope chain like that, featuring a Tanzanite for 15 pounds. He's making a mockery of us. He, he is. is. As jewelry makers, selling make finished pieces. Of You're putting us out of work, it. Tom. But please, 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 do not think <laughs> that by, please do not think that by bringing this to air for 15 pounds, <laughs> please do not think that we're going, yeah, it's worth 15 quid. No. Please don't think that, that we're thinking, yeah, if they sell it on, yeah, yeah, take it to a craft fair, sell it for 15 quid. Please do not do that. It's no. sterling silver. Yeah. You can get what, Neri? How many? Six of ours for the price of that one hot diamond one, which, by the way, um, it doesn't have a tanzite in. It's got, it's got white topaz in. And uh, I, I love the middle photograph they've got there of it down the back. Yes, I like it down the back because I put a little pendant on the front. Oh, so you've got like a choker style of pendant on the front and then the lariat down the back. But I'm just saying at that price, it, oh, can you imagine how long it would take me to make that? Because I'd have to, you know, I'd have to set the gemstone and then I'd have to create the sliding clasp and then just might as well give up. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. For 15 pounds, it's unbelievable. It's incredible. It's yours today. Well yeah. done. Go, go, go. We've got it in yellow gold plated silver. We've also got it in Sleeping Beauty. Teacher's oh presents. My God. Teacher's presents. Te oh my God. Teacher's presents. Can you imagine? Happy Teacher's finishing day. Here's yeah, a Yeah, thank you for your, all necklace. of your hard work over there. Yeah, forget the flowers. Forget yeah. the box of chocolates. Here's a Tanzanite sterling silver yeah. sliding clasp necklace. What? I know. That's triple A's for you, my darling. That's crazy. Sharon Cheshire, Margaret, well unto you. Natalie, Anne, Nora, Maker, Barbara, uh, Paula, Christine. Uh, well done. So many multi bidders. I'm so pleased to see that. Well done. But in all seriousness, you know, say for example, your child has been all the way through school and they're just finishing for mm -hmm. their SATs or the GCSEs or mm. for their A levels for whatever reason. What an incredible present to give to you, to a teacher who's been with your child for all that time. A Tanzanite and sterling silver necklace. Wow. Hang on. Got a little goblin next oh, to me. There is. <laughs> <laughs> You've had a haircut. I have, baby, yes. Looking I smooth, my know. What a birthday's it been? We were literally what? saying this this morning. I overspent on that cashmere acrimin, so you know, so that's why I was so limited because it was really expensive. So you were lucky to get what you had, right? Well, I'm not here for that. I'm here for this deal. You've had two deal wheels on this. I haven't been around for the birthday much, so I'm gonna do a birthday deal on this. Give me 30 seconds, and I'm gonna take it low, low, low. No! Yes. Okay, this is sterling so silver with a tanzanite. It's 24. 2.70 grams of sterling silver, so it's got a good silver weight. And I'm gonna take it. Stop what? it, don't say that. They can live for you. all gone. Well, I need some holes. What else can you get? There's 24 inches in length for 14.99, <laughs> by now. <laughs> It's just literally a question. <laughs> what can you get that's 24 inches wow. in length for 14.99? Answers on a postcard. <laughs> Answers on a postcard. Do you want an from me? <laughs> Have you got Oh, he's writing something there. Oh, oh. there we go. Oh dear. Mm. Right, mm. no. Right, 12.99 and another 30 seconds. I need to, I've got a guest coming on soon. We need to get gold. 
Okay, get involved. Let's see you there. Put it in your baskets. Check out as soon as you can. Go, 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 go. Well Middle done, everyone. Samantha, well done to you as well. Twelve ninety nine. You know where he wants to go. Yeah. You know the price point he wants to do. You know what he's going That's to right. do. Kathleen, yes, Karen, Maker, see. Angel, Hillary and. Oh, is it terrible? There you go. Loads Ooh. of you there coming through. Are well done ready? to you. Go, go, go. Ready? Come Party on, Nick. the day. 9.99. Oh, oh my God. God. Woo! That's outrageous. 9.99, baby. So 9.99. Yes. 9.99. What we're going to do? 9.99. Absolutely. I'm looking for something to get. Have a tote year. back. Clap a tote back. I don't know what we're going to do next year. I don't know. This is it. How do we even? How do we even? How do, how can we top? That goes into it. Oh, it's crazy. Yeah. It's like over a year's work. I know that. Oh, I'm thinking now. What do I do next year? Well, because it's a big one. Oh, Fifteen. Emmy's a big one for you. I know. Fifteen. No, but honestly, I mean, oh, this is like the best birthday ever. It is. Last yeah. birthday was great. I mean, a lot of things didn't turn up on time. But, this I mean, year, yeah, it's been quite lucky. It's been very, very yeah. lucky this year. It's been absolutely been amazing. Great, yeah. yeah. Well, I'll set, set the pace now and I so crack on. What are you doing? <laughs> Stop it. Throwing things at me. <laughs> Let's be my manager. Let's be my manager. Well done, Cambridgeshire. You've got two. Natalie's got five. Kerry's got two. Irene's got two. Anjum's got two. Judith's got two. Miss Janet's got three. Maker and Five's got two. Karen and Five's got two. Delio's got uh, two. Samantha's got th uh, two. Hazel's got three. You're doing absolutely brilliantly. Well done. Congratulations, everybody. Well done. Go, 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 go. Hey, it's a go, go, go. Well done, everybody. Okay, we've got. Have you seen the time? Right. Right, what are we doing? Oh, Stop it! I love this. I'm having this. Sorry. When's your birthday? September. Is it? It is. Sapphire girl. You are. September the... 28th. Mm. Mm. I think you definitely need to get this one. Oh, gosh. Oh, I mean... That pops. You know, as soon as the camera goes away. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the pop Gorgeous. of colour you are getting there. I love Sleeping Beauty turquoise. Isn't it just yeah. glorious? It's dreamy. And it's summer. Oh, look at this, It's dance. just summer. Yeah, it really is. Oh, look. Love that. It is, isn't it? It's absolutely crazy. It Where? Okay, so let, let's think about it. Where else can you get a 24-inch necklace for in sterling silver? And You can't. Sorry. It's a rope Let chain. me restart. A 24-inch rope sterling silver yeah. necklace yeah not a trace chain not a curb chain a rope chain 24 inches um for the price for, for the price points that we're doing today where else you yeah can't. then you're getting it with a tanzanite and then i beg your pardon then you're getting it with a turquoise then we're doing this deal take it Matching the price. Absurd. Not even, there's no, there's no, yeah, yeah. It's crazy. Well, I mean, I said, if you make a jewellery to sell, even if you sold it for the ludicrous price of 30 quid. Oh. Which would be, wow. you know, you'd have to be explaining to people why you were selling it that cheaply. Yeah. But say you did. Say, you know, they're just going to fly. Absolutely. Genuine Sleeping Beauty, 100% genuine. Yeah, you know, 100% natural. It's not dyed. It's not, it's not reconstituted. No. It's not dyed. Magnesite, you know, it is it is absolutely 100% genuine. You know, this is absolutely tremendous. You'd be kind of convincing people that it's actually it genuine. Completely it, adjustable. It's just crazy. You can wear it in a variety of ways. You know, it is a very versatile piece of jewellery. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Well done, everybody. What a tremendous deal for you today. We have got so much. Oh, my gosh. This is one of those classic shows, isn't it, where there's just not enough uh, minutes in the show. Uh, we have got the most amazing, 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 amazing book launch coming up after the break. New Jewelry Techniques uh, by Anastasia Young. Very, very, very excited about the launch of this incredible book. It's one of those books, this is not going to be hiding away on your bookshelf. This is going to be literally on your coffee table. It's going to be one of those, yes, it's a reference guide, but it's so beautifully put it's together. Gorgeous. 
It's amazing quality. And uh, as we have an Anastasia Young uh, fan sitting over there as well, absolutely brilliant. It's serendipity. She's with us. We're going to be um, uh, chatting to her after the break and launching the book with her. We're really, really excited uh, to be able to bring this to you today. Um, well done. Congratulations. That is going to sell out. I mean, absolutely tremendous. We didn't give enough time, but, uh, but, but quite honestly, we've got so much to get through between now and the end of the show. Please, please, please do not go anywhere we'll see you in a couple of seconds for the most amazing masterclass the most amazing book launch we'll see you in a sec Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Jewelry Maker app. Head over to your app store now and search Jewelry Maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured on today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click on the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching On The Go with Jewelry Maker. Happy birthday, Jewelry Maker, 14 years old. Thank you so much to all of you at home for your incredible continued support. We love you all. Let's make it a good one. Hello, I just wanted to wish Jewelry Maker a really happy 14th birthday. It's been 14 fantastic years and I've been really lucky to be there from very near the beginning and been honoured to be part of the journey. The inspiration and creativity that Jewelry Maker has brought everybody has been wonderful and I look forward to this year, the next year, and many years after that, um, and all the things that wonderful jewelry maker is going to bring us. So thank you again, and hope you have a very happy birthday. Happy 14th birthday, jewelry maker! <laughs> Happy 14th birthday, Jewelry Maker. Thanks to all the customers for all your support over the years, and here's to many more. Happy 14th birthday, Jewelry Maker. Thank you so much for bringing us all the joy and all the sparkles every day. Happy birthday, Jewelry Maker. Sending you lots and lots of love and all my best wishes for many, many more birthdays in the future. Hi everyone, Andy here from Hobby Maker. I'm very proud to tell you that Sewing Street, Hobby Maker and Jewelry Maker are launching their first crafting weekend in conjunction with Craftopia. Taking place on Saturday the 25th of May and Sunday the 26th of May at the Abbey Hotel Golf and Spa here in our hometown of Redditch. What you can expect from the weekend is four workshops featuring four of your favorite crafting experts. From Hobby Maker, we have Sandra Rushton, who'll be focusing on an introduction to Zantangling. We have Carla Bagshaw, who'll be introducing us to the world of thermal cinching and bookbinding and all things American crafts. From Sewing Street, we have Wendy Orlando. She'll be introducing you to hand sewing with a couple of projects that you can make along and take with you. And from Jewelry Maker, we have Debbie Kershaw, who'll be guiding you through how to make your own jewelry that you can make and take away with you. 
The workshops are a huge part of the weekend, but what's also included are all of your meals, your accommodation, all of the extra elements that we have planned for you, including the legendary Saturday night dinner. Well, not only will it be a three course meal, it will also include a craft raffle and also a craft quiz as well. There's another reason to join us for the weekend because we also have an exclusive 20% discount for everyone who attends that you can use across any of the Gempora Craft websites. So that's Hobby Maker, Sewing Street, or Jewelry Maker. So make sure you join us for what is a limited edition experience at the Abbey Hotel Golf and Spa here in Redditch on Saturday the 25th of May and Sunday the 26th of May. I hope to see you there. Hi jewellery makers, Yvonne here. Um, back in the studio on Friday the 10th of May. I was going to say April 10th of May. Time's rushing by. Uh, in the nine o'clock hour, I have Amazonite, beautiful faceted Amazonite and uh, sheet copper. Uh, I've had great fun playing with that. I had the hammers out. Uh, at midday, I have lovely uh, multicolored ripple pearls uh, and they come along with some um, elongated um, silver, sterling silver jump rings uh, remind you of paperclip links and so I've had uh, amazing fun with those and I hope to see you then. Bye! Oh, hello, welcome back. Um, such an exciting uh, hour ahead for you right now. We've got the most um, amazing book launch. I've just been having a little look through it. it, it, it it's incredible, isn't it? It is. It's not very often that we get to launch a book here on uh, Jewelry Making that we actually have the authors with us um, uh, as well. So very, very excited to welcome Paul and Anastasia onto the show. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Or good afternoon even. Good afternoon, yeah. Yeah. How are you? Fine, thank you. All right. Happy to be here. Been busy signing books. Yes. Certainly have. <laughs> thank you so much. Um, guys, how, 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 do you, how do you know each other? How, how, how did you meet? How long have you been working together? We are partners. We've been together, as in we are civil partners, and we've been together for 26 years. Fantastic. <laughs> with, a love of, with a love of everything, jewellery and, and metal. Yeah, so we're both true. makers and we're both teachers of jewellery making. Yes, we oh. went to college. So. Oh, fantastic, yeah. fantastic. Um, putting together books like this, uh, this is, this is, I can't think of anything which would, which, yeah, which, which would frighten me uh, more, but I know, Nikki, that you have um, got one of, is it one of Anastasia's books? Yeah, it's just got? behind Anastasia at the moment, actually, and it is, it's, it's oh, yeah. you know, it's a Bible. It is, yep. for, for most jewellery makers, go. it's probably the first book that they will get. Oh. It is. Yeah. When when it comes to um, uh, doing uh, why, um, uh, to doing metal work, it is kind of uncharted territory for a lot of people. And 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 having something like this as as a point of reference, and actually just flicking through flicking through this book, there's there's so much information in here. That must have been really important for you to to kind of impart all that kind of knowledge yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. onto your onto your readers. Um, how long have you been making jewelry and working with metal? So I've been making for um, it's probably about 35 years. Wow. So yeah, certainly and I started um, doing short courses. Uh -huh. That's why it was my route into jewellery before I ended up doing a jewellery degree. Oh, fantastic. And, and using different, different kinds of metals or kind Absolutely, of? Absolutely, yeah. We went through, I certainly went through that stage of you know, learning techniques, starting at the beginning, doing my sawing, you know, finding it difficult and it yes. takes time. Things are going well for, and, and lots of mistakes along the way as well. Absolutely. You <laughs> learn from your mistakes. You have to be able to take that on board with your making jewellery. Yes. And um, um, what about you, Anastasia, with, with your, with your, um, with your uh, metal work? Is it always, is it, have, have you always been interested in working with different types of metal? Yeah, I mean, I think I was more kind of more broadly interested in jewellery and I always made little bits and pieces, but then, yes. then I decided to do a degree and that's when I really got into the metalworking and learning all the secrets of soldering and, and all yes. those kinds of things, which just opens up a whole new world of possibilities. So this book, talk to, uh, talk to us guys, what, what, what's, what's the crux of this book? What, um, what's, what's this book about? How is this different to the other books which you uh, brought out okay, before? Okay, so, well, so this is my fourth book, so I bring oh, all wow. the experience from the other books yes. to it and this is the, the first time that I've worked with this publisher. Um, and so they were very open to me, you know, re really taking control of most of the process. So um, it's Paul's technique, but I've done the photography for the book, I've done all the writing, and I've kind of, you know, basically done the layout and put, the, put everything together. Oh, so that's given us really complete control. 
because oh, I'll let Paul explain the technique a bit more in a moment, but um, because the technique is kind of new, it, doing the book was also really about working out what it was we needed to be able to tell people about yes, it as well, not yes. just, oh, this is how you do it, because we had a lot of questions too about actually how, how you do it and what you need to know in order to be able to do it. So the fantastic thing, I think, is that this book is suitable for people who have no previous experience of making jewellery at all, um, because it's a completely different kind of entry point. Yes. It's um, if you do have any questions at all regarding the book or any questions that you would like to post to the guys, please, please do send them in and we'll, and we'll, and we'll pose those questions and they'll do the best to answer the questions for you. So the technique which you cover in this, in this book is, is, is kind, of a, a, a kind of a very different technique. It, it, it is. It's a new technique. I mean, so the te I didn't invent the technique, but it was left in a very niche little area. And that's, you know, I have taught the technique, but it was, it was, you know, was what it was. And then suddenly, if you want to know the genesis of it for me, <laughs> um, it was this thing here. And ridiculously, because it seems kind of corny, it's a fortune cookie. Oh okay. my gosh, that's gorgeous. And so I was asked, for a, so for a student, <laughs> because you know a few other people have been trying to work out how to do it. How could you make a fortune cookie in metal successfully? So, in coming up with that one morning, because I'd been teaching a technique, oh, I can use that technique to do that. Yeah. That led to the rest of it. You know, oh. Basically, realizing if I can do that, it's got to be able to do lots of other things. Yeah. So this is called um, um, uh, score folding, is that, I is that would correct? Put, I mean, for me, this area, because straight scoring was certainly, it's practiced, but not through wire scoring, but so it's curved score folding. It's probably a bit of a mouthful, but you know, naming a technique, I'm happy for it to change oh, names fantastic. in a sense. But it's, it is, yeah. So oh, it's looks, using oh, the- such a pleasing piece of jewelry to look at. Yeah. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, it's beautiful. And the thing um, I can honestly say with, with your books is your, the way you explain and talk the maker through mm -hmm. is so accessible. And, and like you say, it, even for absolute beginners, it's so, it, it honestly yeah, is nice. a kind of book that you can yeah. pick up. Like last week when I was thinking, I thought, I need, I need to know how to do this. I knew exactly where to go to mm -hmm. because the way you explain it is so straightforward. So this is designed to be, yes, an informative book, but also kind of almost a reference guide as, you mm. know, for yeah. you along the it way is, as well. Yeah, it has yeah. both elements. Yeah. I, I've noticed as well from just having a really quick flick through, there's uh, templates in here as well. So, yep. there's so kind of there really are, so the, even the, the fortune cookie, it goes through every stage oh. of how to make one of those. If you see what I mean. Yeah, so the, it, pro the fortune co cookie project is in the book. Oh. It just had to be really, as it well, was the beginning be. one. And, you know, so many people are going to love that design. And not only is that really, really beautiful, but they're kind of the, the kind of the symbolism with that Definitely as well. What a gorgeous exactly. gift to give to somebody as well. Um, so I can see that the piece over there, the fortune cookie piece, is is, is um, undoubtedly sterling silver. Yep. Would it work as well in other metals? Would Absolutely. you be able to do it in other metals? Mm -hmm. Certainly in copper and gold. <laughs> It would definitely work. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Probably even aluminium. It could do it. Absolutely. Yeah. How fantastic! Um, we've got a really special deal for you today. Not only are each one of the books um, uh, uh, signed, uh, which is fantastic. You must have sore hands and wrists now. But uh, thank you so much uh, for signing the book. So really, really lovely to get um, uh, the book signed. You also get you also get a a, uh, a Zoom uh, course included with the price of wow. uh, the book. Can you talk us Can you talk us through that um, through the through the Zoom session? Kind of when it's going to take place and kind of the, okay, yeah. what what that's what that's going to entail. So on the 9th of July, um, time yet to be de decided, we will host a Zoom call for people who have purchased the book um, oh, during that time. So we will give a. A short talk and then we will be open to discussion and you can ask us any questions um, which hopefully you'll have lots of questions by the time because yes. you've had a couple of months of playing with, yes. with projects in the book to, to ask questions about. That's oh that's fantastic. That, it is though, so, you know that's like jewelry maker's dream. Well no it is though, so. it is. Like I say any questions that you've got please do um, uh, send them in. Have you had a chance to look through this? I mean I'm gonna say yeah because I've had a good look already because of the project that I was doing in the last week or so and it is a project that's going to be coming up in a couple of months time so i would say oh, getting this ahead okay. of the game is definitely going to help i have to say the i mean the i mean and this and this the quality the quality of the photography the way it's all laid out it looks accessible as well it's yeah. not kind of 
um, you know, uh, just just a myriad of words. You know, you've got lots and lots of really accessible, really well photographed um, uh, 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 points throughout here as well. So however you learn, because people learn in different ways. Um, if you learn visually, this is fantastic. If you learn by reading and kind of repetition, that's fantastic. But also if you learn by watching somebody, that's yeah. brilliant as well, because of course you've got the Zoom uh, session as well to take advantage of on the 9th of July. So that's absolutely um, uh, uh, fantastic. Um, do you know what I'd love to see? Because I can see you've got a few uh, pieces over there. I would love to see a few of the pieces which are from the book. There's uh, there's a couple of pieces over there which are absolutely gorgeous. What um what are your kind of standout pieces? Well, for me, I you know my uh, a piece I love the most love is probably one one of them is my my scoops my spoon. So you know it's made from one sheet of metal. What? So this is and. This one does have some hammering in, so it is more of a you know, slightly um, more developed project. Certainly, for those who are slightly more skilled. But how do you it get is, the texture on there? So Paul? Uh, the texture is done first. Yeah. Um, to the so this has been milled put through the rolling mill um, with wet and dry paper, a coarse wet and dry paper on both sides to get that kind of frosted shiny. But the edge of it is shiny. The edge is shiny, so that has been burnished. Oh wow! To give it, you know, the emphasis on the the outside, the edge, whatever. Yep. So, but oh yeah, gosh. I mean, so it's a very novel spoon. As a, you know, for liquids, it wouldn't work so well. But for for doing your coffee in the morning, <laughs> I yes. think feel like, you know, or for a coffee lover, it's absolutely. What I was just wondering. It's a beautiful thing as well, isn't it? Just to look at it, and, gorgeous. And it, fi I, it does feel. It feels very nice to hold because of the way that the curves work. Yeah, that's absolutely cool. And 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 looking at a piece like that. Um, once you've got the book, once you've had a little go and a little play, is that kind of is that the kind of is that the kind of project that we aspire to make? This is, is that the more of the aspirational project, yeah, I yeah. would say. I mean, I've tried to I start with more simple projects in yes. the book, so because they're more entry levels. Yes, absolutely. I mean, the the fortune cookie is probably the most difficult project that's in the is book. Is it really? I would say it is. Yes, on the in terms of um, yeah, the ha the how to part. Of yes, it. yes. But you've been teaching the brooch project. Uh, so recently, this brooch project has been you know, well, very oh successful gosh, in terms of um, ball. and this is two scores. And I have a, a sample piece of this here. I mean, so I could fold it for you if you want to see. Absolutely. <laughs> I, t I, t I tell you what we're going to do. We're going to get graphics live um, uh, because we've only got yeah, we've only got a hundred oh. chances available. So we're going to get the graphics live. Um, what I love so much about these designs, Nikki, is that is that, is that you can you can take those designs with the with the beautiful brooch that we just that we're going to be seeing folded live on it, which is yeah. going to be so exciting. Um, there's lots of things you can add to those if you want to as well. Um, I noticed. Sorry, you wanted to show no, us. No, no, I've just got the page. Oh, 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 for the, yes, <laughs> because the metal work fantastic. works so well with gemstones as well. I mean, it's a match made in heaven, yeah. isn't it? You know, it's much beautiful metal work with gorgeous gemstones, and I think. I would never say it's a vehicle for them, but it's a fabulous compliment for them as well. Isn't it certainly it? could yes. be, absolutely. I noticed as well that there's a section, oh gosh, there's so many cool sections here. There's a section on, um, is it patinas? Yes. So is. it's kind of the different effects that you can get Understood. by applying different, um, oh, I can't So we did try to make the book slightly broader than just sticking yeah. purely with the technique, yes. what you can combine with the technique. Absolutely. Well, that's just going to be so useful if you want to take one of the designs, but take it in yeah. your own direction, how, how it, to get Definitely. your own finish, how wonderful is that? always the hope that people take them in their own direction, you know, take the yeah. ball and run away with it. You must, you must, when you see people creating, um, you know, if you've taught a, taught a workshop on, on, on the brooch, and of course every single one's going to be different, you must get a great deal of kind of satisfaction from that and mm -hmm. yeah it's um oh wow just fantastic I mean I've it? got two copper bangles sitting in some crisps and some vinegar at home at the moment brilliant oh yeah, I'm, I'm obsessed with different patinas so I, I, I love doing a bit of verdigris yeah. yes a lovely bit <laughs> of green nice work with copper and grass <laughs> but yeah Stunning. the amount of the amount of jewelry makers who's whose work you've influenced is extraordinary. It is. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. How gorgeous. <laughs> Listen, graphics true. are live, so uh, we'll get lots of, well, there, there are going to be loads and loads and loads of people coming through to get this, which is fantastic. Um, uh, lots and lots of people coming through. Gosh, there's so many beautiful designs here. Yeah. What is this? This gorgeous kind of star design. My so, God. So that is a, a large silver bowl. And wow. that, was, that was the piece that won me three golds at um, Goldsmith's um, GCDC. It, um, class, Why are you wearing a badge or something? It <laughs> literally <laughs> says I'd be telling everybody that. So that piece weighs a kilo. That's a kilo of wow. silver. There. No. Yeah. 
It's a, it's a stunning piece. So it's wow. really, you know, jewelry is a very big market. Silversmithing is slightly smaller. Mm. So to show confidence in the technique, I made that piece. And yes. That, and it worked. If you see what I mean. How long did it take you to make that? How many hours? It was. I spent seven days on that piece. W wow. <laughs> so Goodness me. Show off. <laughs> 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 I know that sounds quite quick actually. Yeah, 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 quick. A yeah. lifetime to make. Goodness but me. But the way you can take metal and make it look like liquid. Yes, is, yeah. yes, incredible. yes. Yeah. So part of the of this technique is because they're not hammered to create the form, is that the form yet yeah, comes from the yeah. score, as, as we might argue. And so those curves have not been hammered. And therefore, you know, you don't have to perfect them in the same way. Whereas most metalworking, 3D metalworking techniques, you're hammering those Definitely. techniques, and the smoothing is so much of the process. Whereas with this technique, the smoothness <laughs> comes with it. But I think I think you must still. I mean, and I know you would absolutely say yes. You, you must still get a real kind of kick out of knowing, not knowing exactly how something is going to turn out. It, the alchemy almost is so yeah. exciting, isn't it? And I would say with most of these pieces, it's mm -hmm. always hard to know when to stop. Yes. Because you can like it, but on the other hand, will I like it more if I carry on? Oh. And so there is part of it. So we're going to bring a price point on screen, and that price point is basically going to be reflective of the book, but also the Zoom session as well, which I think, um, which I, I have to say, the... To, to get a workshop, and you say it's going to be, what, an hour long, an hour long kind yeah. of um, uh, session, with with these guys here who are who, you know massive yeah. names within the industry uh, is is just is just really quite incredible are you tempted to get the book just so you can <laughs> see these guys again? Yeah, exactly. i'm such a silly fangirl but but i don't think that i have well in fact i know i'm not unique in that and i know that rachel norris will be sitting at home thinking the exact same same thing yvonne yes. will charlie will any yes, of the yes, metal yes. workers claire will uh, you know there's so many people who'll be sitting there thinking i really want to do you see, this is it. It's not just it's not just going to be our lovely viewers who want to get involved. It's going to be our guest designers as well, who are absolute masters at what they do. Um, we're going to do uh, one a one minute clock. We're going to do one price. Uh, this is going to sell out today. There are so many people coming through. You get your signed copy, which is abs which is just the icing on the cake, isn't it? It's absolutely fantastic. Plus, of course, you're going to be getting your book. Plus, of course, you're going to be getting your um, Zoom session as well, which you will learn so much. Please make the most of it and please make sure you go with lots and lots and lots of questions as well, <laughs> um, uh, which, which, which Paul and Anastasia will, will absolutely answer um, uh, for you or do their best to answer for you. Um, 30 seconds and the price point's going to go down. I mean, I have to say, I think 79.99 is an absolute oh, yeah. bargain. I really, I really genuinely do. Um, uh, an absolute, an absolute bargain. Um, you're going to get the workshop included in the price of the book. Okay, so you're going to be getting that session included in the price of the book. The, the session is free. I mean, I hate using that word, but it is free. Um, and include, much like the tuition from our guest designers when we bring you a project. Um, here's the price point. This is absolutely incredible. The deal you're going to be getting today, just superb. The level of knowledge you've got here. You've got here years and years and years and years worth of, yeah. of, of, of influence and knowledge. And of course, this is the fourth book. Uh, that's been published this is this is kind of learning from learning from things which maybe you would have maybe done different i mean i'm putting words in math learning from things you, you maybe would have done differently with the other three books and getting that knowledge and moving forward and really kind of understanding kind of what people want what people want to see it's not just about this one technique it's about you know a broader a broader area as well 29 29.99 it's ludicrous it is and let me say this is just a lovely book for just of an evening when you're sitting around and they are just lovely books for just flicking through and and for inspiration and learning and and, and just you know cluing yourself up on techniques it's lovely you don't necessarily have to be doing it at that time you can just be learning well if if you are if you are delving into metalwork you can just literally flick through this book yeah. just to get a bit of to, to get a bit of design mojo you know just to get your mojo back it's not you know even if even if you oh yes i love that oh that's inspired <laughs> me to do this that and the other this this is just insane this this is your liquid right i mean it's just incredible um but being able to get that for such a such a phenomenal price oh, it is ridiculous yeah that it genuinely is, is absolutely I, I was not expecting that price but anyway congratulations i don't think uh, these guys were either um stunned stunned into silence but thank you so thank you so so much um 
I'd love, there's so many people there, lots and lots. I know we're going to see guest designers' names coming through as well. Gosh, Sharon, Sue, Karen. Any questions that you've got, please send them in um, and we'll do our best to answer them for you. Uh, gosh, there's so many people coming through. Um, this is just phenomenal. Well done. Um, I'd love to see, I'd love to see this in action. Yeah. Would, oh, Paul, would, <laughs> can, we see some of, um, can we see some of your incredible work in action? Yeah, okay. So... This one is a two-sided score, as in a score on one side, a score on the other. Yeah. One of the advantages of curved score, of, of wire scoring, is that it's much neater. You're, you've no risk of slipping when you're doing it. Anyway, so if I start doing that, yeah. let me get it to, I start folding that edge You're doing around. it with your hands. So, absolutely. I do have a couple of little wooden sticks, but at the moment, so this piece has been annealed, the wire scored in, and there are a number of techniques that I go through in the book to how to score it in. There's about at least five different ways of putting the wire into it. And then it's been re-annealed, as in softened again, yeah. to um, get it to, to fold. And I've made it slightly shiny. So it's quite a thin copper, it's 0 yeah. 0.5. This yeah. is 0 0.5. Well, we sound nice to 0 work 0.5 with sheets. Yeah. 0 0.5 That's thickness. Incredible. The, I mean, this, the spoon is, I believe, if I remember rightly, that's a 0.8 or 1 mil. Uh -huh. could, so you go, could you go down further? You, could you go yeah. to a 0.2 or a 0.3? That would probably be a little yeah. thin. Would it because be a you're thin? making the score line thinner, the tolerances for cutting through the sheet yeah, yeah. start getting a that's bit too it. low. Most people would consider 0.5 very thin because flat 0.5, is, is quite, it's a bit soft, yeah. it's, it's a bit too it, fit. It? But once you start creating form into the piece, the mm. form gives it strength. So all these curves are giving the piece structural strength. Oh, so wow. that's beginning to come round. So if we look really at the what I'm oh. aiming at, you can see it's beginning to come, but this bit is going to start to really curve around. Yes. Wow. So that. Wow. And if I was teaching this, I'd probably be telling them to re anneal at this stage. Yes. So it starts to get a little harder. Yes. And if I bring that into there. How, how long would it take you to teach this, um, to teach this brooch, for instance? Um, this would probably be in, so, uh, probably in a two and a half hour session really? to do this part. Gosh, in the sense fantastic. that, you know, there is, you know, if they were doing the rest of it and getting the brooch fitting on, that would take longer. The brooch fitting probably takes longer yeah. than constructing yeah. the it's piece. It's a waste away, isn't yeah. it? it yeah. Take Absolutely. Than you're finishing what you don't necessarily think about when you're designing yeah. a piece is um, is what ends up taking longer. And, 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 and are, we t are you teaching people who've made lots of jewellery before, lots it of brooches before, or so complete mostly beginners? Mostly, it, you know, it is completely varying in that. So I occasionally have complete beginners come to do a course which wouldn't necessarily where people jump in. Yes. See what I mean? On the other hand, I'd certainly get people doing it very early on. And I do see this as a basic technique. Yeah. yeah. I don't see it as some, you know, though it's new, it is ridiculous that it's new. Yes. And I feel that it should be something people just learn as one of the techniques yeah, you learn. Fantastic. And you're, you know, and you're learning your jewellery career. So yeah. Like try yeah. To yeah. Find a better way of expressing that. So I've not got that corner quite oh, perfect, that. but you can see how that is beginning to now. That stick's coming into its own, isn't yeah. it? So <laughs> I like these wooden sticks. I could be using metal tools, but metal tools tend to make marks. Mm -hmm. That's more. what you said earlier on. Oh, yeah. And yeah. therefore, if I'm using something that doesn't mark as much, uh -huh. but it's not my thumb or my finger, yeah. so, you know, yeah, yeah. I can get, make, you know, it's a lot softer any mark it's going to make. If, if somebody's if somebody's going to be having a go for the f you know for the first time and they're going to be getting your uh, book so what, what, what a reflection what wow oh that's amazing <laughs> that's so beautiful we can kind of see so <laughs> now this would just need a bit of tidying up yeah. yes what, what 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 metal is the easiest metal to start with is it going to be sterling or is it going to be copper well, I would I mean what, personally what I prefer teaching copper because then people don't have that precious feel of yes. the expense of the metal that they're learning. Some people don't like doing it because it's the time and they yeah. want to do it straight into silver. But I prefer yeah. people to have tested something out first. Prototype so get, prototyping is the key, yeah. For me then, I think it makes the, 
the rest of it work quicker. And of course, once you've learned a technique, you know, the valuable techniques which you're going to learn in here, you can then kind of take it and, and do your own do your own kind of designs, can't you? Ut Definitely. Utilizing that technique. I mean, it makes me laugh with the pieces of wood that Paul has, because most silversmiths, when they first get their tools, start going at them with sandpaper and everything to get all the sharp edges off. It's, you know, it, 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 we do try to bring everything down to a smooth edge, don't we? Absolutely. Mm. Wood is genius because it, you know, it's, it's so gentle on metal, isn't it? It's, yes, know. it's not going to create that mark. And lots of information on here in um, uh, on different metals as well, which is fantastic. So it really is covering a whole, you know, a whole host of different uh, metals. It's not just about you know sterling. You've got lots of information on here about different metals as well. Um, that's absolutely that's absolutely fantastic. Look at the back of this as far as this score. It's just such a well. It's, this is the kind of book. This isn't going to hide away on your um, on your bookshelf. This is going to be out. Be it, it's, it, it's a really lovely. You must be so proud of this book, guys. Yes, it, it, absolutely. It's it's, yeah. it's, it's it's a beautiful little baby, isn't it? It's just gorgeous. Um, listen, we've had so many people coming through. Lots and lots of people with this in their baskets as well. Congratulations to everybody, and um, and uh, presumably we can follow you on social media as well. Certainly can. Yeah, I'm perfect. I'm Instagram. going to be doing that straight after the show today. How fantastic! Anastasia and Paul, your books look amazing. Can't wait to study it. Says so Sharon in Glamorgan. Oh, brilliant. Thank Fantastic. You. Thank you so much, Sharon. Just inspiring a whole new, you know, load of jewellery making. I think it is. In fact, I know it is. I know yeah. it is. And especially with the um, with the tumbling machine we had earlier on, we, yes, we spoke about it really, really <laughs> briefly. But the tumbler that we had earlier on, uh, which is which is predominantly yeah. for your metals, yeah. um, this is how you're going to end it with that really lovely high shine, yeah. isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. Yeah. These have been barrelled for sure. Yeah. 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 Oh gosh, look at that! The lovely little pearls. So cool. I'm in love with that. I love them so all. So one thing I could say is about if a prototyping is using paper. So okay. you know, it's a, obviously it's thin sheet, but um, if you score um, a blunt biro, this happens to be a stylus, but a, a little blunt, um, a, an empty biro, okay. then you're not drawing. And then it, I've just got a bit of soft card. And basically, then we can start using those to start shaping form up. Oh, okay. So real. we can think about before you even start into your metal, you can play in paper. Yeah, to origami. Do, exactly, <laughs> it is a form of origami. <laughs> Curve scoring origami is a very you know it's maybe a niche it's area, but it yeah. is yes, absolutely, and yeah. it creates yeah. And it's something I think as well. It's, it's got extraordinary appeal to younger people too. <laughs> because it's very tactile it's it's yep. you know it's a lot of jewelry making techniques can be a bit passe to younger people but fold forming and, and th you know and the scoring i think younger people really latch onto it they really enjoy it yeah absolutely mm -hmm. sorry, sorry i'm making me laugh our producer said i didn't even know paper could bend like that <laughs> 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 that's, that's brilliant it is, it is it. crazy i mean you know, you know you can't imagine paper's going to be able to i mean this one's a bit more awkward in paper but wow. we can oh, create no, but that looks oh Look that's that. amazing <laughs> yes and it's a piece of paper, <laughs> it's a piece of paper. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> oh, listen. Whilst you're here, can we bring the tumbler to um, um, air as a as a as a star by? Would that be okay, Neri? Can we do that? Yeah. 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 Okay. Let's do that. Okay. Let's go to a star by. Fantastic. Okay, fantastic. So um, this isn't this isn't plugged in. Um, we can we we can pretend though, can't we? <laughs> fantastic tool. Um, I've um, I've. I mean, this is this is the kind of thing which I know you you were saying this morning, Nikki. This is the very first tool that you yeah. bought. Because I was predominantly above everything a metal worker, mm. and I love metal, and I just and so any metal worker works with a tumbler. Yes, so it just saves you so much time. Absolutely, and I think I think one of the many things you were saying about this is the quality of the quality yeah. of this it's compared to kind of other pieces, other other tumblers that you can get. Yeah. Um, when you're when you're investing so much time and so much energy into in, into making these pieces, and actually with some of the folding work that we've um, that we've just seen there are tiny little kind of nooks and crannies yeah. and edges which by polishing by hand is going to be incredibly challenging and laborious and will take a long long time to do and the finish isn't always going to be consistent this is where something like this really comes into its own isn't it it certainly is well the other part of it is that once you place something in the barrel you can go off and do something else Precisely. whereas if you're hand polishing you've got to do it you're and you're there. there getting dirty very labor intensive isn't exactly it, 
Well, that's it. And we were saying as well, that's exactly it. The, the, uh, you know, when you're polishing by hand, it, create, it can create lots of dust, lot, you know, especially yep. if you've got respiratory issues. It's in, also very tough on your hands. On your hands yes, I can imagine it is. You know, yeah, I've got to yeah. tape up my hands constantly if, I, if I'm on the wheels. Because, really? Yeah, because, you, you know, you're working with like different levels of sandpaper, wet and dry. And, you know, it does take a toll on your hands after a while, yeah. whereas the tumbler is just... It, it's it's not labour intensive. It's yes. there. It does the hard work for yes. you. Yes, and again, that kind of magic when you do kind of take your jewellery out of kind especially, of oh, what's it going to look like? Especially copper. There's something about taking copper out of a tumbler that it just glows when you take it. It's oh, like, how gorgeous! Wow, it's oh. beautiful. We've only literally got a couple of um, um, opportunities remaining now. Just to clarify, uh, this one comes with your 80 and 400 grit, which is predominantly for, for your... It's um, for rock tumbling. For rock tumbling, uh, which absolutely give it a go. It's going to take a long time to do, uh, but but you will, you yeah. will. And how, what, I mean, I, I suppose it depends on the, on the, on the rock that you're using and how long's a piece of string, but, but how, how much of a reduction in size there's do you a, there's tend There's a significant to see? reduction. Okay. There is. Okay. And that's what causes all the slurry, and, and, and that's why you would never put it down, you think, yeah. if you're going to be rock tumbling. The other thing I would urge you to do is, if you have used it for rock tumbling, to clean it thoroughly if you're mm. going to use metal tumbling, because any one of those little bits of grit, if you keep it in there, it's going to harm your metal. Right, so okay. thoroughly, thoroughly clean it. Take both ends off and make sure that the whole thing is completely cleaned. We know that Nikki uses her uh, uh, the tumbling machine um, a lot. Do you use yours all the time? Is it on all the time, pretty much? Yeah, it is a regular thing to use for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah I absolutely. mean, there are, there, are, there are certain things that if you've got gems set in place, you're not, you're not going to throw gemstones into your tumbler okay, because yeah. you, anything you you know you're throwing stainless steel shot at it or mm -hmm. steel yeah. shot at it. So you know you're not going to put your gemstones in there. But if it's just metal before you set your stones into it, yes. that's right. perfect. Oh, fantastic, fantastic. And um, so we've only literally got a couple of opportunities remaining. Remember that also the tumbling machine comes with the instructions by Nikki as well, uh, to, which, which, which goes through lots of troubleshooting, lots of really useful tips as well, lots of uh, kind of great advice on how to how to set it up, how to maintain it. Um, and we also will be, I, I don't know if we've got any of the steel shot left, yeah, it has sold, sold out, out at the minute. We will definitely yeah. be getting more in. Uh, but your price point on this, £129, available on your and it is an um, investment. split payments. Definitely yes. an investment. You will have this for your jewellery making career. There you go. You Perfect. Will. And also, it's a lot, it's a lot, it's a lot, it's kind of desk size yeah, as nice well it's it not is. it's not gigantic when i think of kind of um uh, kind of silversmithing tools like you know metal working tools some of they them are absolutely massive house. aren't they there yeah. yes. Yes. yes 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 yeah. build a build portable. a shed it's absolutely nice yes it's nice and portable which is fantastic so brilliant well done another few of those have gone that's great to see well done so the book we've still got oh, literally a few of the book remaining please don't forget included Included, I'm, I'm almost embarrassed saying this, included in the price of twenty nine ninety nine. not only do you get a signed copy. Yeah, which inherently makes it more valuable. Of course it does, of the new Jewelry Technique book by Paul and Anastasia. You also get a, uh, a Zoom session as well, included in the price. Have you, have you, I mean, have... What, what kind of things will you be talking about on the Zoom session? Any, kind, any ideas? So I'm kind well, of throwing you in the deep end there. For me, I would imagine that people will have lots of questions. Lots if not, of I, can, questions. Yeah, I can do a demonstration for them. If so. I mean, we'll see what happens, really. Absolutely. But it's, yeah. Oh, yeah. How wonderful yeah. is that? I mean, it's just be? a treasure trove, isn't it? It's just an opportunity to ask yeah. all those nerdy questions that you didn't have anybody else to ask. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. So fantastic. Please do add it onto your order. An incredible, an incredible opportunity. And so lovely to have uh, to have the authors here as well. How it's lovely. Amazing. Yeah, fantastic. Well done. Um, what are the other books that you've um, done then? There's Anastasia. one behind you. <laughs> yeah. No, because I, I just I, I just know that well, everyone's this is going to go. A well thumbed <laughs> copy. Oh, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's that, dog eared. That's Nikki. seen some action. <laughs> <Okay>. Exactly. <laughs> so this was the second this was the second book I wrote. The first one's a little bit smaller. It's not in print anymore, unfortunately. But I, we do like that one. Um, this one is kind of everything you it's need to know to. about making jewellery about designing about setting up a business perfect um, and the third book is on stone setting yes I have that one settings. too oh, it's great book oh, fantastic. how many languages is it in and in seven languages no yes. really yeah. I mean the the new jewellery techniques is already in four languages with it was simultaneously published in Spanish it's also published in German oh Italian no and, and the French edition is just about to come out soon as well so <laughs> global wow. yeah oh wow 
That's absolutely it's fantastic. Incredible. Cause, and it just shows you as well that, I mean, obviously I mean, it's an obvious thing to say, but um, you know, these kind of techniques, they are, they, they have, you know, they have worldwide appeal. They really yeah. genuinely do, and they global are, appeal. They're the industry standard. These books are the industry standard. They are considered by metalsmiths, by jewelry makers to be the top books that you would buy for reference. Oh, wow, fantastic. Quite an accolade. Well done. <laughs> <Thank> <laughs> But I would also say that this technique is not in any of her books because it's a new technique. Yes. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you it for is. that, Paul. It's fine. Thank you. Yeah. Getting that in there. <laughs> I guess it's you <laughs> haven't got that. This is mine. <laughs> do you still but do no, you still go to uh, do you still go to big events? Do you still kind of uh, go and kind of see what see what see what people are doing in the industry? Do you go to fairs and things Absolutely. like that? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Yep. And see what's going on. In fact, well, this technique took me to actually um, selling at Goldsmiths Fair. So that was oh wow, was a couple of years ago now. But yeah, I was yeah. Gosh, that must have been incredible. Absolutely, goodness me. But it's very commercially viable jewellery, isn't it? It, it, it really, it, yeah, it genuinely is. I feel that they're uh, very appealing. Yeah. Yeah, there is something are. about it. Yeah, I mean the gorgeous. fortune cookie pen. I just love. I know. I find that. Find it. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you so, cool. so much for joining us today, guys. It's been really lovely to meet you. Aren't we lucky? Yeah. How fantastic. So oh, blessed, honestly. I know. Heart shaped eyes. This is amazing. <laughs> thank you so much, genuinely, and um, thank you to everyone who came through to get the uh, book, and also who's going to be joining. Um, Paul and Anastasia on the um, on the Zoom session on the 9th of July. Time to be confirmed, and we will yes. let you know. Thank you so so much. Right, okay. Should we do a star by? Let's do it. Star by. Let's go. Talented. Talented. It's intimidating how gifted they are. Right, but properly they're down like, to earth. Very they're like, I mean, I don't, I don't know whether I can say this, but they're like gods in the jewellery world. So, so much knowledge. And then there's us. <laughs> <laughs> Ever professional. We've got two necklaces to do. Wow. Wow, gosh, there you go. Not much then. Right, what should we do first? Let's do the necklaces first. Tanzanite first. Oh, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. In gold-plated silver. This is, um, this is just... It's gorgeous. You um, wear mainly silver, don't you? Do you wear gold at all? Yeah, quite often. Do you? Yeah, I love gold. I have to say, I'm wearing more gold yeah. nowadays than I ever have done. And I don't know, I don't know what it is. I just... Grown up. Do you think it is? Yeah, I think it's a little bit grown up. I do wear gold. Um, I, I suppose it just, it depends, for me, it depends on what I'm wearing. Um, but, Definitely. But I love the warmth of gold. So do I. Especially as you get older, because it is that little bit less stark and a little bit more flattering. Yes, I think, so. yes. My daughter only wears gold. Well, this is it. And my 10 year old daughter loves gold. Yeah. So it's kind of like, yes, it does seem more grown up, but then, you know, you've it's got. Very fashionable you've got at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, precisely. Listen, we've got the exactly the same necklace that we bought you earlier on uh, with the Tanzanite in sterling silver, but we've got it with gold plated sterling silver. There is something about a gold plated sterling silver chain. It just looks, it, it looks so expensive, yes. I think. Um, uh, it's just beautiful. Um, your start price. Wow. Start price, I'll repeat again, start price mm. is twenty nine ninety nine. Tell me where you can get a gold plated sterling silver 24 inch rope chain. That looks like For this. 30 quid. 95 pounds on hot diamonds, that's mm. for sterling silver. silver. This is yellow gold plated sterling silver. And it's that with lovely colour. Because if there was nine carat gold, it would be a pale colour. It would be almost silvery in colour. Really? Yeah, is because that, yeah. nine carat gold isn't as buttery yellow. So this is 18 carat over sterling yeah, silver. Yeah, so you get that lovely yellow colour in the gold. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. You know, we've got it. That, that's not something I was actually, you know, but you're absolutely right. The 18 karat gold rather than the nine karat gold is going to give you a warmer, more, yeah. as, as, as Nikki says, a more buttery kind of golden colour. I just love this. It's so simple. It so but, simple, so understated. But the geometric thing is really stylish as well, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Lovely. Yeah, 100%. It's gorgeous. And then, uh, by the way, yeah, 20 pounds. And then you get the tanzanite and you oh. get the little, hang on, where is it? 
a little tag as well on is the bottom. Is this 24 inches, sweet? this one? 24 inches, yeah, 24 I inches in length. I think you could, I mean, I think you'd be really, really hard pushed to actually find one like that. Yeah, 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 absolutely. What, what you mean without the sliding clasp yeah. on it? Just a 24 inch chain. Rope chain, yeah. I'll I tell you what I'm going to do, actually. I'm just literally going to wear it as a, as, as a 24 inch chain, just because, and I'm going to put the clasp, the slider clasp around the back, just purely because that is such a lovely, I mean, yeah. we're all different shapes and sizes. That's kind of something Nikki was saying on earlier on, but that is, that's going to, oh gosh, well, wouldn't you know, <laughs> it's going to fit right in between the old, the old Babatrons there. There we go. So, but there, so it's, that is the kind of length you're looking at there, but everyone, everyone is different shapes and sizes. So maybe you've got a slightly bigger bust, maybe a slightly smaller bust, maybe a, a higher neckline, whatever it might be. And the fact that you can wear that at whatever length you like up to and including 24 inches is absolutely amazing. We're not done. I know of nowhere where you can get a chain of this kind of caliber. This is a rope chain. This isn't a trace chain nope. or a one-in-one -one chain. It's not a little kind of, this is absolutely incredible. And you've got the Tanzanite on there and it's a sliding clasp chain. It's absolutely amazing. Yeah, it's at 19.99, incredible. Beautiful quality. Are you ready? 30 second clock, here we go. Looks lovely on that blue bust as well, gorgeous, doesn't it? Gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Well done, everybody coming through. Go, 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 go. Congratulations, everybody. Well done. Zara and Lonnie, you've got it in your baskets. Well done. How can we be taking this lower than 19.99 for gold-plated silver? Incredible opportunity. Here we go. Go, go, go. Well done. All the way down. This is amazing, by the way. Where do you think we're going? 17 99 18 14 99 12 99 It's madness. It is madness for a finished piece of jewellery. 12 90 Yeah, you're absolutely right. It yeah. is finished. And it's a piece of jewellery. It's not just a chain. No. It is a finished yeah. piece of jewellery with the Tanzanite in there as well. Absolutely incredible. Go, go, go. 0800 644 What an incredible opportunity. Well done. Maker and Wiltshire's got two. Alison, Zara, Beautiful. Maker, Linda, Kerry, Hilda, Cheryl. Where else? I mean, I don't think you'd even get... I don't think you'd even get a yellow gold plated sterling silver rope chain. Just the chain for no. that in 24 inches. And it's not a little skinny chain either. It's yeah. like, you know, it's got a nice size to it, but it's not what over is the, top. the what is the gram weight on this, Neary? 2.7 grams of precious metal. That is a generous it's amount of precious for a metal. Chain, yeah. yeah. It really is. When you consider that there are chains which you can get elsewhere with less than a gram of sterling yeah. silver, you know, less than a gram of precious metal in. That's absolutely amazing. Congratulations. Yeah, exactly. 2.7 grams. Incredible. Well done, everybody. Go, go. It, it really is lovely. Really is gorgeous. I would say, you know, you wear them both together as well. Wear oh, the yeah. gold and the silver together. Because you wear them at different great. lengths, they look amazing. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, 100%. I do love the, the way that the Hot Diamonds one has been photographed with the kind of the length going down the back yeah. as well. That's such a, that. an unusual way of wearing a, uh, a chain, but it looks absolutely gorgeous. Great for proms as well. Mm. Yeah, you've got the girls' lovely blonde dresses with yes. the, the beautiful back... Um, shape at the back yes you have that lovely Larry hair up the back. maybe a bit of lacing yeah. at the back and then yeah the chain it's a lovely just, gift for a prom yeah oh see that's it 12.99 yeah i know you'd never believe it when you hear about how much people spend on kind of prom dresses oh. i mean it's eye-watering I mean, it genuinely is i have a daughter yes goodness me it's quite amazing yes. isn't it would you pass the other one I over please would, lovely this, this has got my daughter written all over it does it with yeah, the sleeping beauty definitely she loves turquoise turquoise oh gosh turquoise is a funny one because i think that we almost always uh less so now maybe but 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 we always used to see turquoise with sterling silver and yeah. i think it goes right the way back to when 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 turquoise was first kind of um mined over in the in the states and the native americans were set it with uh, not sterling silver but with fine silver yeah. um so it was always and it always has traditionally been set with sterling silver i love it with gold it's beautiful it, it almost brings a different color to it it, it does but especially the sleeping beauty because it's that robin egg blue yeah it just looks so warm and incredible it's it? it's got that lack of matrix and that pop of color which against the gold you can see it looks it looks egyptian and it looks egyptian because yes. 
the original kind of Egyptian turquoise mined in the Sinai Peninsula is said to be almost identical to the Sleeping Beauty, hence why the Sleeping Beauty is so famous. Um, but you're absolutely right. The gold seems to almost bring out a different colour, a different yeah. energy from the stone. It looks amazing. It's absolutely it's beautiful. It looks so it. exotic, doesn't it? I love it. Have I got it the right way around? I think I did. Yeah, 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 look at that. Isn't that beautiful. lovely? But it's not in your face either. It's really elegant. Oh, so and elegant. Delicate yeah. without being flimsy. Yes, it's oh lovely. gosh, yeah. But that's it, isn't it? As you said, the, the rope chain you've got here, it's not puny. It's no. not kind of like... It, it, you, you, Sometimes you get them and it, you really wouldn't tell from a distance whether it was a rope chain, a trace chain or what. But this you can. You yeah. can see it's a rope chain. It's some, some chains you almost just have to look at them and they break, don't yeah. you? They're like literally oh, I mean, tracing There are paper. some chains I, I, I call them the devil <laughs> because they just want to tangle up with each yes, other yes, and yes. just create massive knots. Yes, yes. This isn't going to do that. It's slinky. Yeah, it really is slinky. And it's, uh, and, it's, and, it's, and, it, and it's got that kind of bit of substantial nature, but yeah. without it being chunky. Yes. So clever. Yeah. Uh, Wiltshire's got three well done to you. Karen Anjum's got two well done to you as well, my lovely maker. Penny and Bucks well done to you as well. Right, I don't know how, oh my gosh, Neary. Uh, we're, because we're running out of time, we literally are running out of time, we're going to start off at £20. Please just know this is not what this chain is worth. No. You add Sleeping Beauty turquoise to anything and you can literally add on, you know, another yeah. 10, 15, 20 pounds. And it's natural. You can tell when a gemstone, you can tell when a gemstone is a very rare or very coveted or, or, or very considered a purchase when it's imitated. There's so many fakes out there for turquoise. You know, it's dyed howlite, it's dyed magnesite. People mm -hmm. sell it as turquoise and it's genuinely not. Literally, I mean, I know it's, it's one piece of Sleeping Beauty turquoise you're getting here. Get your authenticity certificate. Yes. I would make maybe a, uh, 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 out of, you know, yellow gold plated silver head pins, probably because we don't bring you the wire, uh, with Sleeping Beauty turquoise, a little pendant, I'd hang it from there, Definitely. you know, absolutely gorgeous. We had some gorgeous Sleeping Beauty the other day in hearts. I would absolutely, you know, hang that on there in silver, mix your metals up. 30 seconds, we're going to give you the most phenomenal price. To, to have genuine Sleeping Beauty turquoise, I know it, it's one piece of Sleeping Beauty turquoise you're getting there, but to, but to advertise it and to be able to show the authenticity certificate as well, it will, because so many people are duped, so many people oh, are kind of conned. Definitely, and, and you know what? It's, it's in, to JM's sort of privilege that they get these beautiful yeah. gemstones that they can pass on to their customers, and we know where they've come from, we know that they're authentic and we know that they're fair so absolutely you know it really does make a difference and also wasn't met gala theme this year sleeping beauty was it really it was oh well done you oh she's not just a pretty face is it no 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 <laughs> 12.99 fantastic well Obscene. done everybody go 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 that is there is nowhere else in the world that, where you can get a 24 inch yellow gold plated sterling silver chain in a, a rope chain in a with a sliding clasp sleeping beauty turquoise on that i mean nice. what on earth are we doing what are we thinking we're literally running out of time that's the only reason why we've done that price yeah. point for you today congratulations everybody well done now you've got the most amazing ridiculous day coming up tomorrow your early bird culotte covers yes wow your 9 a.m is a beadalon exclusive your 10 o'clock natural blue Marbe pearls with myself and Dave. That's going to be amazing. And we've got lovely Alison with us as well. 11 o'clock. Yes, yes, yes. Amber Clover collection. Ooh. Oh, my nice. word. And midday, you've got the confetti quartzite jade oh, as well. So amazing. So loads and loads and loads to look forward to. Right, we're going to draw. Is it two? Two winners will win, not a hundred pounds, a hundred and forty pounds. Oh my gosh, yes please. So you're going to win a hundred and forty pounds. The special, oh, <laughs> the special wall of fame. Um, right, shall I pick one and Nikki picks one? Okay, here we go. The two winners are, okay, I've got mine. Have you got, go on, you get yours. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Ready? Okay. Number 71. <laughs> Tracy, Austin, Tracy Austin, you've won £140 credited to your jewelry maker account. Congratulations. Woo, 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 woo. Oh, look. Look at that. Ah, oh, 73. 73. Who's 
73. Who is it? Who? Sandra, Sandra Gray. Gray. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Well done. Oh. Yay. 140 pounds credited to your Joy Maker account. Well done. Nikki, it's been lovely glorious. having you with us. Fabulous, glorious, Love loved you. it, every minute of it. Right, don't go anywhere. Uh, we're with you for more birthday celebrations on day 982 <laughs> of our 14th birthday celebrations. It's been so much fun. Thank you so much for the interaction today. It's been lovely. Thank you so much, my darling. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and we'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning for the most amazing day. Mwah.